<laughs> Patricia O'Neill in studio playing comics here in New York City uh, tonight and tomorrow night. I love this place, uh, comics. I really do. Uh, for tickets, c o m i x n y dot com. That is a huge mistake by the club because a lot of people are trying to find comics and they're they're typing it the right way. Yeah, the comics uh, with an X or two one two two five two four. 2500 uh, or Ticketmaster. That's easy to remember. No one's going to remember comics with an X when they're trying to find out uh, you know, where the joint is yeah, or how to get tickets. And, and why after it. The it, whole thing is, who remembers that? <laughs> it, it seemed like a good idea at the time when they were naming the place, but come on. Comics, C-O-M-I-X-N-Y dot com. The great Patrice O'Neill. And Patrice, you, Mr. Hughes. Uh, the Lakers blew it last night. That was amazing. And I, that's why I'm, I'm in a coma right now because I was in a, in a sleep. My boy... <laughs> Call me. What about that win? And I go, excuse me. And you go, what about that win? I go, what win? The so I got. I, I had to get up. I was up all night watching S Lakers lost. Not not as much as uh, Celtics winning. Right. The winning team's speeches are boring. They give you those <laughs> same old. You know, we got to work hard. But it's like uh, Kobe just trying to be a, like some type of nice guy and fight through it. But it was so. It was. Unbelievable! I couldn't believe it, man. I gotta find uh, the article. I was just reading about Kobe <laughs> Bryant, and he's yeah, he he has decided to be a nice guy on the court and be the rah rah guy. And I was reading this article where someone noticed, you know, Kobe doing rah rah, and a player walking away, rolling his eyes, like, oh, now he's decided to be a nice guy. It's just disingenuous. Go after yourself. No one's buying into it. It's like when he got he he got the I'm a black guy tattoos after uh, after the rape beef. Yeah, yeah. Like the key. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> white people threw him out the window, so he had to go rediscover his blackness by getting tattoos. And there's uh, <laughs> allegations he might be doing something with uh, one of the ex uh, Lakers cheerleaders of who's 18 or 19 is. years old. Oh. Who, who quit in the middle of the playoff run. Of course he is. He filled his, his, his uh, wife full of uh, children. She's all stretched out. Her and, stomach's all a mess. She and, probably gained a few. And she's preoccupied raising the kids. Uh, so now, she's doing it. Now he can do whatever the hell he wants. Her shirt smells like milk. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Sugar water on his shirt. Uh, he's, he's getting greatest basketball player in the world, uh, Tang. Uh, you're, a, you're a huge Celtics fan, right? Uh, unbelievable. I, I, matter of fact, I didn't watch the game because I, I knew if I watched it, they would have never came back. I'm watching the clips going, if I watch this... It this wouldn't, wouldn't happen this way. I believe I'm that too. Like I believe that, that too. I'm only, I only have two super superstitions. One is don't put, put a hat on my bed. <laughs> for you some don't reason, do that. I can't fight through that. I fought through every superstition, except for three. Actually, don't sweep my feet. Don't be nice to anybody. Well, <laughs> I, I, that's nothing. Like ground karma doesn't bother me. I just get real karm karmatic when I fly. But no hat on the bed and and sweeping sweeping black people's feet is a dangerous thing. What, yeah. what do you mean, sweeping black? People's feet? I have that? no idea, but it's big. What's it mean sweeping black people? Yeah, feet? it's either death or jail. No, 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 but sweeping black. You mean when you're sweeping to go? When around? you're sweeping the floor, and like if you see, watch black people when someone's sweeping the floor next to them. They, they will move away. They, they, it's not good. My girl is uh, don't put a purse on the floor. That's her thing. She can't. Get past, mm -hmm. and mine's is mine's is hat on the bed. But the other one is I don't want to watch a game of a big team. I watched the Super Bowl Patriots lost. I'm I'm I believe in that. Like if I had to watch the Celtics last night, they would no one again. But why the person on the floor? I can almost understand. I don't even know. It I have no dirty? no. It's superstition. It's like you know oh. you get prostate cancer. Or something. Like it's it's. Hat on the bed is is death. I think I've never heard that. that. I've heard that. That's an old old one. Really? But the sweeping the feet, dude. Sweeping that's got to be a black thing. I've never a, heard of that. It's, it's real big in the black yeah. community. Real big superstition. I yeah. have two caps no. hanging on my bedpost. <laughs> I swear to God, on the edge of my on bed your post. bedpost is fine. You can get past that, but you oh, can't put a hat the, on your bed on the actual bed. That's all I'm gonna do now is put my hat. I'm gonna get all my hats out of the closet <laughs> and pile them on my bed. <laughs> I'm the hat bed kid. <laughs> uh, Celtics came back from an 18-point oh, deficit. Oh, I could not Amazing. believe it. 24 points. They were down when they I They were walked, down 24 at one it point? Was, it was 45-21. Yeah. In that first half. When I, when I looked. But the, it, it was the biggest halftime deficit of, of all time in, in the finals. Wow. It's the biggest halftime deficit comeback of all times, actually. Not the biggest halftime deficit, but comeback to win the game. I swear to God, when I saw that score, I mean, I didn't think that L.A. would blow it, but I'm like, that's that's the type of score, it's too big of a lead. You want them to go into like an eight-point lead. That There's something almost too big about 24 points. It's like almost like the other team has nothing to lose, sure. and they're going to play better. I just couldn't believe it, man. It's going to... It's, it's over. It's, been a, it's over for the Lakers. I'm not even comfortable. I don't go think I'm going to watch the game go. Sunday. 
That's uh, over. You know, they're not coming back. I have back. nothing else to do. Oh, boy. They're not coming back. When oh, I'll be saying they're not coming back. They're not coming <clears> back. They're not coming back. <laughs> Oh, it's over. Boston. Biggest comeback in sports history God now. God coming back. <laughs> I don't Boston. feel it. I don't feel Boston. it. No, nah, nah, you're not feeling this. I like, don't think this is going to happen. I don't nah, think Boston is too strong, and they beat them in L.A. It's over. Uh, well, Three games to one, right? They might win it over. It's over. Wow. Well, they got them. They got, Boston's got to lose the next game because everyone knows the the playoffs are fixed. They want the, the series to go as long as possible for the ratings and the revenue. Speaking so. of the playoffs are fixed. Yeah. Are you, are you yeah. staying up on this referee thing? Hell yeah, I am. He, he, he's, it's, Guilty as charged. Dude, he's, he's, his, I don't know if you have clips of David Stern or whatever, the, the, the commissioner. Hoo hoo. But he, oh. he's dismissing the guy as, why are you listening to this ex felon, this felon? Yeah. But I'm like, that's how the mafia was tumbled. <laughs> was, he's a rat. He's ratting on everybody that the playoffs were fixed in 2002. And it's going to come out these dirty refs. All of them were dirty. Yeah. And all of them. They're not protecting him, so he's throwing them all under the bus. Oh, yeah. It feels like you want to let me swing. You're all coming down. Yeah, and, and Jeff Van Gundy was uh, fined how much? Like $100,000 for... for uh, the Question in that game. Bitching about the refs because they said, what's his name there? They were going to foul him a lot, and someone told them they were going to foul him a lot. Yao Ming? Yao Ming, thanks. And... Uh, Van Gundy called him out on it and got fined like over a hundred thousand dollars. I remember that, dude. And, and now this uh, ref is basically backing up what Jeff Van Gundy and said. Right, and writers are saying, right? All these sports guys are saying that that game, it, they remember that game as the worst refereed game they'd ever seen <laughs> in their life. Who's but who's paying them to do that? Is it the NBA itself that's going? Look, we need this to go a certain way. Uh, cause I can't. Pick, it's probably. It, it's never <laughs> Vegas, man. That's it's, that's big money, dude. Like if you look, if I if you do something, you don't Screw get paid. Vegas. It's big money for the NBA. But is it mob stuff? Who but I, that's what I'm saying. If you get paid, the NBA player, I don't know how much a ref gets. I bet you they don't make six <laughs> figures. I bet you they don't make six figures. I, I they they make they don't make a lot of money. They they stay in crappy hotel. They're not well taken care of. I don't like know they're that. not they're not well taken. They gotta care be making of, six to be figures. to be loyal. If somebody comes up to you and gives you you know. Two oh. grand, three grand to make a call here and there. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're making, dude, they're making, uh, they're probably making a couple hundred thousand a year. Or at least I don't they, think they're making a couple They fly hundred. first class. Um, they, I know that because they were selling their tickets back and keeping the extra money. Yeah, they got to be making about a hundred G's. I would say more than that. Uh, I, I'm which not, is, I'm not which sure. is not a lot when you're not sure. thinking, uh, when you think about what the players They have are day making. jobs. They, that's not all they do for a living. Well, in the off season, I'm sure they're. Uh, but if I'm an NBA ref, I should get paid enough to not have to ref for the other nine true. months. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for the other nine months. So there you go. Go Celtics, go. Let's go to Travis in Virginia Beach. Uh, Travis. Hey, what's up, boys? What's up, Patrice? Hey. Hey, is it just me with this whole uh, OP hero thing? Is this starting to remind me a little bit of Bobby Brady when he saved that little girl and also he started throwing <laughs> parties for himself? <laughs> well, how, uh, yeah, remember that one? How did Bobby save the girl? Like the father was bleeding and Bobby pushed the girl out of the way so she didn't get any on him? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know, I know E-Rock's covering his ass by saying it was Steve Carlisi's birthday and he made a mistake, but we all know E-Rock set up the, 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 the fine breakfast today for me, for my big day. Yeah. So I want to thank Basil Tease for coming I, by. To, I believe was to that cook breakfast for the hero and his and his pals, Travis. <laughs> Travis, yep. was that the episode? I believe it was uh, where the little girl was ready to be uh, crushed at the Dittmeyer's uh, toy store. Yeah, it was the bookcase. It was going to fall on her. Right, it was going to fall on her, and he saved her. And then he just went around because everyone said he was a hero, and he took it uh, so seriously that he started throwing parties for himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he truly <laughs> was. <laughs> uh, NBA refs, uh, they make night. Here comes Opie. <laughs> hey, I'm going to throw a party for myself. I'm a hero. I save people. OP, OP, why don't you come into my office? I have an infection to give you. I mean, I have something to give you. <laughs> we should get Richard Huff on the phone because I want to thank him for understanding what's going on. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> uh, NBA refs, base salary is 90 k there, Patrice, wow. plus travel and playoff cash. Highest paid is 280000 a year. Oh, 90 so, million base. Yeah. So Patrice was uh, pretty Just chunk of change. Right. Yeah. All right, we've got to take a break. Uh, Patrice O'Neill at Comics here in New York City. C O M I X N Y dot com for tickets or call 212 524 2500. Well, ooh. <laughs>
Wow, this is just not working at all today. And it's playing. I see you pushing a button frantically. You're fervently pushing a button. Oh, yes. This is like no way to come back from a break. That's no way to treat a hero either. That's right. Yeah, you were supposed to play the hero songs. There, oh, E Rock. I up? knew it was E Rock's fault. Matter with you. E Rock. Oh, my God. Can we start over? Can we the pl- play oh, the. Were you planning my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, Anthony, be, uh, be like, uh, like a commercial guy. Like, just say, uh, starts Friday, like it's the end of a commercial. Oh. <clears throat> In theaters this Friday. There you go. Ooh. This isn't a hero song. Why wouldn't you get E-Rock, that this is your bit today. Oh. What were you E-Rock. doing on E-Rock, E-Rock finally has a bit, and he can't even... Go through with it. E Rock. Hold E-rock. on, let's try this again. Uh, Anthony, be a commercial guy again. But you have to do a different one. Oh, yes, yes. Now available in industrial size. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you. That's better. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Lots going on. We got Patrice O'Neill in studio playing comics with an X here in New York City tomorrow and uh, Saturday. Tomorrow and Saturday. How about today and Saturday? How about today and tomorrow? Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, we also got uh, Steve from Basil Tees in Tom's River, New Jersey, cooking up some fine omelets for everybody. Uh, Patrice, you were going to say, or you were just pointing because you needed your mic on? Yeah, my mic was off. Okay. Man, Basil Tees. Man. <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous oh, how good that is. I'm so happy he's here. Really good. I he's- had my three-egg omelet. With with uh, yellow yolk, by the way. Of course. God, if you're going to eat why? an egg. Because if you're going to eat an egg, Ugh, white, it's white. very rare that I actually have eggs. So if I'm going to, I'm going all out. <laughs> <laughs> and Opie, thank you, too. Off air, you said you will invite me to your wedding. Of I appreciate course that. I would. There was never a doubt. But I then Patrice it. goes, uh, <laughs> well, if you invite me, I guess I got to go. No, I didn't mean it like that. But then I just at that didn't point, think, like, I just didn't think... I just thought it'd be a way not to invite a lot of people because it'll just be too many. I think you got in your life, and I didn't think I would be squeezing into that too many. I would, I would imagine Norton, Anthony would be invited. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the family people. Mm-hmm. Um, There's people in this Club room. Sona Kinney. There's people in this room that aren't. Oh, I, right. I, I, I'm, I don't think. I wouldn't think E Rock. This is my personal feelings. I wouldn't oh, think E Rock. Wow. I wouldn't think any of the guys. Uh, n- not fan. Mm. Um, Who? Mm, I I don't <laughs> think Poe. I, I don't think you invited Poe. Mm-hmm. I'm just, just Steve. I'm not even sure, but I think Steve would have to get an invite. But he can only bring himself and a date that you knew. <laughs> <laughs> Which would count as two invites in a way, like to get yes, yeah, somebody yeah. he knew. Like you have to approve his who he's bringing. What about Stunt Brain? Uh, no, because he's too new. Yeah, Not a I chance in hell because yeah. he's too new. Yeah. yeah, I just don't think it would have happened. I, it would just be awkward. You know what? Fan also, you haven't, if, if Fan was still here. You haven't seen him out drinking yet, which is bad because you can invite him. And he's a nice enough guy and everything, but he might be the angriest, nastiest <laughs> drunk. <laughs> yeah, right. And then you get him to the wedding, and all of a sudden he's just an ass and ruins everything. Yeah, he turns into <laughs> Dustin Hoffman at the end of The Graduate. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think any... any uh, peripheral comedians other than Norton. I didn't think we're getting. Oh, no, oh you, no, no. Opie, no, Opie. Would, I just, I'm not. I'm just saying things. what yeah. I. I'm just saying. I just he saying. would worry, man. Bob Kelly will get the invite. Louis Voss. C.K. Voss. Louis on the bubble. Uh, <laughs> on the bubble. <laughs> Voss, Voss would have to get of an course, invite, of course, because he would commit suicide. Why wasn't yeah. I invited? And then that means Bonnie's got an invite. Oh yeah, because it's Voss plus now, one. Now, do you feel? Do mm-hmm. you see now what you're doing right now? What you just did with Bonnie? Yeah, is why. I was thinking it would just be a very, very, very close wedding, just yeah. because of that. Just because uh, if you invite him, you got uh, if you invite this one, and, you know, if you invite that uh-huh. one, you got, uh, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> and that's where I'm thinking that he wasn't gonna gonna do that just to save no, himself all of that. No, I know what you do. Mm-hmm. You you put out a, a lot of last minute invites. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> so people already have plans. Oh, I and... got this figured out. Well, Voss didn't my invite list... any of us. He didn't invite his 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 quote unquote no his close friends. Voss makes twenty four thousand dollars a Look. year. <laughs> he, he didn't want to have a big no. wedding. This he had it in a hunting no, lodge. No, no, Voss... no, but but let me be fair. Yeah, but what's the, what was wrong with Voss? He didn't invite us to the wedding, which was in the middle middle of nowhere in Canada. Yeah. Jimmy uh, went. 
But then he invites us to Caroline's, the comedy club here yeah. in New York, and he gets insulted because no one went because we thought it was just him doing you know what he usually does. But it was supposedly it was what a huge reception. He for wanted his the friends? he wanted the actual traditional He's benefits. He's holding a grudge. But, Get him on the but phone. He he wanted the traditional benefits without. Mm -hmm. Treating you as the friend that you get those benefits right. from. Right, he wanted the the presents. So he says, "Go go to the wedding thing at at uh, Lord and Taylor and get my yeah. stuff." Yeah, but you're not a friend mm -hmm. to be at the it's, wedding. It's called a registry. Now, Bobby did a genius thing, which is what we are, the comics. You're afraid of the you're afraid of the rejection. <laughs> so yeah. you found a way for people to be there or not be there, and you don't know it. We had that wedding on the internet. He had the wedding it on the internet. Genius yeah. to have it in a place where people. He didn't want to force people. He go, hey, listen, I like you to come to my wedding in Hawaii, and people go, oh my god, why no. I can't do that? So he, and... when he did it on the internet, it was it was genius, dude. I thought yeah. it was genius. Well, he was able to be in paradise, to... and then uh, he uh, makes everybody else watch on their computer screen. He didn't invite me one time to a barbecue because he thought I wouldn't go. Yeah, yeah I'm hurt. just not thinking you. You <laughs> just we. You just don't want like your black friends to see that you hang out with. Dude, white. I have cookouts and there's nothing well, but then, crackers. It it looks like. <laughs> and invite me. I would go to one of your cookouts. <laughs> Cracker cookout. It, 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 it looks like you? a secret meeting of. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to be your. I friend. look like a butler at my own house. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing but white friends. A couple of black. All my black friends in Boston. I have a few black comic friends like Keith and there's a couple of everybody else is white, but I would not think you would come. Yeah, I was insulted. And that's the only reason I didn't I was come. also insulted because there was something else and Patrice goes, Well, I didn't invite you because I didn't think you would come. I'm like, Of course I would go. We're I trying to be your friend. Dude. Invite us to stuff. You'll be yeah. surprised. We'll show up. We have been promising to eat some type of lunch together <laughs> for years since 96 the staff Good. is still waiting for their lunch when we came back on the interns <laughs> you know what patrice makes a good point really fast across from xm uh there's a place that used to be called shelly steakhouse yeah and uh patrice and i and a few uh, uh I, I believe our ladies were there and a few other people after one of your uh, saturday night radio shows mm -hmm. we went and had a great yes. dinner a late night steak dinner we had a, a a wonderful time and i remember even saying to patrice we gotta do this more often let me tell you what has happened since that uh <laughs> dinner but more often shelly steakhouse moved a block or two away and in its place is a brand new 20 story building. That's how long it's been since we ate. <laughs> Am I lying? No. And it's Am I occupied. <laughs> Am I lying? No. It's They're just about done. The crane is about to be uh, dismantled because they are done with this building. And that was the last time we ate when it used to be a tiny little steak joint, <clears throat> like yeah. a two, three story building. I would, I just, it's just, it's just when you invite somebody, you want them to come. You know, you just go, oh, it's yeah. embarrassing if people don't show up at something. You, you, Here's you Rich do. Voss. Listen to this. Voss. Hey, what's going on? Uh, well, we're talking about weddings and stuff, and uh, I pointed out that you're still holding a grudge because we didn't go to Caroline's. No, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't, I, don't, I don't really hold a grudge now about that. Don't really hold a grudge. <laughs> What's about a grudge? A grudge. A grudge. I, the wedding gifts, I'm what, um, still upset about. Yeah, he's heard about that. That he well, well, you and he know does something? not understand why it's a give and take thing. You have to give the people. He doesn't understand why. You have to give why. the people some entertainment and and the ability to be there. Shut up a minute. Shut up and the ability to be at your wedding. You're like you wanted to have your wedding alone in some hunting lodge up in Canada and then come back down here and expect the scene from uh, Goodfellas where they're all handing over the envelopes. <laughs> it, it, it it doesn't work that and way. You don't understand. That's the only reason we didn't. Even even know what it how can i think this is a traditional reception when yes. when the wedding and the reception happen you go hey you bum you can't come to the wedding yeah but please come to the thing where you owe me something no, right no, no, no here's the deal you know what because you're so first of all you're so close-minded and so uh self-centered you don't listen we've been arguing I, this thing with him for know, but here's a couple the, years now he, will, so, he doesn't understand you know, that no, no, let me no one knew boss boss yeah me, look, no i'm no no you, it's me, Opie. You're, oh, okay, you listen are. to me. A hero. <laughs> First of all, I probably would have uh, went to your wedding because I wasn't doing anything else in the middle of Canada. Oh, gee. <laughs> I probably would have taken that trip just because I haven't. Backhanded compliment that is. Because I haven't seen I that part of to Canada. See a platypus anyway. <laughs> right, exactly, and a, and a mountie. Uh, I, so I probably would have went with Jimmy. To be completely honest with you, I was flying around the country with Jimmy all the time. What the hell? I would have went to your wedding. But what the mistake you made, which Anthony is bringing up, 
you didn't invite anyone to the wedding. You didn't have a traditional reception. All of a sudden, you kind of casually invite us to go to Caroline's. I'm like, he said he's oh, at no. Caroline's three days a, w- a week. So, you know, what's different about yeah. And he didn't you call it a reception. Ex- Thank no. you. You never explained that this was a special Caroline's thing where you actually rolled out a red carpet and stuff. We didn't know. So no one showed up. And to this day, Voss is holding a girl. We thought it was a party for the people he didn't invite. Like, that's what would have made everybody understand, okay, look, mm-hmm. he was in Canada, okay. We thought it was a regular party for people that he did that he told not to come. But he held well, you know, an official you, reception. All you that's, have to do is, see, why don't you say, if you say something like, okay, you had the right intentions, but it didn't come out the way it was supposed to. That's what we well, said no, to you for years no. now. No. Yeah. Here's the thing, because I had the intentions. I didn't want to make, like I said, and I'll say it again, I didn't want to make people fly all. Why do you think we had a party? Bonnie didn't want... Th- here's Bonnie. another thing oh, I want you to be it. honest about. It's Bonnie it's didn't it's want it's us it's there. Uh-huh. Bonnie oh, didn't want boy. us ruining hey, her Canadian you, wedding, man. You know what? You're so full of shit. You know what? Hey! Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying, I oh, know... Oh, I, I Come on, man. Cursing and everything. Shut up and let me This is real for Voss. This is real. Go ahead, No, listen. I had the right intentions that I didn't want people to fly all over all over the place. Why would I have a party in in LA and one in New York? Let's say let's say everybody did go to the wedding and I invited them. Why have would I still parties, have a party one in LA and one in New York? And New York. Why would you have a par- why, why would you why, why would you have a party in in LA? Why would you have a party oh, really? in LA? Do you know you see where I'm going to go with this? I don't care where you're gonna go. All right, where I'm gonna go is your friends are not in L.A. I didn't have friends here. Gullup wasn't in L.A. I can't Ew, out by Gullup. Who's that? What? Who's that? My friend. I don't even. You're naming guys who was in the first comedy strike. <laughs> <laughs> the comedy strike of '79. <laughs> Didn't one of those guys jump off uh, the Hyatt Hotel? Did he get his way? <laughs> Look it up. That's a great story, uh, boss. Wait, no, you the mistake you made, you didn't make it clear that this was a reception. The, the, You're like, we're all mistake, we're thinking you know of I just saw... getting together at Caroline's. I'm like, ah, I'll, I'll catch okay. him next time he's at here's Caroline's. I also have, here's the thing, I have the, the, uh, the invitations I sent out that look exactly like any other. I made a mistake. I made a mistake by going there and doing it. That was the mistake <laughs> I made because it still cost me a lot, <laughs> a lot of money. And I didn't get an invitation. It was a. Yes, it was a. I heard. No, it was a. Didn't. I heard Voss no, was having no. a thing at Caroline's. No, you didn't. You got an invitation. I don't remember an invitation. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh really? I, I swear, Rich. I'm not trying to make uh, some fun radio here. I really don't remember. But wait, but wait. Here's the thing. I forgot about this. I let this go a long time ago. All right. Here's how the, how many here's... people ended up showing a ca- up at Caroline? here in New York for your, quote, reception. Over 100. So I just have to but, say what, what Steve from Show is calling them. What? Bonnie and Claude. <laughs> Steve. Over 100. Over 100? Oh, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I couldn't make the reception, but, you know, I... All right, who didn't make the reception? I didn't, Jimmy didn't, Patrice didn't, well, who else? Jimmy was taping uh, Lucky Louie, but he, he came to the party in L.A. I, yeah, but I also was the best man and flew myself... I know. Nine, a nine-hour flight <laughs> oh. to Scott Scatchewan. A nine-hour flight. A moose picked me up at the airport. <laughs> and they got their wedding pictures taken out of rest area. It was awful. What is that about? Just wanted to feel comfortable, huh, Rich? You see the, the resentment that Jimmy has for flying that far? Now, if I invited everybody, I would have... I don't know, uh, people go. I would have a hundred people go. Oh, we flew, uh, uh, whatever. I'm not. So, I'm not but that's how we are, though, boss. Come on, you 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 yeah. being angry right now. This is a really. A th- I'm not being angry. We, f- first of all, this conversation came about boss because I, we, me and Opie was talking about coming to his wedding, and I said, look, the way we all operate, I just, I didn't think he was going to invite me to the wedding. Who? Uh, Opie. And I started naming who I didn't think he would invite. I thought yeah. it would just be too big of a thing, and he would invite just very, very close people. And I didn't think any of the comics, other than Norton from the show, would get invited. So uh, your name came up, and then this thing. Well, Voss is going to get an invite. It might be a little <laughs> late, but he's going to get one. What do you mean a little late? What does that mean? Uh, you know, uh-huh. I'm, 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 I'm getting my list together. It's, it's taking longer than I thought. <laughs> Oh, brother. You're cutting back on expenses? <laughs> no. It's it's a joke uh, that goes back a few minutes. Never. <laughs> a few minutes. <laughs> it was way back a couple of minutes. No, I, 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 assure I, figured, you. I figured out how to get out of an uncomfortable situation because there are a lot of people, 
you feel like you need to invite, but you don't really want to be at the wedding. So what you do is you make sure they get their invite very late in the game. Mm -hmm. And then they end up calling you, and they feel guilty, like, oh, my God, but I, I, I have a trip to and what's Disney. Late? Uh, maybe two weeks out. Why don't you get one? <laughs> <laughs> That's late? <laughs> yeah. Two weeks out. Yeah. For your white friends, for Patrice, you'll be like, I don't know, I'm playing that far in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that, I thought, I was thinking more three days. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't understand is because you're Opie, yeah. people will just cancel their plans unless they absolutely can. All right, can. then it's got to be like five days well, That's now. true. Why don't you just drop them off on the way to the church? <laughs> yeah, call them that morning. <laughs> I want the awkward call where I just got the invite and, and then I go... That's weird. I sent that out months ago. What uh, happened? And then, and then they go, service. fans find out where the wedding is. And then they mm. go, uh, well, it's uh, it's only five days from now, and I don't know how to tell you this, but I, there's no way I'm going to make it. And then I have to make believe I care. Like, ah, man, I, I understand. Hey, it's it, cool. Don't so worry. I would have understood. That's why I'm, I'm not saying it like I'm, <laughs> I would have I understood not getting invited. I understood not getting invited to Vols as well. I yeah. just... Didn't appreciate the anger he had oh, wow. about this reception. He, he was extremely go. angry that, at everybody. That what? I did not know was a reception. Patrice, do you really think you would have flown uh, uh, up to Edmonton, Canada? Honestly, no. That's why I said I'm not upset that you didn't invite me to the wedding, boss. I'm really not. I, I'm just but upset. You, but you shouldn't I'm be upset, upset that, that you, we didn't know it was a reception. Right. I'm upset that you you got traditional. I think it's on the second half of the situation. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? A lot of people, a lot of people have wedding parties, and when people don't go to the weddings, you think I'm mean, using. I, I don't know that. Man. What? I, that's that's. Dude, I don't no, know. a lot of people have a wedding and a reception. You know why you don't know that? Because you're too selfish and self-centered to do any research. Because Who researches these what, things? What, what does that mean? What, are you going to Google wedding possibilities? Yeah, what, do you want to, what, does that? what do you want us to spend some time on Wikipedia <laughs> looking up wedding crap? <laughs> what are you talking about? How dare this boob tell me that I'm so, too selfish to learn about weddings? I don't care. What? When was the last time anyone learned about weddings? You got married in Canada. What's this? That's not selfish? No, you couldn't no, get married really? in Connecticut? I could have drove there? Or at least Buffalo, keep it kind yeah, why, why, why Canada? Why Canada? Why, why would I, you know what? I, you're right. I should have had her whole family move to the States. What about your side of the situation, Voss? My family? I don't have I don't have that big of a family. We're your family, Voss. What's that? We're your family. Oh, oh, that that really hurts to think that you guys are my family. We are your family. Yeah, we are. are. This is all you got, man. We're all you got. This is it. We oh, love you, really? Voss. Yeah. Uh, this is I, it. This I is no, it. I have no comeback for this. Isn't that great? We're, we're now, this is exactly it, talking a man into suicide today. I <laughs> 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 want to bring up to uh, Anthony and Norton, if you go to the message boards, about, you know, they're giving me college tips for my daughter. One, I, I realize neither of you went to college. What's a college ship? College tips. Oh, oh tips. Oh, tips. I what thought there was a, like some kind of cruise ship for college kids. College ships, I said. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. College tips. College tips. And realizing that neither one of us went to college, yes. Or have kids. Or have kids. Or have kids. A lot of people agreeing with uh, Voss's uh, philosophy because Voss wants to uh, uh, have his kid go to community college for a couple of years, then maybe go to a, a yeah. huge oh, university. He wants to save a few bucks. Exactly. Oof. But with tuition how it is, it's, it's hard she, to beat them up about it. Why don't you just say your kids are going to the 13th and 14th grade? Yep. That's what I said. That's it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Community <laughs> college is is failure. Because you have to have a kid or uh, have gone to college to know what's good for... Uh, well, you, you know, to, to make decisions and stuff like what's that. What's a decision? Oh, wow. <laughs> You're falling apart. Does, oh. does your tongue swell up at night when you sleep, Voss? No. Put some ice on it. <laughs> Voss, Voss has an a, a anterior cruciate ligament tear in his mouth. <laughs> what, did he, what did he say? Oh, I are you the chicken? Are, are you sucking on salt? <laughs> my phone, my phone is, my phone is screwed. Where in your mouth? <laughs> You're supposed to hold it to your ear. You don't put the whole phone in your mouth and talk, Rich. His phone's only good to thirty fathoms. <laughs> it's already soaking wet. Yeah. Oh, he has a rotator cuff injury <laughs> in his inside of his mouth. <laughs> yes, <laughs> get your thing together, boss. Yeah, we don't care if you you can send her where you want because she wanted to go to a, a bigger college. But Rich talked to her in a community college. And and why did you do that? See, this is it's no, it why, who does that? Who you know talks what? their kid into a two I year hate, nonsense I to, college? I hate to tell you though, it's logical because 
tuition is ridiculous. People are getting bankrupt over trying to send their uh, kids to like that's, huge universities. Personally, I think college is a, a waste of your time. Holla! That's only one thing. <laughs> That's what I say. All it ever did was mess up my credit, and it, it does <laughs> nothing. All it does is yeah. teach people how to be having credit problems, and it teaches people of different ethnic groups how to sleep with each other. Like, that would have never been able to. Oh, good. <laughs> a Mongolian and a Jamaican. It has what? A, <laughs> you know what? That's what they met in college. That's but about it. It's a hell of a party though for four years, five years. It's just, it's nonsense. In some I don't. Cases, I think six, most most people. You know what college teaches people? How to work for other people. It doesn't teach. It destroys mm -hmm. dreams. If you have any dream, like if you, anybody in here right now, if they went to college, and we, or if you talk to somebody that thought about college, you would not be doing what you're doing. If you go, hey, listen, I want to be a successful radio person. Somebody would go, you're a jerk. Go to, <laughs> go to college. But college does not do anything to help you better yourself. No. Nothing. Well, because uh, I think a lot of people, they uh, just assume, well, if I go to college, that's all I have to worry about. I'll be successful. Then but you get out of college that, and someone's first... waiting there to give you a job yeah, no, and that's, everything. That's the first step. Then you have to, when you're in college, really. Then you got to work out... for the college. Yes. $50,000 or $75,000, dollars you got to pay back. You essentially you're gonna work for the college for the next ten years. You. You're a you're a hoe for the college. Not taking back. They're, they're pimping you out all over the place. Yeah, sit in the community college. They're t they yeah, they always try to get me to go back to Geneseo because you know I, I've been quite successful and they have a communications program up there. They want me to go back and talk. I'm like, no, you guys did nothing for me. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> they really didn't do anything. I don't even for get me. that alumni. The best I got was they happened to have a uh, uh, a radio station and and I spent all my time at the radio station. I didn't learn this in, in school. I didn't no. learn this in class. You should no. say that. <laughs> I did, with that tone. <laughs> Total disdain. <laughs> I told a story yesterday. I was going to uh, fail out, so I went to my communications uh, professor. And I said, look, you got to give me a, a, a higher grade or I'm flunking out. He goes, ah, maybe this isn't uh, you know uh, what you're going to be doing with your life. Maybe you're not cut out to do this. I'm like, oh, thanks a lot, you ass. And then I reminded him of uh, what happened to his daughter at the fraternity house uh, a few years back. <laughs> oh, oh. And then I uh, went on to another professor, and he gave me the uh, the grade that I needed, and I was able to continue my college career so I could work at the radio station, which leads to what I'm doing today. Which Not would, the classroom and, crap, And though. the fact is you got all your on-job training on the job. You learned doing what you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. College stinks. I went to one yeah. semester... I got a B in three Fs. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, but I dropped out of high school because of rehab, so I didn't have a high school diploma. <laughs> so I was taking college slash high school credits. <laughs> I took in college. I took biology. <laughs> I took biology, Western civilization, problems, and statistics, and uh, some sort of English course. I got a B in English, and then I I failed miserably at everything else. Everything else. You'd... All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to real estate school and fell asleep the first day in class. And Ugh. was like snoring and drooling on the desk. <laughs> real estate school. Who would buy anything from you? Yeah. <laughs> Want to buy a dryer door? <laughs> right, boss, how long have you been married now? Uh, two years, right? Two, over two years. September right. will be three years. I'm thinking of getting you a wedding present. What should I get you? Uh, I thought you were going to hang up right now. No, no, he's asking. What do you need? Uh... I don't know, tuition for my daughter to go to college. I don't need any. Well, is she graduating this year? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she wanted to go to school, but her boss talked about it. How in God's name yeah. did that happen? She was like this little goofy girl uh, last year. That's what yeah. happens to them goofy girls. They grow up. And Voss is amazing. He has a 25-year-old and a 1-year-old. It's amazing. <laughs> I think that is just a, you're a freak of nature, man, a science project. Yeah, you're finally getting them out of the house, and you're starting <clears> over. I don't get that concept. Don't you want to get to the point where they're all out of the house? Why would you go back in time? You basically go back in time. Mm -hmm. They're out of the house. You turn your 18... I know, but you turn your 18-year-old into a newborn. How, you, you, that doesn't make sense. You were finally ready to just right. not have to deal with anything with children anymore. And now you uh, start it all over. It's called love. Hey, Voss, oh. uh, where are you going to oh. be tonight? <laughs> where are you going to be well, tonight? Nice. we got a break. Tommy Coke Springfield. I'm not hanging up on you. I don't do that with plugs. He did, he did get it out quick, though. <laughs> I'll give him Spring, that. Springfield, New Jersey. What's the club? 
Comedy Cove. Comedy Cove tonight with Rich Voss, who's right. who's well, uh, terrific to see. For real, I really don't have any re- any resentment or anger towards this whole wedding thing anymore. I made a mistake. <clears throat> it was a complete I misunderstanding. He had That's resentment right. and anger. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Oh, he came in here on fire one day, I yelling and screaming. I'm like, "Well, chill, dude. We didn't even know it was a reception." You're not the only one that made a mistake. I made a mistake. I went. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it wasn't. It was kind of fun. It was actually. Look, here's the deal. You assume too much because I would have went to the to, to your wedding. Wedding. You know, I, I think people don't want to ask people to go to their wedding because they don't want to put them in that position. But that's what I was telling Patrice that started this whole thing. I'm like, of course you're going to get an invite. But if you call me and go, I don't really feel like going or it's not my place, I would be totally cool with that. That's fine. But I, I, I do want you there. I'm not to just, RSVP. I don't know. I, I, I'm not you, just let doing me tell you it how, how it. detached I am from it in terms of that. I don't even know how to feel. For you at a wedding, like I don't. Mm. You, no I one in to, this room knows like, how I don't, to feel. I don't know what. To, I, somebody has to tell me how to feel at Dude, a wedding. I, I, I guarantee we can line up and put our hands on uh, on that hot plate over there, and not one of us will scream. <laughs> we just, <laughs> we just yeah. don't feel don't, anything. No one like, feels ha- in this am I room. Be like, hey man, I'm ha- I'm so happy. Like, yeah, you're supposed to be like happy for people. You're supposed to um. Get caught up in the joyous moment of their happiness and love, and then uh, uh, during at the receiving line at the end, when you're shaking hands with the family, yeah, and and uh, you're supposed to ha- actually say congratulations and really feel it. Eesh. Patrice, Patrice is making this cringe but face. But I, I innately uh, don't support marriage for the guy's point of view. Meaning, if I mm-hmm. saw you get married, I'd be like, boy, one soldier down. <laughs> and I just think it's for, medic. <laughs> it's for the woman. I'm usually not going to be her friend, uh-huh. so it was. It, you're more happy for her. You would need to be more happy for her than, right. than the man, but I, I, I can care less about. You know what I mean? Like if I marry my girl, it's just it's really going to be. So you lo- here you go. But That's you're looking at is. see you're looking at the whole thing very cynically. You're not looking at it in terms of love, two people sharing a life. Believe me, I ain't either. But you know that's how it is. Shut Depends up. on the I don't mean with you personally. I'm not talking about you. No, I, I'm talking about I'm, I'm, general I, overall Anthony, percentage. I'm telling you to shut up because you're heading this way. What? Yeah. <laughs> yes. What? It, it is whirlwind, yes. Jack. It is. A, it is it's a six point eight. Are you kidding? This isn't 2007. Huh? I would. I would believe every word you're saying. What? You're in a whole different world, my oh, friend. What did I do. You're you're heading toward the altar. Something you said you would Jack. never do again. Why can't two people? Uh, Look, I don't want to put the pressure on two you. Two movies in mind. I don't my wanna... big fat WAP wedding <laughs> <laughs> and and knocked up <laughs> and knocked up is the first feature. <laughs> knocked up followed by my big fat WAP Look, wedding. <laughs> I had to stop you because <laughs> all, all I'm saying is let's let's uh, let's uh, talk in in early fall. Early fall? Yeah, we're only 20, and it's some, it's we're only some 24 days on, into dude. Anthelini, but something is going okay. on with you. A lot of bets going on. Yeah. Out there. Really? Yeah, oh. there's something going on with you and Jill mm. that you, that is confusing the hell out of how you think. It depends on the My couple. Friend. Like, I'm, I'm actually happy for Open as Girl because they get along. Like, they're four years. I mean, it's, a long, it's not a pressure thing. It's like, this is what <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Go. Marriage, ma- I mean, he. I guess he wants to get married. Like, you got to want to yeah. get married, but it's... Like, if I marry my girl, it really is for her. Like, almost 99.9. But it, it, you're I, not saying anything crazy, though. I think, uh, I think, like, it's I like think here, girls are, you went through what you've gone through. Here you go. Here's your stripe. But you're not saying <laughs> stripe. Yeah. You're not saying anything crazy. I think, uh, girls, you know, since they're very, very little, it, it's all about their wedding day. It, it, as a guy growing up, did you ever have a discussion with your dad about ever getting married or any of that you stuff? You don't have a discussion it's, it's, about love. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but as much as you're not, you're, you're against it, you should be for it. You should be neutral. What's the big deal whether you do or don't? Because she takes... Look, I'm... Uh, it's just she's in your life. It's official, Patrice, and it's hard to get her out. Like, you can't just say leave. Patrice, if you go to... No consequence. If you go to my <laughs> wedding, you're going to see that's a little different. It's going to be, you know, a, certainly a celebration, but we're going to have fun. We're going to have a party. It's Are you reading be... your own vows? <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. That's kind of hack. I mean, to be honest Yeah, but that's what a wedding is. Yeah. I do. Why mm-hmm. not just get married under the? Why not get married just no, two no, I mean, people and God? What what happened to that? Mm. I, I would be cool. Yeah, we, are, are on a beach gonna, somewhere, like Braveheart. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just go out in the woods. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. How Sp- uh, Spencer Christian did it to the Tahitian girl when he, <laughs> yeah, when he was hiding Mr. from Christian. Captain Bly. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Marry her under a burning tree. <laughs> <laughs> 
you guys attack Bobby? He didn't invite people to Hawaii. We already we covered that. We, oh, we, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because he Bobby was up there and he was a smarter chiseler than you. Yeah, it was very smart for him to do that because it was he was protecting. He, but you were doing it too. You were protecting your ego because you didn't want to invite. I don't know. I'm not going to sit and say you was wanted to invite me, but you didn't want people did. to turn you down, which is no. what you what right. people don't want. It's your uh, whole life experience. Everyone has rejected you. I mean, Patrice, here's the thing. I invited you. I inv when I had that dumb <laughs> that dumb party for my. I love that, dude. I I'm, I appreciate. Look, at, I'm not mad you didn't invite me. I'm j my thing. List if you can listen, yeah. is that I didn't. I didn't know what that party was. Okay. I didn't know that I was supposed to be bringing. I thought it was just mm -hmm. I have a party. I didn't know you paid. He paid thousands of dollars to Goofy Carolines. Oh and, and, boy, and did he? They should have paid you, by the way, all the help uh, you've given them. And these the wedding cupcakes that he had. Not I thought to trust it was just Caroline, like, hey, thanks you know, for being They do the there. right thing, but maybe they should have thrown uh, Voss a bone and said, Look. maybe they did. I don't know what kind of. They give you a deal at all, Rich? No, yeah. of course not. Oh, look at it. Yeah, yeah. I guess we yeah, some. Yeah, they allowed me to headline. We didn't know, uh, Rich. I wouldn't have came and not get you some. I'd get you. I get you some because you're a friend of mine. But that that reception, I didn't know what it was. That's okay. All. So I I, I I I agree. I made I made a, we made a big mistake. Bonnie and I talk about that all the time. That we made a big mistake. We should. I just feel bad because they were probably hoping to see more faces. Yeah, familiar yeah. faces, and they just weren't there because we we you're there was right. a misunderstanding. That's yeah. what it really was. It wasn't that dumb. Right? We love you, Voss. Now get I lost. Beat it. <laughs> so be. Scram. Are you hoping? Do you, you, you think you'll cry during the reading of the, uh, like, the, the He'll cry. Stuff? Uh oh. Uh, He'll cry. Mm. Hmm. Hey, chill out, man. Uh, I'm, in the, I'm, I'm in the middle of a brew weekend, and you had to ask that question. <clears throat> He'll cry. You think you might? Uh, the, there's this another reason, probably, but I don't I'm gonna cry if Obama oh. becomes president. I I thought about it, like I was pitching. Oh, get so out of here, Anthony! <laughs> like, yeah, believe me, we'll both, we'll both be crying. I'm gonna cry. I think I'm I'm just gonna cry. If Is I that see like because I've seen old footage of uh, when Martin Luther King was assassinated? A lot of black people stand around the televisions in Times Square and stuff, just crying. Yeah. You think that's gonna be the same type of? Emotional Are you moment the where the first black president? All right, listen. This could be twenty Jesus, minutes. We gotta I just take got a break. Butterflies when you said that. We gotta take a break. We get into Oof. this after the break. We're fifteen minutes wow. late for a break. Listen, uh, and really fast, just to just to wrap this up, nice, uh, Patrice. The first Saturday night radio show you did was March eleventh, oh six. Thank you, E Rock. It was. It used to be called Bitch Management. And we went out to dinner after that. Over two years ago. Over two years ago. <laughs> two. When we said, wow. wow, this is so nice, we should do this more often. And we've been planning it every day for two years. Well, and that it hasn't happened. That April, was May, June. So two years, three months. That was the first There's time. There's a in new 30... building in the play. I'm going to take a picture today to, to show everybody what's in uh, place of the steakhouse that used to be there. It was, it was actually two 30... years. I've only had nine shows. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> My ninth show last Saturday. That's hilarious. <laughs> we have to break. Oh yeah, no, I was, I, I was, I, I, what, Jimmy? No, I'm kidding. Did you have something? Though? <laughs> no, I was. Just, I didn't want to cut you off. No, I was like, <laughs> I just wanted. To, uh, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say something that bombed somewhere no. in there? No, 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 he's just being a smartass. All right, all right. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. <laughs> You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Thank you, E Rock. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it today. Phone number 877 212 Patrice O'Neill in studio playing comics. C O M I X N Y dot com. 212 524 2500 for tickets to see Patrice O'Neill tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, a lot of people heading to the movie theater mm -hmm. this weekend. The Incredible Hulk is getting, what, 75% positive reviews on RottenTomatoes.com. And then The Happening, starring Mark Wahlberg, who was on our show earlier this week. The new M. Night Shyamalan movie. Yep. Getting 19% positive reviews on mm. RottenTomatoes.com. Yes, Patrice. Can I ask a quick question about um, The Incredible Hulk, please? Yes. Is that a, I'm sorry, the first one was so bad, <laughs> completely Jimmy doing would, it again, or is it a, is it, a, it, is it, is it part two of that last one? No, they, I like the first one. They redid the entire movie. Yeah. Jimmy uh, was saying that yesterday, that, that what is this? Like, it's not a sequel. It's not a prequel. It's like a whole, like the first one just didn't exist, and they did it over. It's a do-over. Yep, that's exactly what it is. 
Do over. Do over. Same thing with the fucking bat. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Jimmy cursed. Jimmy used the F word. I'm telling. Oh, guys, don't get me started. <laughs> the same thing as the stupid Batman movies. Not the stupid Batman movies. No, I loved the, the Batman movie. I heard it was good. They, they you heard it was good. You what, didn't Batman see Batman Begins? Seen Christian Batman? Bale's in it. It's yeah. fantabulous. Batman, is Batman Begins is, is <laughs> you don't like Norton. Do you like superhero movies? It depends. You would like the, the how what they did with Batman. No, I haven't. I want to tell I think it's the best. They, they got rid of all that cartoony. Ever made, they man. got rid yeah. of all that cartoony crap. Broke it down and started all over, man. My favorite new amazing. superhero movie going to be coming out soon called Opie. It's oh, amazing. Thanks, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> thank you, Anthony. Just want to remind people if uh, you're just tuning in, the Daily oh, of News course. got it uh, correct uh, this morning for once. Headline: Radio show host Opie talks listener out of suicide attempt. <laughs> oh, you might have heard. Oh, wow! Listen to the music. You might have heard differently if you were listening to our show yesterday. But uh, you know, the paper. We always say it. The paper is never wrong. Never. never Radio show that. host Opie talks listener out of suicide attempt. Is that your superpower to talk people out of suicide? Yeah. Like they're playing the the, the Superman. <laughs> yeah, that's his. Uh... My superpowers to keep you from slitting your wrist. <laughs> that's his superpower. And the picture was. It was. It was just me, and uh, yeah. and and the banner behind me just said Opie. They even cut out the Anthony part of the banner. Yeah, they cut out uh, <laughs> half the banner, just a picture of Opie, and it said Opie saves man from suicide. And it's like who? What? What, they <laughs> what the hell were me and Jimmy doing? They should have showed Opie just being calm and collected, and then you and me hugging like two frightened girls yeah, in the just background, scared, not able to speak, <laughs> hugging with one leg raised, just terrified of the storm. <laughs> well. While the calm, cool, collected storm master calmed everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid newspaper. Uh, but Gotta no, break down the wall now. They never get anything right. Yeah. I mean, Jimmy, you know, it's not fair to Jimmy. Jimmy was, like, instrumental in what was going on yesterday. Well, I came out with the famous phrase, but don't do that. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey. Hey. What are you, what are you crazy? Yeah, come on, what is this about? <laughs> So uh, the happening looks like it's not happening. Yeah, of course not. It sounds horrendous. Well, and Anthony, what did the paper say about the? Well, the paper the paper said, uh, "Look, I'm going to give away a spoiler uh, to the uh, movie. Um, so if anybody, no, this is what the newspaper said. Jimmy. And d don't turn your dial. Trust me. Yeah, don't don't we, worry. It's not a spoiler. I wouldn't I wouldn't give you a spoiler. But we this won't have. We won't have with you. It's actually a, a pretty funny line. That this is how the has. newspaper put it in the review. It said, I'm going to give you a spoiler, so if you don't want a spoiler, don't read the rest of the article. And he goes, the twist at the end of the movie is there is no twist to the end of the movie. There is nothing. It is just <laughs> this is the happening or the whole end of story uh, uh, happening. The happening. It's just a ridiculous, now, about, doesn't make any sense movie. It's about death, right, or something? It's about people just... Apparently, something happens where people start killing themselves. That's that's the gist of the movie. Wait, They're not sure wait, if some wait. kind of toxic. Did, wait, wait, thing. wait, wait, wait! You yes, just sir? said the movie, the happening has something happening. Hmm. No, it's the happening. Did you see it? And then no. what's happening is the prequel, right? And Shirley Hemphill raises the question. <laughs> of course, I have no Remember clue. I'm legs. watching this thing, and I'm going. There's just it's a lot of imagery of people floating and dying. But they, They're Hollywood killing has themselves. risen up against against this guy anyway. They're done with him. Yeah. Public has all that night Shyamalan stinks. Yeah, can, <laughs> they're done with can him. Can we make it official that he was a one hit wonder? I uh, six cents. But how come they thought this, this is, was good, he was going to be in the next uh, Marty Scorsese or this something? This is where racism lives. Yeah. Oh, it's all about why. Racism. Why doesn't this? Uh, whatever he is, M, he, M. Night why uh, he Shyamalan, a ding -dong. another twenty years to stink, just like Kevin Costner. He will. Yeah, he will. He's got twenty movies. Dude, since he will. Stink. What are you talking about? This guy. This is. Like, oh, this, this is, is it. Movie this is already. it. This is it, though. They like, said they, that after the village. They said no, that after that other uh, after the one with the, the mermaid. Yeah, Lady in the Water. Lady in the Water. Lady in the Water. water. This one is over. Stinkeroo. Because they because they go. This is M Night Shyamalan. This is his first rated R movie, y'all, and it's yeah. gonna stink. Who's mm. he had? Who's had that many bombs in a row? I now, Kevin a Costner. Movie. Kevin Costner. Are you including things like Waterworld and The Postman as like bad movies? His was weird about that. He also won an Oscar. His was weird okay. about Kevin Costner. All right, and his stink in this. Okay, the ones that really stink are actually all right. Waterworld. I like Waterworld. Doesn't bug me. And <laughs> neither will. does the Postman. See? But he was in bombs. That's the thing. It's money with Hollywood. It's not artistic yeah. flavor. It's mm -hmm. it's it's the bottom line. 
And bottom line, Kevin Costner hasn't been top of the line for a long time. He, he still gets based on uh, dances with wolves. Right. He's a whatever. made man because of that. It's almost like Eastwood, which his films are okay that he directs, but even if they weren't great, people wouldn't hurt Eastwood because he's Eastwood. Exactly. And Oscar has that past too yep. because he wanted to. But Oscar. Eastwood's a little bit more boutique than, mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean? than Kevin Costner, meaning. He comes out with one every 16 years, <laughs> yeah. and he gets an Oscar. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like the directing uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis <laughs> crawls in on, under a rock and then comes out, and it's like you have to give him an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> they have no sure, choice. Yeah. He be <laughs> he becomes like this amazing dude. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. The Sixth Sense made uh, 293 million. There you go. That was his All top right. one. And then Unbreakable uh, made 95. Let's call it 95 million. I didn't mind Unbreakable but either. Let's, let's, I, I really didn't mind that movie either. Unbreakable could have okay. been great. Who he blew it. Could have been. About? Uh, Bruce Willis, Sam Jackson. It was a Samuel he Jackson, was an evil yeah. villain, but it was all regular guys. Right? Yeah, they were superheroes. It was like almost like this Hancock thing. Yeah, I thought that was he pretty good. Didn't have super He had these vague implied superpowers. Bruce Willis. Okay, and Sam Sam Jackson was his nemesis. But only Sam Jackson knew it. And you did, yeah, didn't know it until the end. One of those twists. It, it could have been a great movie. Uh, Signs. Was Signs, huge. I didn't did well, know. Yeah, Signs. Signs almost did uh, as well as Sixth Sense. Uh, it got it got ridiculous and hokey and stuff, but, but he, I, and he pulled in it. 228 mil for that. What happened at the With end Sixth of Signs? With Sixth Sense doing 293, so that was close. What happened at the end of Signs? Was Richard Dreyfus got on the ship. That's and, not Signs. Oh. It I had no sense his, of humor about mistakes. His what are you, stupid? <laughs> his, his finger glowed, and he said he'd, he'd, yeah, he'd be he right here. Wrong film, idiot. <laughs> 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 <But not, but laughs> they, they, uh, I'll tell you, they solved the uh, the problem with uh, Lil' Rain. That's not the goddamn yeah. ending. <laughs> they <laughs> they flew a flying Man. saucer in the mothership yep. and, and hit it with a virus. Yeah, it was a virus. <laughs> and uh and all the little ships that were on Earth at the time, they yeah. they dismantled because the mothership blew up. Brought him down. Oh, uh, remember Randy Quaid had that great line? He's good. Oh, there was such He's good so many great lines yeah. in that movie. Oh by the way, Opie was right, it was the rain, right? It rained or something, and that was it. Yeah, water. Water. They came to a planet to take over. That's 75% toxic. <laughs> yeah. That's which is what, kind of silly. That, that's what pissed me off. It's aliens. They figure out how to get to Earth, and and they they're going to take they, over the planet. They they're can't real figure smart. Out how to, to build umbrellas? To, yeah, thank you, Jimmy. That's and, what it was. You think the aliens would have just walked around with umbrellas? It's like no. if you were going to take over a planet and you had the capability of doing so, would you take over a planet that seventy-five percent of the planet is covered with something that kills you? <laughs> on contact. Wow. No. Yeah. <laughs> and then you, could you hit that, please? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. There you go. The, oh. The, the, the I don't bell. know what you mean. Oh. Thank okay. You. Yeah, oh, Jimmy well, had that, a little doozy there. Like, all righty. That would have got us fired. I so had we the proverbial hit the Lulu. In a proverbial. Okay. Bell. Uh, then signs was followed up by the village uh, drastic drop off. I don't get that. One hundred fourteen million that? for that movie, and then Lady in the Water. He hasn't had enough bombs to throw him away That's yet. That's awful. But he's not Scott a white Peterson guy. story. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid lady in the water. How dumb. There's a lady in the water. She's got to oh, shut up. And the village stunk. Joaquin Phoenix and his hair lip. He's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he's terrible. Hey, I can't hair get lip. past hair lips. Him and Stacey hair Keach. Lips. I have to cover my eyes and watch this no. torn up side of your lip thing. I <laughs> they should be forced to always deliver their dialogue behind an open newspaper. <laughs> no matter what they're talking about. Wait a minute. You know who got that lip that I never noticed his whole career? Ben uh, from Lost? Who? E Eric Roberts. Yeah? Does he? Yeah, he got that lip. I didn't realize that until yeah. left cleft palate. That, no, it's a cleft lip. Cleft so, palate to nose, I think. Lady well, no, in the Water. The same thing. A hair lip is a cleft palate that's been repaired. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Why don't they repair it better? <laughs> I don't know. What do they do? Just staple it and go, here you go. Out. I honestly don't know. They don't have that put one some, figured out yet, Jimmy. Put some vitamin E oil on that. <laughs> some aloe. Get some aloe in it. They've never done a good job with those things. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell do you know about vitamin E? Hey, I just no, know it's good for scars. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. They never fix them properly. I didn't think white people knew about them. You said cocoa, but I'd have passed out. Yeah, Lady in the Water uh, just uh, finished us forty-two million. 
a massive bomb. Yeah, good. and now the happening not uh, bad, not though. getting uh, good reviews this morning. Lady in the Water is like a, it's like a little <laughs> boy's story. That's not a good title. It's not mysterious. And, and I got to do a little fu to Mark Wahlberg because uh, we had a great time with him. He's uh, called our show a couple times, uh -huh. and he's kind of a friend of the show. It went so well. We we're like, Mark, uh, next time you're in New York, you really oh, need know. to come in and and hang with us. And he goes, you know, I would really like that. He was saying that as he was calling from New York, New York City. <laughs> so <laughs> awkward. He's Hollywood. Yeah. That. Yeah. Uh, Has the, he dropped? Do you think, Mark? Wasn't he, he super A list kind of the guy? He's still up yeah. there. Is he like, super A list, dude. He's got his entourage. His next movie could be something from yeah, Scorsese or anybody. He, he's he, he could be another big, huge guy. I'm sorry. He's worked with too many big directors. Right. I think. Yeah. He's like a guy that's worked. With. Don't interrupt me. You're right. Um, <laughs> that's a good point. You're right. <laughs> They're turning uh, what I did yesterday into a movie already. Oh, are they? Yeah, George and Philly. <laughs> it's going to be oh. called Opie, uh, starring Owen Wilson as Opie, Al Pacino as Anthony, Steve Buscemi as yeah! Martin, Queen Latifah as Patrice O'Neill, <laughs> <laughs> Jay Moore as Colin Quinn, and Colin Quinn as Rich Voss. So uh, <laughs> they're casting for, oh, for our hero God. movie. On instant feedback, they're having fun with that. Today. Well, maybe M. Night Shyamalan can make a film about it. There'll be a little twist at the end. Wow. I don't know what it'll be. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to do our show. He blew us off. Why so, wouldn't he? So go, go F you and uh, go F yourself stinks. and F your movie. His first initial, M. What's your name, <laughs> turd? <laughs> What's that awful long name on your license? <laughs> you get pulled over oh You get pulled over by, by a TSA every time you try to get on a plane. <laughs> you bum. Yeah, where's Roland? I want to know why... <laughs> M. Night uh, exactly. goes off. M M M yeah. M has Salomon. Mediocre Night Shalomon. <laughs> 19%. How do you like them apples? <laughs> the village. Oh, I've never felt that. <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix. He went his lip as a balloon knot. It's like he <laughs> blew up his face and then tied it off. <laughs> oh <my God>. uh, <laughs> that's right. Uh, Roland, why did yes. M. Night uh, Shyamalan uh, Ding Dong or whatever his name is uh, oh. blow us off? Um, he said uh, his scheduling problems. He knows my back is a sore. My back is a sore? What's yeah. wrong What's your matter with your back? You don't want to be tickled today? How did it get, no. How did it, no. He goes, no. no. How did it get sore? Roland is M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> with, with too much tire pressure in him. <laughs> Oh, someone didn't use the pressure a, gauge. A stressed out, swollen M night. <laughs> yeah, we might have to do a, a like the a, M stands for massive. <laughs> might have to do a split screen with Roland and M night. They they have a similar look. Yeah. Exactly. So wait, he blew us off because of scheduling. Why? Does he, is he is yeah. he have another atrocious film that's being <laughs> shot? No, it, it, the, um, he's friends with Howard, so that's why. Yeah. Oh, is that why? Good. He ought to call his next film the Manhattan Project. <laughs> Because it's all he does is bomb. <laughs> hey, Enola Gay. His film's going to be dropped out of the Enola Gay on Japan. He sucks. Your movie stinks. Oh, my God. You're a bum. 19%. That's 8% more than you should have gotten. What's his name? Manoj Neliyatu Shamiya. Your name is, is annoying. Change it to Mike. <laughs> That's his real name? Exactly. Who likes him? No one. Where are the vowels? Oh, a Manjo Neliyatu Shamiya. Shut up. <laughs> he should be saying, do you want to take the bridge or the tunnel? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> With a name like that. It really is. Wait. No, and this rant, you really <laughs> have a problem. This, this is not we, a, a right now rant. We have he a, hates M. Night Shyamalan oh, yeah. for real. Because we have a problem with guys that are blowing us off. They have, you know, the guy needs all the help he can get for this dumb oh, movie. And, and he's, he blew us off because he's friends with Howard. Well, no, but it's also scheduling problems. What scheduling problem? What could he they possibly be doing? They always say scheduling problems. He's certainly not creating anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said. He's so. got bigger problems oh. than scheduling at this point. I, I want to know what's wrong with Roland's back. Yeah, what yeah, happened, Roland? I didn't move some stuff. And I he was heart. laying on it, and somebody <laughs> was well, hitting him too hard he, while he was on his back. He couldn't get up. He's like a lamb. His little feet were kicking. <laughs> <laughs> and happened? he is a little Indian. He's probably having sex on a bed of nails <laughs> <laughs> with an elephant stomping on him. And <laughs> Rolling. When you move that, you threw out your back. Yeah. I do move up a couch. I live on the sixth flight. A six walk upstairs. Six walk upstairs. A flight. I'm gonna live on the sixth floor in a walk up. Why? Why? It's no elevator. No, it's a pre war no. building. No, no, pre war building. Yeah. Do you live on a sixth floor walk up on what floor? 
What war? Yeah, civil? Floor. You live on the top floor of a six floor walk? Yeah. It's a duplex because it goes, uh, like, keeps on looping. So why are you still shaped like Kung Fu Panda? <laughs> oh, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, How does Patrice get away with those type of slabs? Because oh. I don't live. <laughs> How do I get away with that? If I lived on a six floor walk up, I wouldn't have said it. I, I live on a, on a ground floor walk in. <laughs> Six floors every day. There's something should be going Roland, on. Roland, you want to say something back? That yes. wasn't nice. I know it wasn't nice. Are you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Weekend, What's that? Are you playing at theater this weekend or comics? <gasps> I have. Oh, oh, damn. No. Face. Oh. It's my new thing. Face. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Letterman tonight? No. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. He is oh. being brutal. Oh. I already did it twice. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Okay, then face on me. Yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I don't have a dead dog. Gee whiz. Yeah. <laughs> what a bunch of high blood pressure. But seriously, I do want to ask. <laughs> hey, Roland. I like Patrice, so that's why I can. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, he has to really hate you. To I, really, like, it's to, hard for me when I like, I like, really like a person. I'm like, I got nothing. Yeah, he doesn't really like Poe, and that's why it was... Uh, it was just easy to hurt him. Yeah. He has scheduling problems. That makes me sick. Yeah. What's his, what's his real name again, Norton? Oh, it's horrendous. <laughs> It, it 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 should be followed by and you're calling Dell customer service, <laughs> uh, Manaj, Nelly Yatu, Shamala. It's just why there's a Y and an M. It's horrendous. M Knight, who how cool. Sounds like what Bruce Campbell had to say in uh, Evil Dead. <laughs> Manaj, Nelly Yatu, necktie. Exactly. How's that feel, idiot? Your name is a prayer in Necronomic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Yes, the prayer. Oh, Lord, no, no, no. It's so funny. He doesn't like M Night Shyamalan. <laughs> like for real. His first movie was so good. It was amazing. I mean, he has. I, he just, what was his first movie? Again? Uh, Six Sense. He Six did Sense. one before that, but no one really saw. Oh, did he really? It, it was. So was, you started hating him because his movie stunk. After the village, I want to spit in his face. I don't like Joaquin Phoenix because he whispers everything, and I just think he's horrendous. You don't think he was good in Gladiator? I don't remember when Gladiator. Yeah, Gladiator. Was that was a good movie. He was a king in Black Gladiator. Yeah, it was yeah, pretty was good in Gladiator. Good. Is that is that where the man with the sword stabbed him, like right above the gum line? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, he's he's meant to lead us. He has the mark of the whatever on him. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Can I, can I ask you a quick question? Have you ever trashed a, a, a star that you bumped into, or you had even had to work with, and you go, "Ooh, I hope they just don't know." Sure, uh, Gene Simmons. Um, who I was a fan of at first, they blew me. Oh yeah, it's happened with him. Um, sure. But I'm almost at a point where it's like, what am I going to do? I'm almost forty. They're not going to start just putting me in movies. <laughs> I mean, I know who I like. What is M Night going to call me? Hey, look, I got something that's going to get one percent on Rotten Tomatoes. You want to star in it? No one else who can be in my films can act. So they could at long. least put you in as one of the ghosts. It's exactly. Yeah, exactly. I could no have makeup something. needed. Just Norton uh, walking around. You boo. Uh, <laughs> I see pale people. Jared in Boston. Yes. Hey guys. Uh, M. Knight's first name was what that guy in Temple of Doom started babbling before he yanked out a heart. Kalima! <laughs> you know who's a great director? Is mm. Mel Gibson's a great director. Really? That apocalypto was fantastic. He's not, he takes it really. And they hate him, too. They, they Hollywood they wants to. They, they well, really he doesn't like uh, Jewish people, and a lot of Jewish people in Hollywood. How much money do you have to have mm -hmm. wait, before you can be uh, anti Semitic? Uh, Mel Gibson money. Yeah, yeah. Like, he got he away has, with it. He He's fine. fine. But he really, he He's really fine. didn't. He, he, I mean, where you go, I'm going to be anti Semitic, and then they do what Jews do. I don't know what they do to make you apologize. <laughs> but where you go, ah, I'm not apologizing. You just got enough money to go, ah, I don't feel like it. Well, you can't be outwardly, like, anti anything and get away with it, really. Like, even with half a billion dollars, you just go, hey. You got to apologize. Like, no, he probably wouldn't have survived it if he would have been belligerent. Nobody would have released his films. So, no one. So, in the happening, like, why, <laughs> why are the plants and trees killing everybody? Oof. What? Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Plants and trees. Oopsie! Oh, Did good. I just say that? Is that what happened? The Go after yourself, M. Knight. Is the villain an azalea? <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie! Oh no! Plants and trees. That's a big spoiler. <laughs> that's a big, 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 that's big that's spoiler. What, that's what I do. Tell your friend Howie we said hi. You dope. Oh. Jimmy did a great job yesterday with uh, Tom. Uh, also, Patrice O'Neill. He's playing comics here in New York City tonight and tomorrow. 212-524-2500 for tickets. We got uh, a couple guys from the Philly crew in studio today.
And we also have uh, Basil Tease from Tom's River, New Jersey. Steve, doing just a great job at the food. How great is the food, Patrice? <clears throat> it's delicious, man. I can't stop eating. I heard you negotiating over there. You want uh, Steve to come do maybe a little uh, little <laughs> shindig for you. Yeah. He's that that uh, that good. I think that would be a cool thing to have a cookout with a uh, professional chef. Yeah. By the way, to the idiots that don't get uh, what's going on with our show and Ron and Fez, relax. I know faces, Eastside Dave's thing. You oh, dope. I uh, have face. That's you dope. Eastside Dave. It's you mine. dopes. Take it for what it was supposed to be. We we're we're taking it. We're we're taking it. It's ours now. We make it ours. Now it's mine. Yeah, that's what we do now. That's yeah. what we do now. Face. Face. Eastside Dave, who invented face, because now it's ours. Face. Steal it. Anthony, you got to stop being in the middle of these pictures you're taking. Problem? Yeah, there you go. They want Jill in the middle. No, no let me tell you something. No more Jill in the middle. I'm Here's the problem. How about no more pictures? I've had it. Here's I get it. Here's the problem. It. I'll tell you They're what the lost. problem is. I'll tell you what the goddamn problem is. And this is the, the God's honest truth. We go up ringside. Last night, we went to uh, Roseland. They had a Thai fighting thing there. Pretty intense. Those Mo- little Moi. guys are insane. A little Muay Thai. Yeah, a little Muay Thai. Uh, fighting, and here's the problem: we want a picture taken, and every time we go to have our goddamn picture taken, someone sneaks in and goes, "I want one with you too." But you, I move. want just one picture. Me and Jill, leave move, us alone. Move. Leave us alone. Why do you move need another picture? You next guys got- to you. Don't have. What? You're always in the middle. Move, move that. They whoever. just move in, and the picture snaps. Because everyone, There's no, it's ridiculous. Everyone needs their. Yes! <laughs> it needs their picture with Anthony. Dude, if you don't think that's the truth, we tried, I don't know how many different occasions to get just a picture of us last night. Six? And <laughs> possibly more than that, Jim. You're crazy. By the way, you know how many pictures streets? there are of you two? You don't need any more pictures. You've been we need plenty of on pictures. The on the streets, than... people are asking, is this true? All at- Yes. Is this true? And I'm telling them it's true. It is true. Different locations. We want pictures. Of- Didn't you see our garden party pictures? How could we not? You know, stop. They were wonderful. They're at a big castle. You're shoving these pictures down our throat. No, we, we, we're we not. We understand you're in love. It's, it's, Look, it's, it's wonderful. Look, the big castle. Yeah, it's wonderful. Charles and Diana weren't photographed as much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jimmy. This is creepy. Thank you, Jimmy. Every day, Stunt Brain goes, well, Jill sent more pictures. I'm like, how many pictures do we need of them? Look, here's me and Jill at Blockbuster. Here's me and Jill in line at the airport. Here's Jill and I on the plane in the cockpit on the pilot. All right. All right. <laughs> Get it. You're lovely, both of you. Everyone loves you. He's, he, Look. He's, he's trying to prove to the world that this is real. We're here to say it's no. real. No more pictures. Yeah, we on, it. Shut okay. down Anthelini.com. We don't no, need to see No, they more go pictures. up there, and they're in all of our different places that we go. All you do is go to functions. You like bitch look at shot. us and and yeah, get yeah, tired. Well, well, Have you both said the L word, dude? He said after three days. Uh, three yeah. days. Has she it's said about the L four word? Four hours. Yeah. You're really? not a. You're not uh, a me too. Are you? What? You're not me too. I got, I'm, I'm no. one of those. No, Patrice. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm one of those. Yeah. Cool. Did you really say it after four hours? No. Okay. How, how long was Completely it? Really? Completely silly. Really? You're 25 days into this Antolini thing. When did you say? When did you say I love? The L word came out. Uh, Day what? You said one, it first? Day- one drunken evening that uh, we Day were. Day what, though? No. I, I, A weekend? You said I, it first? I don't remember. No, no, no. It was. Um, she said it first? Please, please reenact yeah. it, please. I'm trying to remember the Did exact she say, circumstance. I think I love you. I think I'm falling in love with you. No. Was it something goofy like that? or? No. I'm trying to remember. This is probably a su- not probably yeah. There was a, a subtle whisper in in the ear. First of all, you let don't me tell remember. You, you can access a obscure line from a a D movie. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Patrice. You know what happened, man? Of course you do. Because I I wasn't intoxicated watching the movie every time. Anthony yeah. was teary faced. Here's what happened. Oh, no, <laughs> dude, here we go. Exactly- Here's Jim's. I love Jim's reenactments of anything that happened. ever happens. And she, and she was, you mean Jim's accuracy? That's right. You think there was candlelit? She saw the shimmer of the light off your face. Yeah. And it looked wet, and she realized she'd been weeping, and she put her hands on her shoulder. And she said, "Anthony," and you went, "What?" <laughs> and she Is said, that what happened? And she said, you're crying. And you went, I know. And she said, what's the matter? And you went, I love you. <laughs> and internally she went, Ugh. Did I turn into Joaquin? <laughs> <laughs> internally she went, yuck. Uh, hey. Uh, Steve, uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore has it uh, perfectly. He, he writes, uh, Jill said, I love this wine. 
I love you too, Jilzy Wilzy. <laughs> Jilzy Wilzy. I don't think I've ever said that. Well, I saw an opportunity and you went for it. No, he misunderstood <laughs> something she said. Right. Like, oh, here's what it is. <laughs> Anthony said, would you like to get another bottle of booze? She said, I'd love to. And he went, I love you too. Right. And exactly. she was too embarrassed for him to correct it him. A, it was a mistaken, I love you. Yes. Wait, what, Anthony, what I happened? Can you just tell us what happened? I'd love to. Because <laughs> you had, to, okay. Give us the the sober I love you when mm -hmm. when it wasn't drinking. Give us the sober they, that you guys sobered up been, in now. They haven't been sober yet. Here's the sober one. <laughs> yes, we have. He said twice. He said it again in the morning. He went, <laughs> "I love you," and she was like feeling so awkward. She, You're so sweet. <laughs> oh God! If that or, or, ever happened, or a, oh stop it, you. If oh, that ever happened, <laughs> I would leave the premises immediately, never to return. Sweet. Has she been to me? Never. You Has she you been? You call me Smoopy. You're Smoopy. <laughs> You're Smoopy. You're Smoopy. You're Smoopy. You're Smoopy. You're Smoopy. Bye, Smoopy. Bye, Smoopy. Bye, Smoopy. Hi, Smoopy. Hi, Smoopy. No, you're Smoopy. You're Smoopy. Don't mind forgiving Smoopy. Yes, Smoopy. Smoopy, how about a little tuna? You want a little tuna yeah. fishy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I love that clip. That's it's pretty accurate. From though. Seinfeld. All right, listen. <laughs> awful couple. Where are we at? We got Richard Huff on the line who's writing about a few things that have uh, a few Ooh. things that have something to do with this uh, radio show here. Let's uh, say hi to Richard Huff. Uh, Mr. Huff, it's a pleasure to be talking to you on the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, guys. Here's Richard. How are you doing, Richard? You, you were very busy talking about uh, writing about the show yesterday. <laughs> I got to tell you, all this lovey-dovey stuff makes me throw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, you were talking about the photographs. This is the most photographed couple in the history of, of media. and it also The history of white trash. It, so it just almost, say it like we're saying it. it. It almost has this feeling of like you're afraid it's going to end, so you've got to get proof. Oh, so, ever, so I need pictures at every corner. Yep. And, all they're missing is an adopted Chinese kid. <laughs> 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 it's also interesting how many pictures of Jill and other people are there, especially some you know, beefy guys here uh, in some of these shots that are kind of scary. Oh, what? Like I would have to worry about some big uh, uh, a man. guy? A man? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Two words, hockey player. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, you know something? Wow. <laughs> I think I have uh, th a lot of things over hockey players, my friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What's the inside dig on that? What's going on there? Oh, she's dated hockey players. <laughs> oh, she used to date hockey players. Yeah. Anthony's good with the his Islander. Stick. She used to be the, the like the, what do they call her? The girl that skated around and got the crowd all riled up at the, the, the Islanders games. Uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm a season ticket holder. She never did any skating, my friend. Oh, it was never skating, right? Oh, oh here She'd it is. She'd walk around the ice, and and what? No, she walked around the Nassau Coliseum, and uh, every guy would turn their head. They would need a chiropractor as she walked by, and that's not a joke. And then you would watch. <laughs> Everyone's date to the uh, the game yeah. get really pissed off because the dudes were checking out Jill as she uh, just worked the crowd. And could you do me? She a was big great, favor? actually. That's what. Yeah, that's she what was, was she her was job. Her, she was great at. It. Can yes, you do Patrice. Me a huge favor, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, Patrice. Can you not have discussions one night when you're uh, letting all your truths out about who you slept with? And who she slept with. Don't get into that. I don't get into that. I never do. Okay. I'm just this is just sure. public knowledge, you know. All right. I'm just saying. It's like uh, public domain. Hey, saying for your own. Before we lose Richard, though, oh, Richard, in your, in your column this morning, the television and radio section of uh, the Daily News, uh, you write, seems the off-air love affair between radio host Anthony Cumia of Opie and Anthony and Channel 11 traffic reporter Jill Nicolini is, well, real. I love how you wrote that. Is, well, pause, real. <laughs> A website. Anthelini.com has been created to track the romance. After looking at the pictures of the happy couple, the upside of this merger of media titans Titus. is <laughs> that it like gives that. single guys who might look like the married guy at the top of the opposite page hope. Just saying. And you were the guy at the top of the opposite page. It, yeah. it, it's the Billy Joel syndrome. Yeah. What's oh. what that? Driving into a house? <laughs> that is awful. What's the Billy Joel it's, syndrome? It's Cheryl whatever her name this is. This guy's getting a little too comfortable. <laughs> yeah, with and, and you know what? That is such a... 
That is such a... You, women don't think like us. We, we don't need to say that ever. That's true, Patrice. Richard, you don't want us uh, going back to hating you. Trust me. No, stop, Richard's stop right. Getting, stop getting comfortable with our radio show. <laughs> no, right. man. No. The, uh, the hot girls will a lot of times just go with guys who get them in a different way. You're right. They don't think like us. That is right. Yeah. Christy Brinkley and Billy Joel, Billy Joel's gift <laughs> was bigger than her hotness. But that is that's a, what but that is, That's what I'm saying is that is that we have to come with her, her prettiness... For some reason, has is 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 matching his establishment as a man, but but for real, it's not. It's she's, she's not. Most hot girls, like we're in high school, most hot girls date the hot jocks. They don't date funny guys. Again, I know there's exceptions, but the majority of the time is in high school. You probably, I know, I didn't. It's almost like the, I bang girls way out of my league only because I'm funny mm -hmm. and because that's you know. And I'm not knocking Anthony. Anthony's brilliant, but it's his Thank brilliance. Thank you, Jimmy. That that, that and, right. it's, and it, she obviously thinks he's cute and she likes him and she thinks he's handsome, but it's not like oh Is my she god. Did tell you that? Yes. <laughs> really? Silly. Look, really? At, look at Anthony just looking down. That's all true. Shy. And when you unrolled hey. it for the first time, does she go what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, and you uh, untied <laughs> it from around your waist. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did a whole bit on the the presentation of it. <laughs> and, so, and Richard, sorry you have to be burdened with uh, with with uh, the other people in the studio too, as opposed to just Opie. We apologize that you have to hear other. Oh people. yeah, yeah, with the hero. <laughs> Wait, before we move on to me being a hero, I don't uh, write the headline. Well, I, I, well, you know what? Let's not tell everybody because I want to assume that you did write the headline <laughs> and that you were very accurate. Uh, Richard, so you said it, it gives hope to guys like you, but you're married, so are you hoping to dump your wife? I said guys who look like me. Public service announcement, I love my wife. Oh, okay. I'm very happily married. <laughs> All, <right. laughs> All of this is done <laughs> to ingrate myself with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here for the laugh, guys. <laughs> All right, so you're you were shocked when you found out that this was a real thing, huh? Well, you know, according to Jill, it's real. She uses that L word all the time. Now you're saying according to C, so you still think what? It's a bit. No, I never said that. Okay, I, I never said that. What, what what is the um, what's the idea that if it was fake, what is the idea behind the fakeness? Like, oh, what I've heard point? on message boards. I've read things like it's uh, mutual publicity for this program and for uh, Channel Eleven, uh, uh, the CW Eleven News. Um, it's Jill trying to get publicity for herself. It's me trying to get publicity for myself. It's like, yeah, it's like it, Boy, this I wonder, whole... I wonder where they got that idea from. Maybe the <laughs> thousand pictures that we all had to leaf through in the first 24 days of your relationship. She likes taking a lot of pictures, and, and uh, she photographs very well. Does it bother and you at all? Pictures? The constant... Picture? No, okay. I think they're great. We we were in different places. We're all having fun. Does it bother you the constant photographers going, sir? Could you step out of the way? So he's my date. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Or could you take this picture? <laughs> <laughs> I had that happen once at uh, Tavern on the Green. It was Christmas, and this couple got up, and uh, there was a big Christmas tree there. And a couple got up, and they have a camera, and they walked over and go. Uh, uh, would you mind taking a picture? And I was like, okay. So I stand up, and they handed me the camera. I thought they wanted to take a picture with me. I was feeling all good about myself. Like, oh, they they listen to the show. She goes, oh, would you mind taking a picture? I'm like, yeah, no problem. So I stand up, and they handed me the camera. <laughs> it was very embarrassing. Why don't you fix your collar first? Like, well, no, I always snaps yeah. up. Well, I looked at the people at the table. Like, uh oh, here it comes. You know, oh boy. A hassle. Why can't they leave me alone while I'm eating? <laughs> it's, it's the worst when that happens. Same so exact thing with my family. Do you think of those awful pal talk girls and go, God, how could I ever have? <laughs> no, no. I, I'll tell you, there are a couple of pal talk girls that are Still in the stunning. Run. What? Yeah, there are. A couple that are stunning. The majority but, but of them. A, Jill is a different should level. Should be though. punched in the face. That's right. She's but, a different uh, level of pretty, though. <laughs> Huh? She's a different level. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. That's a whole different, uh, you know. Hey, Richard. It's a whole yeah. different thing, too. You're a reporter. It's not an internet thing. Maybe you could get something out of Anthony. We can. You're a reporter. Ask him the tough questions. Where is the relationship leading? Uh, do you believe in marriage again? You always said you didn't want to have kids. Is that still true? Come on, Richard. Let's get into this. It's a hard bit. hitting. Well, well, you need her dad in here for that. Wouldn't he be better at this? Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, is he grilling you on that, Anthony? Um. No. Yeah. <laughs> a little Anthony, bit. Anthony is the same age as her father. I am not. <laughs> they hang out. <laughs> they, his father fell in love with Anthony when they started reminiscing about the Ray Robinson fight. <laughs> <laughs>
They were criticizing Raging Bull. It didn't happen that way, the way I remember it. <laughs> that darky show can move. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, a couple of Italians. As they smoke unfiltered cigarettes yeah. together. Yeah. And they're cute when they're young. That's Italians trying to be, like, politically correct. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> oh, God, damn. Yeah. Uh, I remember hearing that as a kid. Yeah. Uh, very accurate, right? Uh, uh, Richard, anything else before we let you go? <laughs> no, I'm all good. I want to thank you for the headline today. Radio show host Opie <laughs> talks listener out of suicide attempt. You got it very accurate, my friend. You know, if you read the story, it doesn't say that. Yeah. Well, uh, who? Why bother reading the story when the headline says it all, though? <laughs> You're right. Good point. <laughs> um, I just, uh, I just want to say, Richard, maybe. A few of these pictures should find their way into uh, the paper. I think being the Long Island power couple that we are, or rubbish couple as some people have called us. Whoa, How much wait, attention wait, wait. do you need? Why would you want them in the paper if this wasn't for publicity? Wow. Well, it's, it's not because I think people should know uh, and, and see that there uh, are successful broadcasting people here in the area that are uh, in love and out there and yeah. you guys That's, just you guys have have uh well wait this it, is definitely this is this is what's, what's the word this is groundbreaking the, uh, yes it is it, it's groundbreaking it's groundbreaking do, do you have a public relations guy working on this uh no 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 isn't that odd <laughs> not yet yeah, not yet you're the biggest media couple since Kaidi and Maury <laughs> 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 Uh, that's a good one. Now, do you catch these upper echelon, like the weather girls, and and maybe the you know are they looking at you different now? Um, I don't know. I really haven't. Uh, I've I've been to a few functions and parties where I've met some of the people there uh, over at CW11 and uh, other other places. But um, no, I've just you know. Did they treat you like Morgan Freeman from Street Smart? <laughs> <laughs> I've been treated very nicely. Go to various parties and uh, have a lot of fun. Royalty. Yes. They don't call you it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Jill? Why would I be called it? Is this yours? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're very I'm not happy not believing you on with the way uh, I, I treat her and everything. Absolutely. Yeah, right. It's uh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's changing the show as we know it, dude. I'm just it's, nah, just, it's, it's interesting. It's, I just want to listen to the show unfold as it's a it's a fine fine. Everyone is in love. It's a fine storyline. <laughs> uh, Richard, thank you story so much. Line, you friend. got it, guys. Thank you, Mr. Huff. We'll be talking. Shave Take that care. shave that mustache. It's creepy. <laughs> Thanks. Good Thanks day, lot. sir. Good day. It was Richard Huff. Yeah, I'm sure Steve will call him back. You know the guys were only kidding, right? Yes, it's spelled C A R. Uh, Carlisi, Carlisi. Yes, Carlisi. we know. Yes, yes, yes. we know yes. Steve Carlisi. Hey, after the break, because it uh, it did well the first time we played it, the Anthony Cumia suicide hotline. Yeah, and we have a uh, an Anthony update from Derek and Sam uh, the, in the TMZ style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and Very more Patrice O'Neill comics tonight here in New York City. You got Basil T's over there. Are you are you exhausted from cooking all this food today? I'm hanging in. You're hanging in there? All right, we'll wrap up next. We're looking at the clock. We cannot believe that this part of the Opie and Anthony show is just about over. We didn't even do anything today. <laughs> we did a show. We, we didn't have to go to any of this stuff in front of me. Well, that's good. It's amazing See, you guys could just talk for hours and hours. Just... I think it's amazing. Babble. It's very easy when Patrice is Babble. in here because he doesn't know when to shut the f up, which is, <laughs> which is wow. actually uh, is uh, very good for us, but also a curse. Which is why some of these fans hate me. At that, I would like to say at that, um, some of you pieces of garbage mm -hmm. um, at that animation festival that I had a good time at until the end, where I'm taking pictures and everybody's shaking my hand. Ah, oh, Patrice, we love you, man. Take your picture. And then I had spies that were watching my back saying they would go behind me and do the gun shooting me in the back of the head thing. What? Oh, that's hilarious. That's what that's what they were really doing that for. I don't know. Because you're on the balcony? <laughs> was it, they, I was were they pictures. doing a Lincoln I was taking thing? taking pictures with some of those scumbags, man. Yeah. They'll do that. Phone number 877-212-ONA. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's bullshit. Hey! How about that? Easy there, Chief. Well, Chief.
Chiefy. Got to stick up for the Patrice. If it don't hurt him, you stick up for him. Because if they dumped. Wolf was sticking up at Patrice, and what he said was that that was, and I can paraphrase, oh, they a still bunch of bunk. They still Malarkey. Well, he didn't go that far. You know what I'm getting at. He said bunk. Oh, okay. Let it be known, Patrice does amazing radio for us. That's right. Amazing radio. On a personal level. That pisses know. me off, Patrice, <laughs> to be honest with you. Just being honest, man. Hey, uh, what a what a, what a a difference a day makes. Uh, yesterday at this time, we had Tom uh, basically going to kill himself on our show. And and it's funny, speaking of, like, the haters and stuff, there's a bunch of people that are trying to trying to rally the other haters and go, oh, fake bit, these guys need publicity so bad that they got a guy to call in and make believe he's killing himself. And, 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 and dopes, no one was buying into your, your stupidity. How does that make you feel? Who, who, where do you even find these people? Who, I've, I've not <laughs> They're everywhere. Who are these people? Who are these people? Who are these people? Orbitcast.com went with the story. It was on the front page. It was uh, it was right there. It was the top story. And uh, people couldn't get, get into the comments section fast enough. Oh, I would never read their comments. Who cares? Bunch My of, three guys. Let them say what they bunch want. Bunch of dopes. Yeah, of course they are. They, they, they just embarrass themselves because if you know anything about this show, everyone knows this Tom guy has been calling us for well over a year. Uh, thousands of people met him at the, the virus show last uh, summer when he came out on stage with a cane. Yeah, because he's at that point where he's not walking too well. His his color was awful. People were like, "Oh my god, this yep. this is real." Bad shape. They didn't even know until they saw him live. Yep. And he always said when it got uh, too bad, he would call our show up and end his life. And I and I told him like when he called me the other day, and I said, "Look, do it this time because we have more listeners." But that wasn't a bit. That was just a coincidence. <laughs> You know, oh, man. <laughs> and you know he he called our bluff because he called yesterday with guns in front of him. So your superpowers, how long do they usually work when you stop a suicide? Mm-hmm. I've been having fun with that this morning, but uh, to get serious, Jimmy was amazing yesterday. Jim, I, fr- I'm like, I froze because all of a sudden I'm like, because we just knew that he was serious. And, and at any second, he could be pulling a trigger. Well, Steve, and, and it was the weirdest feeling to have. Like, oh, my God, this guy might just pull the trigger right now. I'm actually glad Steve told us because we might have teased him a little bit not cuz Steve said he's got a gun, a loaded gun. He's holding a weapon. Um and it was, you know, we kind of knew that before we talked to him. So it was like we kind of went into it. We all I mean kind of knew it was, it was a problem. And he started talking like, "Hey, look, uh, you know, you guys made me promise." And we just believed him. Like it wasn't we met the guy, he's really physically Ill. And he was talking in the past tense like, yeah. "Look, this is it. You guys gave me I had a lot of fun, yeah. Had a lot of fun and I want to thank you guys. And, like, uh, all right, it's not always about you. Yeah, exactly. And the pauses in there were killing me because you didn't know it, somewhere in that pause was going to be a gunshot. Yeah, the gun, the gun did go off, but he was like, unloading, hitting a shot. You didn't hear this yet? I, I, I'll promote uh, orbitcast.com because they have the whole uh, the whole bit up there, all the audio and everything. But uh, then Anthony was talking to him about, hey, why don't you unload those guns and don't. What'd you say, Anthony? Because I think I, that was. I, I said, yeah, I said, why don't you unload the guns? I go take out the magazine and don't, you don't. I said, don't unload it out the barrel. And uh, you think the suicide hotlines congratulate themselves after they uh, on Monday when they keep somebody from killing himself and then Tuesday's they, like, this yeah, is they what sit there and go, wow, listen to this, <laughs> listen to this replay. I was amazing on that particular moment. <laughs> or if they hey. put less effort in, if it's quarter to five and they have a movie to go to, <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing too well. Hey, look, I mean, we're all going to see each other. Did anybody the text the guy to make sure he's still alive? And then he's uh, uh, the. Unfortunately, because the gun went off, that means you know cops got to get involved. You can't just do that without the, the cops having to take a look see. And uh, they brought him to a hospital, and that's all we know right now. Uh, I hope he's okay. Yeah, Wait, absolutely. the gun went off. Oh yeah. Do we have that audio? No, I didn't shoot him, Let's... but he was taking the gun, the bullet. He forgot he had one in the chamber. Seriously, uh, live on our show yesterday. As I believe he's... you. I, mean, I hear the thing. I just didn't. I just didn't hear that. Why would it be ready to go today? Why? You got it. Okay, Patrice, listen. Not through the barrel, just you know, pull out the mag and uh, get the get the round out of the chamber. Whoops! Uh, hello. Yeah, I- I'm here. What was that? Oh, uh, it was one in the chamber. That was you just fired your. What was that? The 380. I- <laughs> uh, uh, no, it's another. It was a. Uh, it was another nine millimeter, Walter. 
That, that was yesterday. Always, <laughs> Look at Patrice's always face. Always forget about that one on the pipe. And that's how close it was. <laughs> that, that's how close it was. He could have did an oofsie to his head. And at what point did you say, hey, take care of yourself. You know, don't don't kill yourself now. <laughs> you gotta go. Bye-bye. No, we, we shoved him off to a doctor that we knew. Yeah, we waited to uh, we had a doctor, and then we were able to kind of say, all right, uh, Tom, uh, stay on the line. Someone wants to talk to you, a doctor, to give him a little hope, because you never know. Then they sent the cops over and there. And then they sent the cops over there, and... Um, you know, and now he's in a hospital. Now, let me ask you a moral. I don't know much about this. This is a, and let's, I'm, you know, I know I'm very racial, but suicide is a very white person thing. And yeah. I, I'm just saying, I've never dealt with it in my life in terms yeah, cause, of that. Because you guys don't ha- don't live a lo- uh, long enough to have a chance to kill yourself. Are you kidding me? Oh, Our geez. misery on this earth? I, <laughs> I know 100 years old is like teenagers for um, white people, but let me ask you, <laughs> is it my civic duty to stop you from killing yourself? Is it, is it a moral we're, duty? We talked about that before, too. You know, morally, who, who are we to say? You just figure, wouldn't wouldn't you want to, though? Like, I guess, like, cause we've all been depressed. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I've certainly thought about it. So it's like, when you see someone else kind of in that place, like, I know it kind of would pull me off the ledge at given moments. Yeah, so. Honestly? It's honestly? Just, it's just not up to us. I'll be honest with you. I was just thinking about my job. Really? Yeah, I don't care. It didn't even occur to me. Honest to God. I just was thinking if he did it live on our show, we would be fired. And I really couldn't live with that. <laughs> I don't. I, only if you coach to if I you try to coach him into doing. I would have blown his I, brains out or not. You I don't know him well enough. I don't think you've been fired if if you if he did it. But maybe if you said M- might have been do it. Well, that's just it. They'd have they'd have listened to every single word leading up to that. If he would have shot himself. And b- because we were joking around uh, to some extent, they would have said, well, perhaps you guys were responsible. You're not professionals. You shouldn't have done this. You should have gotten professional help. You should have, should have, should have, whatever. Well, why wouldn't you but, care? That's weird. I mean, I, 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 I don't, don't know the guy quite, that well either, but uh, that's, a, that's a biggie, man. No, I don't know him well enough. <laughs> I, uh, I just think it's like one of those things where, you know, take him or leave him. <laughs> As far as he's alive, I think, okay, that's good. Better than being dead. But honestly, I don't know. Jimmy, would you care? Yeah, of course. Beca- yeah. Only because. Yeah. Not that I'm, I'm, you know, so compassionate. I run around, couldn't hurt a fly. It's spooky I mean, to be that close, though. It's a guy who you know is looking to you for something. Yeah. It's almost like he didn't reach out accidentally. He gave him entertainment. Because I did my part. Though. We have a connection with <laughs> Made Tom. Made him laugh. <laughs> See, we, we do have a connection yeah. with Tom. This yeah. whole radio thing has become like a like a community, an ONA community. And we're, I don't know, we're, quote, the leaders. And we do have this uh, this bond with him. So, yeah, it would have. It would have creeped me out it's, for a really long a, time. It's a weird. It is I want to say it wouldn't have been creepy. Opera. Would have been a creeped out thing. You're right, but as far as actually as a human being, caring. Now, I, 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 this is a fine line. <laughs> Dude, so I'm treading a I, fine you, line you're, here. You're being careful. I understand. I don't work here. I, I will say, mm-hmm. I, I would. I watch a lot of things trying to care. Mm-hmm. A dude that I barely know. Mm-hmm. committing suicide the thing that would bother me is the, the the creepiness of thank you the closeness to that situation right but other than That's... that the him thank you no that's what i'm saying what? i would have been creeped out it would have been shocking too close, too it, close. i would have maybe had a nightmare about it or something but the actual caring about him as a human and that part affecting me Nope. Well, some things are just awful. Like, look at nine eleven. Like, personally, I did not know anyone who died in nine eleven. Right. I th- that that I did. But, but you it, you attach. You know what? Suicide is personal. Yeah. So you you don't go. Oh, that could be me. Now you do go. Man, I've been suicidal before. But what makes you disconnect from that is goes. I didn't do it. So mm-hmm. anybody who kills themselves, you go. Man, I could have killed myself last week. I found out my, I was going to lose a big toe or something. Yeah. I could have just said, forget it. Once the, once the toe go, your knee go. So Yeah, but Tom's way past losing a toe. Yeah, he's really sick. Uh, he's like at the end of his life. But and, it's personal. It's personal. And that's, and that's yeah. what depresses the hell out of me. 9-11 you had empathy for because it was like, oh, my God. Like, First of all. Can you imagine being there right. and suffering only, like that? And for, saying, we were know. being attacked. Uh, two iconic buildings uh, coming down. And that actually had an emotional impact on people. Just the fact that, you know, 
two buildings fell down and it was you know shocking for everybody the people were dying these horrific deaths yeah. that they didn't want to, to did you feel die bad from? for Heath Ledger oh, or, or Kurt Cobain oh, there you go. I'm, not, I'm not comparing Richard that Jenny, I'm did, only, you, did you feel bad I did for Richard yeah of course I did because I knew him and also because he's a comic and, and you know comics a lot of comics are very depressed and to be as brilliantly funny as he was but hurting so badly that he did that except I mean, on our show well, yeah, he had a better face. But, I mean, you know what I mean? He was a great comedian, man. And to, to put a bullet in his head. And, and I, I had that connection you know? to him like, oh, man, I'm a, I wish I knew, you know, you had a connection because he was the comic. But the, the act, it's, like, the act of killing yourself is just such a thing where it's like, it's, it's a selfish thing, man. It is, but I think that yeah. we've almost put too much selfishness on it. It is selfish, but it is difficult Tom, to do to actually, to Tom, be so mad or so sad that you actually yeah. wipe yourself Thank out. Thank you. Yeah, because Tom, really does, Tom doesn't want, punishment. Tom doesn't want to die. He feels like he's run out of choices, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, he's, he's physically in pain. He's basically trouble. said that every oh, day is like he's, he's, story, he's yeah. he said basically every day is like, he feels like he's drowning. It's like hell. It's it's hell. Well, so, that's where Kevorkian comes in, where it's like, yeah. is he is he? How do you govern? It's almost like I got a you get a ticket for a seatbelt. It's like, thank you, sir, for yeah. forcing me to take care of myself. You know, oh. like, maybe if you want to die, you could We're, die. Agreed. We're running out of show. I want to do a speed round here. Uh, a couple people mentioning that Anthony just gave the definition of a uh, sociopath. Oh, I did. <laughs> yes, I think I'm a realist, my friend. I don't think and then, sociopath. And then we got two quick things. Isn't. Hopefully to bring some laughter back into this, uh, Derek and Sam with a uh, hero update. Say goodbye as the king and queen of Long Island trash are yesterday's news. <laughs> Interest has completely fizzled and died on Anthelini, <laughs> and a new story has captured the minds and hearts of America. Opie of radio's The Opie Show took a break recently <laughs> from telling jokes to save a life. And uh, I want to say... You guys entertained me for quite a bit. What's the matter? I, I just was going to say uh, goodbye. While sidekick Anthony joked about guns and traffic girls, <laughs> Opie kid. courageously talked the listeners <laughs> down from the edge in one of radio's most emotional and uplifting moments of all time. Tom, let's, uh, let's uh, call some people for you. New York newspapers were calling Opie a hero this week. Even with the stress of carrying a radio show on his shoulders, <laughs> Opie was able to accept the compliment with modesty and class. Look, what can I tell you? You guys are you're, you're in front of greatness. We're uh, players. I, you certainly are. I'm a hero to the common man, and you're lucky to be around me. Our sources are telling us that Opie will spend the weekend visiting children's hospitals and helping the homeless. Could a Nobel Peace Prize be next? As the hours continue, we'll keep you updated on the life and times of a real-life superhero, Opie. As for the Antolini story, meh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. Good job, Sam and Steve and uh, Derek. That's funny. Did you almost cry? Yesterday? I, I was I was frozen. I really I I, I it sounded sad. Though. It did. He, it, it this was guy sound sad. It was unbelievable. Yeah. I uh, I I, I kind of was mad at myself when I went home. I'm like, why didn't I say more? Why didn't I do more? Like Jimmy was Jimmy was really good yesterday. I just know enough people have done it. You I know, just froze. Sober, you know, a lot of people that, that that go through with it, and it's just you know whatever. And then um, the boys came up with this. Like I said, a speed round here. Greg Opie Hughes, a hero for our time. Why don't you say thanks in person, though? This is just kind of, it's kind of a, a stupid way to go out. I mean, you can't hold off for a couple of days. It's not like it's going to be 300 degrees tomorrow. I mean, why can't you hold off for a couple of days? There's no reason to not hold off. When peril is imminent, Opie will step in. Why don't you come into the studio? Not with the guns, obviously, but why, I mean, seriously, why don't you come in? Tomorrow, um, and we'll see what we can do to get a couple of broads down. For stepping up when no one else would. For acting the hero. Well, how about what? this? Is there any way, like, we have a tremendous platform here that somebody, we have doctors that listen or whatever, that anybody that knows anything, that maybe you're not getting the, the, enough stuff, like maybe because you have insurance and they're not giving you the proper treatment, maybe somebody who knows more could suggest something or recommend something that would make your quality of life a lot better. For standing before the power of hell, Greg. Opie Hughes. When we're off air. Would you give Travis your number? We're <laughs> <laughs> not giving your address or anything creepy. I don't want to get out. Oh Would my God! Contact. Greg Opie Hughes, our hero. You
Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Someone that else getting it right around here. Thank fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you. That Thank is a you. prime example of what happened. <laughs> Thank you. Norton did that? Norton. Norton was the guy yesterday, and the headline said, Opie saves guy. <laughs> you didn't even throw you in. You didn't even get a special guest star. No. You, oh. you didn't get an introducing Jim Norton in there. <laughs> Nothing. Give me the article. They had to mention Jimmy somewhere in the whole thing. Oh my! And then God. we're gonna end with uh, Anthony as uh, Anthony's uh, uh, suicide hotline. Let me see if there's Jimmy in here. Jimmy, <sighs> holy Jimmy, moly, Jimmy. Jimmy! You stopped this guy from Jimmy, 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 <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Man. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About ten paragraphs down. Show host Anthony Cumia, Opie, and comic Jim Norton. Comic wow. Jim Norton. Realizing Tom wasn't funny, kidding. man. Comic psychologist, <laughs> <Right>. yeah, <laughs> suicide right. preventer. <laughs> That old crazy, what's his name, Billy Orton? We don't even know his real name. Yeah. And then finally, uh, the boys came up with this. Derek and Steve. By the way, if you're wondering, because I'm sure there's people out there that just don't get it, Tom's would be would be laughing at all this stuff that we just played. Tom Tom loved the humor of this radio yes, show. Uh, Anthony Cumia, Suicide Hotline. Because Anthony did a great job, too. Listen of course. To Thanks for calling the Anthony Cumia Suicide Hotline, where the prominent radio host will listen to your cry for help and with his patented five-step solution, will hold your hand through this troubling time. Number one, get way too excited about the suicide note. What does your note I say? Don't, I don't want pity. What does your note say? It says, hey, have a great run. My time is now. Have fun. Number two, insult the author after the note is read. <laughs> That's it? That's it. You need to punch that up a little. You'll realize it's not about you. It was never about you. It was always about Anthony and how he was going to get his hands on your gun. Number three, get too inquisitive about weapons. What uh, what kind of weapon uh, do you have there, uh, Tom? I have a, cho I have a choice. Uh, oh, Walter PPK <sighs> or a Beretta 9mm. Or an AR-15. Number four, after shots are fired, make sure to find out which gun it was. Whoops. Uh, hello? What was that, the 380? It was another 9mm. And five, ask for the weapons. Can I have your guns? One will probably be used as an evidence, but I'll put the other one away. And I'll will it to you, Anthony. Fantastic. So if you're thinking about taking that big plunge, why not wheel all your guns over to Anthony? From the Anthony Cumia Suicide Hotline. <laughs> Oh God, that, that's morbid. That's crazy, man. I'd have took your, I'd have took your, your style. Of yeah, with it. Yeah, that, I, I understand kind of what your style was. What See, you? I was making him laugh. He was having right. fun it was with just it. Like all that old stupid suicide. Yeah, you're doing. I, I don't even. Yeah, it's yeah. reverse side. I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm Turn it around a little Obi, bit. Obi, what was your style? Could you play your style? Uh, um, <laughs> Obi, did. No, I did all right. I just wish I did better. That's all. I like to well, hear this. According to the newspaper, you did it all. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank <laughs> you, you stopped it. You're the hero. Thank you. Well, orbitcast.com. We weren't able to play the whole thing today because it's just too long and yeah. involved. And if you're inter interested in what happened yesterday, orbitcast.com has the audio. Brian from uh, Cherry Hill, New Jersey writes, runner up line of the day early in the morning, coming back from the first break. Opie said, welcome to the Opie show. And what is your name again? To which Jim replied, Hurt little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt little buddy. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill is going to be at Comics tonight. C O M I X N Y dot com online. Uh, tickets 212 524 2500. I, I believe I'm going to be at one of the shows this weekend. Thank I'm you. in the city. Appreciate it. And I haven't seen Patrice in a while. I can't wait. Uh, Basil Tease. Where are we, Basil Tease? Where's the plug for Basil Tease? I want to thank um, Steve. Yeah, of course. Uh, Executive Chef Stephen Farley. Basil Tees Brew Pub and Italian Grill, Hooper Avenue, Tom's River, New Jersey, basiltees.com. That's good enough, right? Always a pleasure. The food was amazing once again today. Jimmy Bonnaroo, so we'll see you Tuesday. We'll see Jimmy on Tuesday. He's going to take Monday off. He's doing the Bonnaroo thing. And I guess that's it. Ant, what are you doing this weekend? Functions? It's going to be a relaxing weekend uh -huh. of just hanging out. We have no functions. We're just going to hang out. Have fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. No plans. Will of the wisp. 
but we're going to just, whatever comes across our transom. But I know Sunday, we are going out uh, to, uh, you know, the, the Father's Day thing. <laughs> and mine's dead, too. I'm talking, you know, I got Sal. I him for 25 years. You know? Y'all are driving around. Does she know all the shortcuts to go? Oh, on Long Island? Between yeah. the two of us in the car? We get anywhere in 10 minutes. Just anywhere. We know all the trashy side streets. <laughs> nah, cut up here by the diner. <laughs> diner. <laughs> Towny bars. Yeah, those two. <laughs> Patrice, thank you. Thank you, man. All right, we got to get out of here. Later. We'll see you uh, Monday. Yes, we will. That place in the animation festival is here. Maybe we should start with that. Right. Although I walked into a fine discussion about... Uh, Having a black president and uh, the definition of a hero, I think. You guys were talking about heroes? <laughs> the definition of a hero is a tough one. Why is that a tough one? Well, it's because, I don't know. Let's just say this. There was a valid point raised about whenever people are killed, uh, a lot of times the, the hero is misused. Like, um, I think, like, in 9-11, it was used properly to describe firefighters. They were doing their jobs here bravely. But it just seems like every time something bad happens, like with this Boy Scout, mm -hmm. it's very sad that they were killed, but they're saying remembering the heroes that, where the kids <laughs> have died. It's like, I don't know what they did that was heroic. And, it's, and that, that's not even a shitty thing, because it's, it's a sad thing. Yeah. Just don't, the misuse, misuse of the, the term, hero. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm a hero. Well, how are they using... Well, of course. Yes. <laughs> you make people laugh. Now, fuck that. I mean to prostitutes who need drugs <laughs> oh, and have okay. no money to gain them. <laughs> to a certain virus. Yeah. That needs how are they live blood. How are they connecting the Boy Scouts to the, the hero term? I don't know. Just by making that, their parents feel better or something? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's one Is of those things. Is that what they do? What do you, you know, what are you like, it's, a, it's a touchy subject, but it's like, how, you're not a hero because you just... Couldn't get out. You... Yeah, he remembering kind of died and yeah, yeah. <laughs> horrible, that's what I'm saying. unexpected. It's a, it's, a, it's a fucked up thing. It's, it's a like, touchy it's, situation. That's why I was like, ah, I'm not uh, going to bother. But it's just like that's why no one refutes it. Like we shouldn't be here refuting the fact that they're heroes, right? It's just but they're they're kind of not. But we can't just say that because uh, you know the parents feel bad. I think um, hero was used accurately oh, oh, uh, to describe. Uh, oh. Wow, what happened to that guy? He just bashed his head against the the cop door, the cop glass. Wow, that's some good footage on MSNBC. They'll be rolling that all day long. What he wasn't happy that he was arrested, and he's yeah. banging his head up against the glass. Think you could come to that conclusion? And the uh, in car cam capturing it all. Yeah. All right. Where's nice. the Where's the guy that uh, placed in the animation? And where's our gifts? Yeah, I heard he brought gifts. <laughs> That's what you should be doing with your prize money. That's right. <laughs> Presents yes. for the gods. That's right. <laughs> what did he get out of that? Yeah. Five. What place did you come in, sir? Second. Uh, Slaughterhouse. Yeah. Did a good job. That Ooh, was like Pixar you. stuff, man. Good Not stuff. Quite. Do you work? You obviously work for an animation house. A uh, really tiny place doing bad infomercials. What uh, What program was that? Lightwave. Oh, Lightwave. Yeah, that's the cheap mm. off-the-shelf one. Yes. Anything yes. we would know that uh, your your employer did? Uh, n no, not really. No? Not unless you watch the Sci-Fi Channel, the really bad movies on there too. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, you do. You, your company said, does that. The, I love those movies. Those it's, special effects aren't so special. Oh, <laughs> do you watch the Sci-Fi Channel movies? Not really. Oh, they, they're great. They, they always they, have like what's his name, like f fucking La Bumbo. What's his name? Oh, Neil Diamond, F Lou Diamond Phillips. Lou Diamond Phillips is always and, in those and now. And the guy that La hung Bumbo. himself from Office in a Gentleman. Yeah, he's always in them, too. Oh, Michael Ro No, that's not Michael Rooker. That's uh, David Keith. Yeah. Or Keith, oh, Keith David's Dave, black. David right, Keith's David Keith. White. Yeah, he's the guy that hung himself in Office in a Gentleman. And the movie will be called, um, it'll be like a mixture of a bee <laughs> and a tiger. It'll be called right, like, right. <laughs> bee yeah. tiger. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it, it, it looks so bad. The special effects is so bad. Sorry, <laughs> really like. That's his and it's always a blurry camera that represents the the monster looking at you. Yeah, monster eye view. They, but I watch them if they have a marathon. Yeah, I watch course. it all night long. Can't get enough, right? Bad acting, bad storylines. Octopus pigeon. It, it'll <laughs> yeah. just be. It, <laughs> <laughs> With Dean Kane as Dean the scientist. Kane. He 
<laughs> <He's> another <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are horrible. Uh, I love those, man. Well, Your shitty company does that, huh? <laughs> 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 Fucking A, man. <laughs> Eight o'clock. That gets me through every Sunday afternoon and Saturday afternoon. <laughs> A lot of people saying Slaughterhouse should have won the whole thing. Well, we I have agreed. two. We have two judges in studio. Jimmy, you picked Norton, Slaughterhouse Norton to win wanted it? to win it, but we we did it very fairly. Yeah, it was. We raised our hands. You think this is number one? Norton raised his hands for that. You think this is number like? Which it, one did you vote to win it all, Patrice? Number one. Uh, everybody voted number one for like. It's almost like you could give a a number a, a first place vote to anyone you wanted. So we raised our hand to which one. So it's like, okay, the other one got all five people raised their hand. Was the uh, ecstasy of gold? That that one. People were like, is that in the what fucking judging? What do you mean all judging? five? Jimmy said slaughterhouse. No, 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 no. no, no, no. It's like you, you rate. Oh, you voted ecstasy like, number one we too. Go, Jimmy? We go slaughter. No. We go slaughterhouse. Who? How many people think slaughterhouse was the best one? Jim, you know, Jimmy would go. He raised his hand. There was another person, but people said ecstasy of gold. It was like. Got more votes. Everybody. I just got more votes. Yeah, That's all you're no, trying to say. No, but no. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. I think he voted number one, too. No, I didn't. I remember I didn't. It was like two of us, I think, voted for uh, Slaughterhouse. Yeah, oh, fine. I hope I mean, the I presidential election goes like this. <laughs> it's all it fucked won't, up. It won't. To be fair, also. McCain I wins. told you, deep impact, baby. Just keep watching it. Oh, really? Like, just keep watching it. <laughs> he saves the earth. Didn't you feel comfortable when that motherfucking video was coming? It was well, good. if Obama gets elected, I want to be one of those guys that gets hit by that big wave. <laughs> Why? <laughs> In deep impact. Because I'm going to be the fucking, I'm going to be the guy that gets trotted on to save every save the fucking United States from uh, all the evilness that Dude, Whitey has done to it for years. I'm going to be the fucking guy. It's going to be on my fucking back you now. You want to save one lousy guy that all has my tax his lungs money. shutting down Talking about cash. How are you going to save America? Talking about cash. All my money's going to go to fucking social programs and bullshit that this ain't going to do crap but nothing, turn it into another New York City like when Rockefeller was running this shit. This has nothing shit to do hole. with... Uh... With the color? Yeah. Of course it does. Because he's gonna his top priority is gonna be taking care of uh, but, poor uh, black what? people. Let me ask you a question. Does the president have that much power to just take yes. care of whoever the Obama fuck he wants will, to take care of? Because guilty white people are gonna be more apt to take care of it. Uh, he's not uh, gonna do shit for, for black people. Shit. He's not even he's what? Not dare. Wait till it what? Wait till his wife. What do you uh, think he's gonna there. he's gonna appoint black people in, in yes! office as white people are sitting there with their fucking watching closely Obama eyes? Of course like, he is. Oh, there you go. A black policeman. Like shut the he's fuck up. He's gonna Stop. appoint black people in his cabinets and everything. Really? And then, Why can't and he? And then he's gonna say all right, we got. We need this fucking fucking God. social program. It's going to take care of. Uh, it's going to take care of low income housing, which you could say is low income housing. Well, it's for everybody because the second you say you mean buildings that poor black people live in, that's racist. <sighs> but don't forget, Bush had it. Look, you looked at. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a fuck a minute. Uh, okay. What's the problem though? Because I don't want to fucking pay for it. Well, I lived in my fucking car. It, I lived in my car. So you want to pull you yourself up by your bootstrap and take care of your own fucking Everything you feel ass. like you're paying for now. Yep you feel is something you want to pay for no m no i of course not but it's going to be more you look at my fucking why uh, you have quarterly with tax the, with the i nigger don't want programs. it it's the, it's just the nigger programs you the poor negro programs you're talking about what about yeah, other yes. programs thank you and he's not going to just do that He's not going to just help black people. He's not going to do that. No, you're right. He's not just going to do He's that. He's going to help everybody. He's going to take my tax breaks that were given to me and take those By away. Who? So it's even Reagan, more. Reagan 50 years Reagan ago. Reagan and Bush. Daddy Bush, not this Bush. No, this Bush gave tax breaks to fucking uh, to uh, rich folks. Not rich, rich folks. People that live in New York City that make a hundred thousand dollars a year. You tell me. You ask them if they're fucking rich. They're rich or if folks. Hundred thousand dollars a year. Hundred grand in New York City is not rich. Fucking live like instead of living like a like you got a hundred thousand. And no one live like a hundred air instead of living like a thousand. No air. one got this fucking hundred thousand dollar a year job by fucking uh going on welfare or fucking social Nobody's programs. Nobody's even they on welfare their anymore. Balls no off one's the balls on welfare shit. no more. Welfare doesn't even exist. Wick cards. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's them. fucking food, you goddamn gruesome motherfucker. You just help <laughs> some guy no one gives a fuck about not kill himself? Can a nigga get a sandwich? <laughs> Good. Good. Work for the motherfucking fucking sandwich. Asshole. Work Jesus for the sandwich. <laughs> Work for it. What the fuck it. is wrong with you? Work. It's, dude, look Get it. a fucking job for the sandwich. If some people, look, like the, like the, the gas situation, okay, Anthony, mm -hmm. for real, doesn't affect you. From, from $80 a gallon to $160 a 
I mean, from eighty dollars to fill up your trunk truck, yeah, to a hundred and twenty dollars to fill up your truck, yeah, doesn't mean anything to you. Doesn't mean anything to Norton, maybe. Doesn't mean anything to me, maybe. May maybe it's like oh, I can afford that. But there's motherfuckers out there, dude, that are extra fifty dollars a day f or for or extra fifty dollars to fill up your tank. Mm -hmm. it, it it's not that they're begging or anything else, man. You think it's I'm like against you, low you, gas you, prices? Where no, the fuck not, did this come not from? Low gas prices, but the fact that the gas prices aren't gonna lower, um, because it's a private sector. I mean, the oil doesn't owe us anything that's the thing about the oil thing it's like if you're on crack and a motherfucker goes you know what instead of the crack dealer goes instead of ten dollars it's gonna be 20 deal with it motherfucker <laughs> now that's what the oil companies are doing why do why do we need breaks now it's the private sector they're fucking everybody but as as people as humans it's like somebody just because they need help doesn't mean they're begging for help it means uh, you, you need some fucking help from this from your country this country, I help this country enough. will ask you to go to war and ask you to do a lot of things for it. It will, it, if you say anything wrong about it, you're not a fucking American. All this shit, this country pressure, this country places on you, and it can't help a motherfucker get a, a I got sandwich. A, I got a quarterly tax bill on my counter right now that is due on the fifteenth. You fucking look at that thing and tell me I'm not doing enough. Go I don't fuck yourself. I don't know what I'm you make. I'm doing plenty, motherfucker. I don't know what you make. I'm doing plenty. I don't know if that's if I should be caring about the fact that you want to buy another Shelby. I should be allowed to. I made it, some of myself. Now, fuck me. Uh, no, fuck not, me in no, my ass. No, not I made you. some of myself. <laughs> no, I achieved, fuck you. I achieved what's but, called the American minute, dream. Fuck me in my ass now. Not everybody Ugh. who d doesn't achieve the level that you achieve. Yeah. Is a beggar or a welfare? I'm not saying they are, but and I'm doing you, my share. I don't want to do more. Can you fucking please add? I don't want to do more. Can you please add poor white folks to it too? Because you give the insinuation that this is some old black shit. There's wh white people are in the same boat, and that's what I don't like. Is that this shit is really not a black and white thing? It's 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 black people make it's, it black and white thing. Well, because they do. It's terrible. Bring him in. I don't know why. Anthony, you are outnumbered today. D.L. Hughley. Please. <laughs> I know D.L. feels the same way I do. He don't want his tax money going up. Jesus Christ. We also He'll have... agree with me, first of all, because he's black. <laughs> Second of all... <laughs> <laughs> man, y'all about your own audience. Man. Yeah. Either, either this or it's a methadone clinic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on Fridays, we kind of do the live right, audience what's thing, happening, man. man? Friday's the day to come uh, by and check out the show up? live. Oh, man. What's up, the What did I miss? I, I, uh, just in a heated dispute about Obama and fucking taxes and social programs and, and, and my tax money going up for shit programs yes. that don't but you work. But can't, you can't control what the government's going to do with your fucking tax money. So just I know. It, it'll go where it goes. I don't want it going up. Well, how does the elf it? I mean, he's take a lot okay. of money. Here's, here it is. Here it is. Reallocate. Where my fucking money that I'm paying already goes, yeah. and I'm fine with it. But that isn't but what's going to happen. But he's not guaranteeing well, that I, shit. Wait, 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 wait. My <clears throat> tax shit's going to go up. I, what makes you say that? Because it's the because there's gonna be there's gonna got to be all kinds of social programs now that Obama's going to want to put well, in place. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. This is honest. This is an honest okay. question. We we had where our con economy's failing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, uh, sure. Tax revenues, are, I mean, are down, and nobody's making any money, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously, what we're doing hasn't worked. Yeah. So what what is wrong with trying a new I, approach? I, because uh, first Even of all, I'm, too much give money. Give a nigga a chance. Too what much the fuck money. Gonna do? There's too much but, money being spent on a fucking war. Right. That's the that problem. He's trying to. He's going to get out of. No, he's not going to get out of it. He's not. Well, he's going. He's going to try to. He, here's, here's the Good thing. Good luck. I don't. I, I really don't believe. I believe pre preachers, pimps, and politicians are really all the same motherfucker. They really are. Like anybody who makes their living off your hopes, your dreams, and your fears, hmm. really all the same guy. Um, and, and this is a job application. I can. Uh, this is the biggest job application. I don't know one motherfucker that tells the truth on a job application. When is the last time <laughs> it, you don't even tell do the that. truth on your driver's license? <laughs> what woman out there really weigh one twelve? <laughs> <laughs> but I think that 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 it, America has a tendency to pick symbols. They go, this is like to me. I worry that he's a symbol. Like people go, look how far we've come. We elected. He a black is. A, guy. He is a symbol though. <laughs> we ain't gonna change shit else. He's like Kmart. We changed the shine, but not the shit in it. That's who we. You know, but I, so. That's why I just want a black president. That's why all that other horse shit that, that you know, trying to find the 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 the, the, the fucking like in, in pencil. See, this thing, white people always got to find a reason 
to not be racist. Like, you got to find a reason to just go, I ain't voting for this nigga. It's got to be uh, some reason not why he can't, he can't <laughs> bowl. But for them, it was like no, the nigga couldn't in, bowl. In I don't trust a nigga that can't bowl. <laughs> in Pennsylvania and West Virginia, it's funny because in West Virginia, let me tell you, first off, a black dude with a cardboard sign asking for change in West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> like, is he panhandling? I don't even know what he's doing. But uh, in, in West Virginia and Ohio and uh, um, uh, West Virginia, Ohio, uh, the Dakotas, even in Puerto Rico, you got to consider she was winning primaries by large numbers, even when they knew she couldn't win. 19% of Americans say, I wouldn't vote for him no matter what. That's the 19% of Americans that have come out and say it. So how many people, so, how many, how many, here's, here's the question. How many out of the 300 million white people, you figure how many can... It's not 300 million white well, There's 300 million white people in this country. No. Yeah. 300 million people. No, 300 million goddamn white people. Get the fuck out of here. Go look at the fucking thing. I, I'm not going to just... That's the whole population number. of Wait the country. Minute. No, it's not. You're saying a number, and I'm saying a number, and I'm wrong. Fuck that. Maybe 200 now, something. I don't let's just say how many out of... Than that, Jim. Out of <laughs> let's how many up. of those people <laughs> do Obama need? How many white people do Obama need to fucking win the presidency? Fuck the racist ones that ain't gonna vote for him or anyway, but the, the guilty, the white people that have white guilt and the actual decent white people who go, all right, fuck that. <laughs> you're gonna get, I don't know, you're gonna get, you're gonna, this he's is gonna a great get, conversation. I hate I missed it. He's gonna get the Democratic vote. Yeah. No, not it. necessarily. Not what you think, it's so no racist that. Democrats? What? Oh, there are racist Democrats. That will but. say, fuck that. Well, when he's they having go a hard curtain? time connecting with the blue collar dem rural Democrats who grow. Yeah. For some reason, whatever people grow shit, they don't like black people. Like, uh, and farmers and black people, farmers used to love us at one point. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we drifted apart. This is great. Because <laughs> we're giving we away all my tomatoes <laughs> to WIC programs. <laughs> we fucking asshole. Goddamn niggas getting my corn for free. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> but I think people are getting, like, to me, um, the 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 are uh, like politicians. I don't even know why you want to be able, like you guys lost the governor just because he hired a hooker, and I didn't even yeah. know that was. A, and he wrote a check for a hooker, which I think is like that's pretty much a cash and carry business right there. You, yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> give no, me right money, checks, give me no credit cards, right? <laughs> and then you replaced him with a black dude who's black blind, admitted he had several uh, affairs and did cocaine, so he's basically Ray Charles. <laughs> <laughs> like, because when you blind, you can get away with anything. You mean that wasn't my wife? <laughs> That is true, you so, know. I think he gets away with a little more. So I think politicians in general, I like, like, uh, is to me, America has a problem. Like, uh, Congress's approval rating is down, but you ask everybody, do they love their congressman? And they do, and they say. DL, let do. me, let me. It sounds like you're saying, and and it sounds like you're saying, Obama. And I agree with this on a level. I'm, you might not be saying this, but I'm not really into. What, it's what almost, does it sound like I'm saying? It sounds like you're saying he ain't shit anyway. Because no. he's a politician, right? But <laughs> right. I, and I and I agree with it on on that level. But the next level that I'm, I just want there on on. A, I just want there to be a, a black president. Well, uh, because watch you got to get you it want. out the way. Watch what it's you want. It's got to get it out the way. Okay, listen. But black, I agree with black that. Black quarterback. Quarterback. I don't. I, I agree with that. But I'm, what I'm saying is the 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 the, the transcendent. What I don't like is any politician telling. Any politician telling me how great things are going to be if he is in charge. But you know well, it's, you know it's not. Point. But I will vote but for him. Jackie because... Robinson wasn't even the best black baseball so player my... when he came. It's just like what happens is once he's the president, then black people, because black people, really, we're, we're just one constituency. At least white people can be two things. You can be well, three things. White, you can be Democrat or Republican. Black people on this thing, we got to be black. You can be so black, that, a Democrat, or an Uncle Tom. No, no, no. A, a, it's pretty much we if you're a Republican. Uh, but basically, we got to be black on this issue yeah. so that then we <laughs> can be cut in half. Because like, there's enough black mayors to, for a black person to not have to vote for a mayor because he's black. Right. You got to vote for the black president because he's black. Because you're black. Just to get this as something that... Just like black quarterbacks. There's enough black quarterbacks where... A white person can go, this motherfucker sucks <laughs> without, and, and without being a racist. Like a racist. So you can't go Obama sucks, but you can go the mayor of Detroit sucks. Well, no, here's what you can do. I think that just for me, I have a pragmatic uh, kind of view. I don't believe that politicians <laughs> by nature are good people. I think that they. No, he's and a so I, exactly. I and he to me is one of them. And, 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 and he to me is one of them. 
I hate when everybody he what w- I hate that everybody's acting like he's not a he's not Jesus he is a politician yes and so I keep politicians you know at bat I vote for the person that's gonna fuck over come the on now you I do, do I do you not are live you are live with possibly fuck all the 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 logistics of politics man you may be alive and if he's a fucked up guy. Mm-hmm. At least he's a black fucked up That's guy. What, okay, we need the, to see a black president. I, get, I want to see a black president. We my got point to want to see my that. My point is, I don't want, what I don't want is for anybody to confuse the fact, of course, I, I'll vote for him because I believe he's the best of what we have. But I don't place any politician in high esteem. He's the best of what we have. And I think that that is an America. I think the problem in America is that we don't ever hold these people accountable. We kind of go, I'll vote for you because of this. I'll vote for you because you can make all the promises you want, but you ain't ever got to keep them because of this. The bottom line, this country is in the shape that it's in because people make dumb decisions. Right. And they and constantly he, make and dumb make decisions some. for all dumb re- I'm not saying him. I'm talking about as a nation. And, and we right. all make because th- it's basically a, a dude who's half black against running against a dude who's half dead. Let me ask so you this. Let me, really, let me let me ask you this. Really if, you, if you thought, if you thought, right? And this is a, 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 as a black man. This mm-hmm. is one of those questions. Mm-hmm. And and I'm I'm not one of these motherfuckers. Go, oh, you're this or that because you. I'm just asking. Mm-hmm. If if you thought McCain. Was really a better candidate. But well, I couldn't think that. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying his politics. If you weighed each each, each of their politics, Obama or McCain, if right. you weighed it, uh, right. and you go fuck, McCain stands for more things. I'm being hypothetical. Right. McCain stands for more things that I stand for. Would you vote yes. McCain? If I vote, if I, I wouldn't, be- motherfucker. If I believe in somebody, <laughs> if fuck I believe, that. I'm not gonna. You know what? I'm never gonna do. I'm never gonna be somebody else for for the. I think that for the sake of expediency, like I think we do too many things because we get caught up in the stream and go. I would vote for I a agree. guy. Well, I believe in regardless of what I don't believe in McCain. I don't believe in the Republican Party. Right. So that that I'm just no being hypothetical in but terms of. But it ain't of no hypothetical for me. I'm gonna vote what I want regardless of what I, I don't hold. But the how party about you? Just being racist. I do. You're, being, you're being completely yes, racist, man. Okay. But, but, and, I just and I know it sounds great. I just <laughs> want to look at. I don't think the motherfucker is gonna change nothing. I don't think it's gonna right. be. The black dawn of anything. Let me tell you, Whitey's point of view on this whole thing, though, is, and it's just what I said, black president, all bets are going to be off. And this is Whitey's but, but point that, of view. They're good, every, every white guy is going to say now, <laughs> well, <laughs> there's a black fucking president. Shut the fuck so up. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. You I'm not shitting you. Yeah. Yeah. This, motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker got to the presidency of the United right. States. Right. So can you. All bets are off. Right. Go fuck yourself. Right. That's what well, Whitey's pick, gonna you, say. Pick, your, pick your bootstraps up. Look, yes, not, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. You're gonna go say, to school, whatever the fuck it takes. Whatever people, he did to get into that office, <laughs> you can fucking do now. White people invent you transcend racism. You invent anything. What to make it comfortable for white folks? This is my thing. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to hear black. This is what I'm saying about black people. I we get into this thing where we try to be as. Di- diplomatic as you when we're talking mm-hmm. in terms of okay look this that and the third in terms of you know the viewpoint and I, I'm saying dude I I just want there to be a black president just as a symbol as you know as a as a symbol of pride it's not that we've overcome but it, it is that a little that bit is, but it, you, you feel like I, fuck and this is a black I, president I, I don't i don't disagree with you but i'm gonna tell you this i agree that what you're saying is right but i agree also this that they are the uh, you the minute that he gets in office they are gonna say hey man you don't need affirmative action no more we, we, we no reparations we, i'd rather cut one check than 33 million <laughs> 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 I, I, and i think that you can't have it both ways you gotta right. be. You gotta say. You know what? This is what I want. This is what I signed up for. Me personally, I believe that he is better than McCain because I think he is a more. Uh, uh, he is a more worldly person. Like he gets. He doesn't have as myopic a view as McCain does. How about okay? But, how about if a, I didn't how about a Armstrong that, Williams or say a Clarence Thomas was running the against me. was r- running against McC- McCain? Then I vote for McCain. If it was Armstrong Williams and they the same guy. <laughs> They're the same guy. Well, to me, I try never. I try. I, look, this is what I've always tried to do. Mm-hmm. I speak my mind. I don't. I ain't got no coalition. I'm gonna take right. what I think. Right. I believe Obama is clearly better than John McCain. I believe that. So, and you do too, right? Uh, right. A lot of people do. No, no I, you. I don't like. No, me. I don't like uh, Obama's stance on a lot. He's too. He's too liberal for me. 
Right. I'm not a liberal guy. I like fucking guns. And here's what I, I like. like guns. Yeah. Here's what I like guns. I here's what I'm guns. offering to you. This is what I'm saying in terms of this. Mm -hmm. I like dope this whole guns. thing. <laughs> like everything, right, bitches? <laughs> I'm, I'm offering you. Then you, then you like. What's the difference? <laughs> you, you can shoot a bitch white. No. <laughs> Anthony just doesn't want to look at that face behind the party with the white hat. Exactly. Like the Come NSA on. Exactly. I think that's it. I think that, that is not. Here's what I'm offering you, Anthony, on this. I'm offering you the black presidency now mm -hmm. so that when you make any statement based not on color mm -hmm. as you claim quote unquote signs sure then i could possibly go with you without thinking that i'm speaking purely but right racist. now right I, somebody said what if there was a white if there was if a white person said i'm only going to vote for him because he's white would that be if there had only been black presidents Mm -hmm. Then if a white person said, boy, I want to see a white president, would I understand? Yeah. The fact is, our commander in chief has been nothing but old white guys. If Hillary had a went through, I would rather see, just to see a woman president, right. then you can go, I don't like his politics, and I can go, fair enough. Just like if you go, I don't like Donovan McNabb, if there was only one black quarterback ever, I, I'll go, you fucking racist. But there's a lot. They broke ground. Now you cannot like a black that, 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 guy without that. You're not you're allowed saying. to dislike Barack saying. Obama right now. He's the first black president. Yeah, because the candidate. second, you, the so, second so you what say, you're yeah. saying, what you're saying is that no matter, honestly, how shitty you thought he was, no matter how. So if it was between Armstrong Williams and John McCain, you still pick Armstrong because he was black. As painful as that is, that I couldn't do it. I couldn't. Do I it. would. I'd go. Not only, like, it I, would I, just be too enormous for me. Cause you I just want an icebreaker. You I'd, want an ice pack? I just would. I'd vote Colin Powell. This is another thing too. This is what I'm saying. How come Colin Powell and Condoleezza Rice aren't black leaders? How come but you, only you, motherfuckers y'all don't like are our leaders? You understand? Wait, 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 wait. Because because black community, we don't we don't appoint our fucking leaders. You do. You follow White them people they do. Like, yes, you do. Farrakhan and, and Sharpton. No, when is the last time Condoleezza Rice or Colin Powell gathered people? But they're black no, and that. they that lead. Because, because Why Colin they Powell, leaders? because Colin them Powell the didn't behind them. That, come that's out that's what this. Uh, and march like a Reverend Al would. Um, I don't he, know one black person that thinks Reverend Al is a leader. Right. I don't really. I don't. Th I I personally mm. don't know one person. Reverend Al does. Looks at, but he <laughs> yeah. A, I think leaders don't appoint this stuff. That just kind of happens. I think that I can respect Condoleezza. I don't agree with her views. Mm -hmm. I respect what she's done. I respect what Colin Powell has done. Like to to you can't have now. Would you, would you vote for Colin Powell? I would vote for Colin Powell because I think that he's a bright, uh, uh, worldly man who actually understands. Would you vote for Condoleezza Rice? I, 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 I couldn't see vote for Condoleezza Rice. I couldn't see. I couldn't this see. This is it. why it, I couldn't it, see it. This I could is not see. And this is a, this is why it has to be but see, you a said, fucking black president, so that you can just it can. Patrice, it, racism I understand. will still still be there, but at least I can listen to you. I understand so what you you're saying. Fire You'd, set. I just need it. I needed to have Patrice happen, wants but, but, to vote for someone based on the color of their skin and not the content of their character. I love the, uh, the way you think. You motherfucker! Oh, who the, who the fuck Did you just said that? Wait, from a black man? Who just not. said that? Oh fuck! Wait a minute. Don't be doing white tricks with me. You using <laughs> I'm using Jedi? What the fuck am I? Obi Wan Kenobi? Well, you know, you know like, Ask I, not I, what I, you can do for your country. It's no question to me that Barack Obama is clearly more the more of my mindset than than than. Uh, McCain, if he were now, not, what's his politics, if he were not, if he were not, I would not have. If he were not, I wouldn't have a problem not voting for him. What's his politics that that would go? Okay, I'm I'm voting for him because of his politics. Here's why I'm voting for him because I think that he at least has has a a, a more worldly view. He's not as myopic and he's not as connected to one mindset. Like like McCain in in 2000, I loved McCain. I thought he was a smart, uh, independent. Uh, uh, you know, kind of a uh, you know uh, I I independent thinker, and who did his own kind of thing, and he he was a maverick. I bought that thing. But deal is he really myopic though? I mean, he's pretty like a conservative. He's like a pretty liberal know, Republican. He's against torture, like a lot of the things that the conservative. No shit, he's against no, torture. But, I mean, <laughs> but the way, the way, the way, as opposed to what? Yeah. A lot of them you know, go with whatever the CIA. Or but wants but to he do. did. Well, well, Weem is against plungers. <laughs> <laughs> McCain, McCain started pandering to the religious right as soon as he got in trouble. 
Like he started paying into the religious right as soon as he got trouble. If he believes what he believes, that's fine. I personally believe Barack Obama. Not, and, but who I did pander, by the way, when who, he dropped the home church. I do yeah. not. Let me let me get this straight. I think, and I'm a. You think he was clearly. more qualified think, than Hillary? All I don't. I think everybody lies on their job application. I don't think he was. Uh, any more or less qualified than her, but I I would ha- I would have been happy with either one. I don't have to hate her to love him. Mm-hmm. I didn't have to go ooh she's so I didn't have to have uh, you know I didn't have to go ooh she's her- terrible he's great. I think all, I hold all politicians in fairly low esteem. I guarantee he is better women, to me than her. Women would have voted. And here's the cutoff. This is the weird I mean, thing. The, the the strange thing is okay women. Would have had to choose like okay if you're a black woman you would have to choose Obama. Like either your color or your gender or whatever that case may be. If if Hillary had a made it to the to the primary, if mm-hmm. she had made it through as a candidate, I'd have voted for her because she's a woman. Just that, that would never do that. I, I, I would never do. Yeah. I just would have to. Man. I would. Ne- I, you know what? My, I, I just. This is. This is so fucking. It happened to be. To say, and, and the fact that they were Democrats made it made it easier. So, if I if they were Republican, it would have been. I'm you know. telling you, I don't believe people died in March and and went through all the bullshit they go through. So I could hold some some bullshit line in my head. People have to earn my respect. Just like I got to go out there and earn respect from people. If I don't respect the motherfucker, I'm not voting for him. I don't give a shit what they got next to their name, who they are, what their gender is. And I think that it's that mindset. It really, it's that mindset that got people. People voted for George Bush clearly because they went, I want a guy who talks like me. I want a guy who... But, and, 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 but, but and, and, I want a guy who's just as dumb as I am. <laughs> Dio, fr- fr- I'm, uh, I'm Jackie, the, Jackie, I'm Robinson, Jackie Robinson was known. Not to, to be, be the, best, player the best, not even the 10 top black players right. was Jackie Robinson known right. to be. He was just that nigga, which is Obama. He's that nigga. He's my, he got That's a exactly white what you said, Anthony. <laughs> meaning, meaning, he does all the things. Jesus. All the things that... <laughs> That a black guy has to do to make white people I, feel comfortable. I, that's what I, we, my, my he's problem, that guy. Mm. My problem is I don't like people. When when white people like something, I tend to go, "Wow, why do they like them?" It's <laughs> that like, a little suspicious. Well, no, no, honestly, I kind of go, I kind of go, D- D- wow. D- I'm with you, but I'm saying they Jackie like Robinson. Martin, Jackie they, Robinson had to get in. He just had to get in. Now you, but you, we're talking apples and oranges. One is a baseball team, which is pure, purely for entertainment. Another guy's going to be ruling the fucking world. I wouldn't. My, I wouldn't say. And and how much I, of I the world think, is he going to be ruling? How think, powerful is the president? I, I, I think. This is the fucking me. United he States. A fucking you know, symbol. Not, not as powerful as a lot of people like to think or Kenny think. B. But uh, pretty fucking somebody powerful. Can, somebody can tell him to go fuck himself. Like, he has to get things voted on. Well, he can't just make rules. Let me tell you something. George Bush is was powerful deep. enough to have a fucking war going on he, over in Iraq. He had, no, he had the backing of the country. No shit. How did he get that? How did he get that? But right. he, but he, he duped. Congress and to give him all the power. It's pretty powerful, he, isn't that's it? That's not power. That's whatever just, he did, whatever he did was it, his it fucking was, power. It was emotions from from the country Patrice, at the time. How is that time. not power? That's not fucking that power. That is power. It's, that's manipulation. Yeah. Pussy is power. It's manipulation yeah. power. Yeah. 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 Nah, yeah, you're right. It, it is. They, they can ve- he has Pussy's veto power. power. He's He's fair enough. Enough. He has veto power. The president can veto almost anything. He can say no, but he can't say yes. He can veto. He can't just make rules. He fucking but he got. But he did. But it was based on Colin us. Powell it was based on and everyone else. Based on our ignorance and fear. Oh, right. Exactly. Thank and you. I'm a, and I'm gonna say the same thing again. Thank you. Never will I ever give my vote to somebody just because somebody tells me I'll never be pressured to think like anybody. What's else. What's your gut I feeling do. on on Barack? I, b- I believe honestly. Your gut. I don't Fuck know all him. the politics. I don't gut. know him. You don't know. I him. don't know. Him. I don't know McCain either, so I'll take the lesser. The, the, <laughs> that, 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 that basically you saying not, what I'm saying. That, no, no, no. What you're saying is you would vote for the black person in any circumstances. What I'm saying, Armstrong is, Williams and all that shit is a you tough said, one. You, though. You that you is those are tough names. I know. <laughs> Just to test myself. How, how fucked up? <laughs> this is my thing. How fucked up are you? <laughs> This is, the, this is the indictment of George Bush's presidency. How fuck the president of you when the option is we gonna vote for the black guy? That's when, <laughs> oh, wow. when they go, we want the black yeah. guy. Like, your shit is your library is gonna be. He like, really hey, fucked oh up. My God. <laughs> but I, I, I never, I have never believed. Oh, God damn. I've never believed. And there matters when I believe race is the 
is the issue. I, if, you, if you ask me uh, what I think on any number of things, I, but I will never vote for somebody just because they were a woman or they lived in my neighborhood or they were this or they were that. You don't come to me just having respect just because you walk up to me. I have you to think you'd be you. emotional if he, gets, if he gets voted president? Sure. Sure I will. At, to see hmm. a black man go through the struggles that he's Jesus. gone through and the stuff that he's gone through. But I've never seen a... <laughs> he, here's, here's my thing. I've never seen a person so lauded and so so uh it makes it scares me that people are putting uh, uh you know you would think jesus is here and he's ju he's a politician but could he be could he possibly be the dude let's say underneath all of that was farrakhan jr <laughs> okay could he really let's say if farrakhan was the president <laughs> could he really do what white people are afraid he might do could he really? Well, as a newly patriated French person, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a split screen of Obama getting inducted and just see like uh, Patrice and Anthony both crying for completely different reasons. But I tell you this: I'll be you like this. the OJ verdict. Just like, just like the OJ verdict. Right. I believe I, at the time I believe OJ was innocent when I watched it. Oh, now, what, wow. hey, it's true. I fucking I believe he's innocent. Wow. Now seeing it now, I go. Wow, that motherfucker did it. <laughs> and I After that book, I, if I killed the bitch, when right, he wrote right. a book called, if I, if killed, I killed, killed the bitch, and, and, and this is what I would have did. I wouldn't have a problem <laughs> saying out loud, I believe he did it. Like, but but I didn't when I when I watched the trial. It's very emotional for me. I just kind of went, oh man, they, they DL, now, me, that's so odd. That proof is a whole different way of looking. Because I looked at that trial and just said he's guilty. You totally look, guilty. You're, you're politically savvy, man. You're a savvy that's, guy. Would, you're a savvy guy. Now, but but I'm saying, there's never, there, you've never been racially. Things weren't racially motivated in terms of in, in, in your life, like the OJ verdict. Look, sure, was. I, I, that is, it's a ra Things are racially motivated, man. You gotta have this thing. With, I, I, I'm, I'm just not gonna. I'm just gonna take that lowest road, if if you want to call it, where I'm like, fuck. That man, I want to see the black president because we've lived through some fuck. This nigga, that's the president now. This goofy motherfucker that's got us in the war. How, could he be worse than him? No. Come the fuck on, man. Yeah, I want to see but, but it. I want to see the black president. But that's, that's it. That I want to see. I I'm going like uh, we, we get to the same conclusion. Like you taking the four or five, and I'm taking the. Six. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe that he's a better. He's the best candidate we have now. And I believe that he is better suited for the gig than McCain. Probably because he'll live through the inauguration. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure McCain would live through the swearing in. But I would never, me personally, vote for some, Like, OJ, I had to believe he was innocent. I mm -hmm. had to really believe it. And I, for whatever reason. And when I learned, when I, when I looked at other things, I went, oh, maybe he, it isn't what I thought it was. I have no problem admitting whether I'm wrong or right. Race plays a, <laughs> race plays a part in, in a lot of things I do. But as far as me voting for somebody or as far as me looking at a situation objectively i just try to be as human as possible do you think that the people that fought in the civil rights movement jim crow days and all yeah. that do you think okay that they would be happy if he became the president just because he was black i think they of course sure so why i don't well you you asking me you ask me that's apples and oranges I, Am well, I not really i'm not giving it i'm not giving anybody anything just because they're anything is my point no, nobody, I, I, I get nobody your point. ever gave me one thing because I was anything. So I would never give that. I, he mm -hmm. he walks the same earth I do, puts on his pants the same way I do. I gotta go out and earn respect. He gotta earn it. We do agree. He has he has done fuck it. Fuck him on <laughs> right some right. level like he's the Messiah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all I'm that. I'm only talking about a a symbol and not a symbol. A, it's a it's a symbol of. It might even like I always picture like niggas stop shooting each other because the black president like that, that all right would be why not like, wouldn't that be nice? That but I'm saying nice. if he's the black president, it's like let's just make him pro let's be right let's but it'll, you maybe it'll it. write in us up just because he's the black president. You, you can't have it both ways. Here's what I believe. I believe that if if he is president and we don't as a people kind of go. That is our cue to elevate ourselves. That is our cue. If this dude came from Indonesia, Hawaii, Kansas, I don't even know where he's from. So I couldn't, like this dude, the last time I saw a dude from that many places, he's running from the police. But, <laughs> but if he has found a way to connect with America 
that way than it is in us all. And and you know what? When they take everything away, because that's what's going to happen. Everybody's going to say, you know what? If this cat can do it, all you guys can do it. Now it's a level playing field. We're giving you the, 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 you this guy's elevated from nothing to the highest uh, uh, position in the world. I think that it is a challenge that we have to kind of accept. We have to kind of go, you know what? The game has changed, but you can't have it both ways. Well, you you got to be the president. You, you can't say, I want him to be president, and I still yeah. want all this other shit. Because you go, you're going to give something up to get. you got to give to get. And I really believe that that in this situation, there is not a more. And I don't respond to him because he's a speaker, because I think all do, uh, you know, all politicians speak. I think that he's clearly the more candidate, if I did, more qualified candidate. If I didn't think it, two things. I wouldn't have a problem saying it, and I wouldn't have a problem not voting for it. Mm-hmm. I would never vote for somebody just because uh, uh, somebody said that. I, I I don't go to meetings where people go, hey, man, this is the way we feel about this. I'm going to tell you how I feel. I, 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 ain't, I ain't part of the collective. Just like when, when people feel a That's, certain way yeah. about like all the bullshit that people get into about how you should speak and what you should think is funny. True that. I, it ain't no collective for me. But, that, but you got to understand now that there, there is an outside. There is an yeah. outside. There is an outside effect in terms of okay, y- black people aren't really the, the toughest thing I think to be being black as you're younger is to be individual. Is to say right. this is what I think. Right. Fuck the other shit. Right. Mm-hmm. And really, I'm saying what I think because I know there's a lot of black people who are like fuck that. I'm not even voting for him now. You know, I'm not going to vote for him because he's black. Fuck him. I don't like him or whatever. His stance on abortion is this is that. I'm saying, dude, it's bigger. It's so big because, you know, watching Roots <laughs> and and just feeling how I felt watching Roots, feeling how I felt, felt watching Rosewood, just, just the basic instinct of anger you have towards white people on a general basis it's hard for me to just be in here sometimes and just be your friend <laughs> and listen to my shit and just but just just because you're white is there's a there is a natural instinct not to like white folks you know and, it's and so I, odd and I, just, and I just want i just you want to just go like you but you know what you i look at patrice i look at patrice and go i don't even think of you as a black guy and but this see, is the God's honest truth. <laughs> if you I don't know him, would you, you think he was a black guy? And yeah, if, like if, 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 like if you're walking down the street, street yeah. I'd fucking be on the other side right, of the street. Right, right. But, a second, but see, that's why I understand. <laughs> I, I understand that shit. It's like, you but know, me knowing and Lord you would never be friends outside of the fact that we're friends. It's, I, I wouldn't bump into him in the street mm-hmm. or whatever. There is a just a, a, a. I just would love to feel something that I know I've never really felt before. Um. Externally, yeah, but, but, externally, but that's like, different, fuck. though, Patrice. That's di- that's the system. Of, here's, that that's different. I want to see a black president. I get it, but I would never vote for somebody just because they were anything. And you said something that was absolutely true. The hardest thing for a black person to do is to be an individual. Is to say this is how I feel. This is what, and, and like and, Michael and, Vick, dude. I fucking hated that motherfucker for that. But people, you know, you get a preponderance of the media where black people go, nigga, black people don't give a fuck about no dogs. Right. And I'm like, I love dogs. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I didn't. I, 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 that's that's nuance for me. Like like with the with the whole uh, uh, Don Amos thing. I thought it was a dumb joke, and I thought it was you know. I don't I, I don't think what I what I do is. I go, how the fuck do I feel? I don't go on the Black America website. I don't and go that's I don't a hard, and That's jet. a hard thing to I do. Go, I, I do that too. It's very fucking difficult. When I was defending Don Imus, right. I'm telling you, and it's not motherfuckers are my spacing. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, are you fucking kidding me? Did right. you just call me a <laughs> Uncle fucking Tom? <laughs> I'm here defending any black. That's why I called DL, yeah. which I, I love this too. This is a great story. Um, which made me start calling people from a um, block number. <laughs> I reached out. I found this motherfucker to get me to call. He called me from a block number and didn't give me his fucking phone. Number. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but I'm saying I'm that sorry. made me. I, you I know didn't what I did? No, no, no. I you, you, you know, and I said to myself, I go, you know, I'm doing that shit too. Niggas ain't gonna have my motherfucking number. You know what I teach? And it, this is the truth. What, what a great statement about what a great statement about career positions. That was. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. This is what I, I what I teach my, my son particularly. Man, the when a man stands by himself, like it ain't never like my father said. You came in this world, you're probably gonna die alone. Uh, you gonna come? You can go out of the world alone. Man, being an individual and having your own mindset and understanding how you feel is the ultimate responsibility. And it's the ultimate freedom. To me, 
I want my son, if he's nothing else, to be human and to literally look at the situation. Bravo. And, 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 no, no, no. But, but, but my, my, not, not, not the grandstand. And to, no, and to give it. no man respect he hasn't earned simply because he's anything. Simply because he's an athlete. Simply because he's... You, you give any human being a certain amount of respect. I, just for me personally, I don't, I don't look at what people tell me. I look at what they do. But look, there's something deeper about black people's illness in terms of this. Like, this is what I, you don't. Yeah, is this BT we radio? We don't want <laughs> yeah. You know, people in the audience go, what I, are these motherfuckers I, doing? You know, that, you know, there's some truckers driving off of right. fucking, <laughs> real quick, <laughs> screaming at the radio, why aren't you guys saying anything to them? <laughs> <laughs> Let the two niggas fight it out. All Please. this, all this We're oogly boogly talk. Right, right, right. Why don't they just, why don't they boogly. just play bongos? Help, help us. They boogly hijacked boogly. our show. <laughs> ah, We're too scared to talk. First day the president never taking over the yeah. open. Show. Hey Patrice, by the way, there's 300. And give me some chicken. There's 304 million people in the United States, and there's 243 million whites and just under uh, 40 million blacks. You know, white people come up with. Wait facts. a minute. So hmm. two. So it's how many? It's how many <laughs> people in this country? We'll go on the website. And you said, you there said this then. You there's were, 304 million people in this country. Yeah, right. you said there's 300 million. 200 and what? 43. 43. <laughs> 43 million white and 40 million blacks? Yes. There's only 20 more million other motherfuckers here? Chinese, well, you Puerto Ricans, Mexicans. Some Spanish people that are black that they don't know. Yeah, well, are you are. serious? That's what they're saying. Only that's wrong. That's what they're saying. Well, geez, you can't say that's I'm wrong. I'm saying that's fucking wrong. <laughs> There's no more fucking goddamn Puerto Ricans and Mexicans well, in this Puerto country Ricans than us. Puerto Ricans are just niggas who can swim. That's all they are. They're the same thing. <laughs> they count as all the same shit. shit. No, these are the same thing. This is probably are just this is probably good citizens. Hair. The same thing. <laughs> what is that from? Nineteen what? Oh one, July two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. This is what's going to be estimated uh, next month when they uh, put the numbers out. But I mean, these are these are citizens, obviously. This right. isn't the illegal. Got some backing. All right, Why don't we take a? Oh, you know what? You're not counting illegals. You're right. That, that, Why don't we take a break? Illegal. We got DL Hughley in studio. He's playing Caroline's uh, all weekend long. And no, uh, first the no? rally, what? then Caroline. Yeah. <laughs> me and, me and yeah. Patrice are leading people. <laughs> Getting the red, get first your red the bow ties out. <laughs> I get the so sad, dude. Dude, I can't get the passion up uh, to, to talk politics. I just can't. It's, it's not it's even a, a politics thing. No, nah, this is all just <laughs> human thing. It's, it's I like the point politics. that TL said, and, and being an individual is probably the most well, he important said it first. thing. Patrice said it, it first. It, no, because Patrice is saying he's he's. Gonna... Oh no! Wait, wait! Before you finish, my brain is fried. Okay. So I wanted to say something real quick, mm -hmm. real quick you about. You never say anything real quick. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Let me say something. I'm gonna try to Let say something trucker. real quick. Oh. <laughs> they they understand. Is is the, is the black is that. Is when that's the one thing about it's okay when we <laughs> do something like, mm -hmm. when we do something yeah it's like oh you people we we have to defend every black dude that's the thing when no, you, we don't when, we don't I know what you're saying we don't but I'm saying externally we don't but internally for some reason when a nigga fucks up all of the black people got to go oh I don't got to make an excuse like I don't and you don't. But as as a whole group, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but white people, when white people fuck up, that white person fucked up. Not the whole, as a whole. You get I to enjoy you're, no, being an you're individual. Right. You're right. Because as white people... Even without the pressure externally of going, you don't, there's never white pride. It's never open white pride. It's, yeah, because people... You can't. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, you can't fucking... I would love to march down the street. Hey, whitey. Well, you, you, can't can't you, you could do it if it wasn't if a I was behind I know. you. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but I just... You know what it is. If I wasn't half Sicilian, too. And by the way, we do have white pride. Every time we see each other in the supermarket, we'll look at pasteurized milk just kind of waking each other. <laughs> <laughs> the light bulb. Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> open heart surgery. Oh, we did that. <laughs> did you really? <laughs> you know what's... To, to me, is it... All they Everybody was always, helping. everybody always asks you. Like I always get, like uh, even when I came in for the first time, how do black? I can never tell you how black people feel. We no. are a whole race of people that got. How can you talk for one race of people that got flavor, flavor, and Colin Powell? Right. You know what I'm saying? How does one dude encapsulate all of that? All you can ever do is speak. And I and I hate people. Anybody who doesn't speak their own mind, who goes with the collective, is a fucking sheep. Mm -hmm. That's all you are. All you're doing is what somebody told you. Yeah. You might as well be a fucking robot. That, 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 I get it. I understand. That's easier to do. I, I understand. That's why I, I hate the party line shit. Like, why? If I if I'm a Republican, why do I have to be against women getting abortions? 
But that's unless they're mine. <laughs> that's <laughs> a, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they gotta get like I'm a yeah. fucking huge Second Amendment guy. But I'm also for a woman's right to choose. I'm insane then as a fucking Republican. But 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 my thing is that I just became a Democrat two years ago. I was an independent for all of you because mm-hmm. I never even liked the kind. Of, I like to pick. I like guns. I I think. Well, women let me tell you right. something. Guns now that's against your party. No, it ain't. For the most part. No, it's against, I, but I look here. I I uh, I dig guns. I think abortion. I think uh, we should be legal. I think that we are too fiscally irresponsible. I think that uh, uh, the uh, I think that any you want less n- government I think in your that, life. I, I, I want a lot less government mm-hmm. in my life. I think that religion is too enc- is encroaching too much in government. So I, what I've done is, is tell you how I feel. I didn't. I don't go. What does the D say or what does the R say? I tell you how I but feel. But most of the people in these parties that you're forced. to pretty much to vote for because they run all right along the party line so who the fuck are you going to vote for but even that even like when everybody's having the, the black thing. president <laughs> <laughs> i even got that, all that confusion <laughs> out motherfucker <laughs> the black president even, even when party everybody line, was having my the left ball nigga when they were having the primaries i didn't think i don't think that america responds to ethereal talk i think that america want like people are we're not going to respond to the politics of fear your whole fucking life is fear your mother says do this or that'll happen mm-hmm. this job says either do this or i'll fire you Religion says, do this or you go going to hell. Fear runs us all. The bottom line to me is, I, I, I think that America gets what it wants, and it always pick, makes, it, it makes poor decisions because it's generally in, ill-informed and makes decisions based on all kind of bullshit that doesn't. It's 50 million Americans don't have health care. You ask the average person, do they think you should have health care? They go, yeah, you should have it. You, you, put, you, you say socialized medicine, and then they go, fuck you. I'm mm-hmm. not paying for it. Right. Yeah. I don't think you should die in this country. Uh, uh, I don't care what if, if you're lazy or whatever. I was just in Edmonton, Alberta. They have the best economy whoa, whoa, in the whoa, north. Whoa, 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 motherfucker! Why wasn't there an interruption there, Jack? Because I'm waiting to talk about how Senator uh, Kennedy uh, and his you brain hate this tumor. Fucking healthcare and thing. If, it, if 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 we had socialized medicine like Senator Kennedy wanted, he would still have that. Fucking orange in his head. Why because is that? It would, because you don't fucking step up to a hospital, get the best doctor, and say, "Hey, take the tumor out of my head." You wait on a fucking list. You sit and wait for a fucking doctor. You're not getting the best doctor. So you should and get, that's you socialized should get, fucking you medicine. Get, but he's a rich motherfucker, and he was able to get whatever he wants. But, and but, but and that's is, America. You're not. Enti- Why the fuck did this country turn into something, something where everyone's entitled to something instead something. of working up to something. it? Because we working up to getting the brain tumor removed from things. your head. <laughs> One is what the fuck is wrong One with you? That's spoiled. We got exactly. We got He is a spoiled bastard. We have to do two things. If we're not going to be the America we espouse, then let's not be, like we let's be Russia. Let's be as shitty as we think we as we say that. But we're gonna put God in our constitution, and we're gonna act like we're a judo Christian society, and we're a Judeo Christian society, and we are a nation of laws and rules, and we're a nation of human rights and dignity. A human being should never die because it is po- they're poor. I don't give a fuck why they are. Anyone can go into the fucking hospital. You go to the emergency room. Some people are going to get <laughs> shitty care. Anthony, Some people are going to get good care. Hold did on. Did you just hear this, that point? I did. Did you used to be poor? Yes. Do you think you should have been dead if you couldn't afford to live? If You know something? If I was fucked up when I was poor, I, then I'd be dead. That's the fucking country No, no, no. That's not, I asked you, do you but, think you what? should be dead because you couldn't afford to be alive? Uh... No, but in certain circumstances, that's just the way we this fucking is. We are a country is. that fights to have the Pledge of Allegiance, and, and, and we, are fights to, we, we fight to have prayer in school. We fight to have prayer in school. Right. We fight to bring God in that's our That's based on this puritanical the, bullshit that saying, started hundreds of years but ago. But I'm saying, if it, you are going to put God in your life and talk about how you love Jesus and how we're a Christian society, the very tenet of Jesus, regardless of what people think, is that you love the poor and the sick. Yeah. That's what you do. What? Now, if you're going to take Jesus out, we're going to be a country that, that 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 is just kind of a pluralistic country. We don't give a fuck about anything. That's fine. But if you're going if you're going to talk about how much you love Jesus, then and how much uh, how, how uh, you can't even you can't be president unless you do you can't literally be president of the United States of America unless you go to church and kill convicts. Well, you know, you can't. So- <laughs> you, you can't. You, Obama pretty soon is going to have to shoot some. Well, your personal <laughs> fucking religion, <laughs> your personal shit, as far as religion goes, isn't supposed to, and you said, isn't supposed to encroach in but on the government. Does. But it does. But it's not supposed to. It's written there. Separation of well, church and state. We're not supposed to pay taxes, but we do. Exactly. That I don't like that either. Okay, so... But, so, the, but the thing is... <laughs> you're we, just a fucking... 
you're poor, rich trash. Like you're, you're rich, hysterical, Patrice. You're just a piece you're of another, garbage, but you're a millionaire. Let, let me just let me just let me just say this. <laughs> Fucking bastards. When did this country? Become the country where everyone's entitled to the same fucking thing. There are poor no, people. Different. There are rich people. Hold on, hold on. There are poor people and there are rich people in this country. It's what this country's based on. If you're lucky and you make something yourself, you have uh, <laughs> some skill, whatever the fuck it is. Listen to you laugh. No, I'm this laughing. This is what America is no, made I'm for. I'm laughing. Some people fall on their ass and fucking get nowhere. I'm laughing and others, because there's a lot of ass falling that? people that That's what to this, this whole fucking right country <laughs> was based on. No, the country was built. It based. wasn't based to come here because we're going to no. give you what the fuck uh, you you want. This country was based. Wasn't a guarantee. On, 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 on exploiting, uh, uh, it really was. It was based on black labor. First it was black labor, free black then it was labor. Italians, then it was Africans, now it's the Mexicans. It's that new term. They the mm -hmm. new niggas. But the bottom line is, this country was based on exploiting somebody and and getting rich from it. That's what happened. Now it is becoming a place where people have felt bad about their past and are trying to right a lot of the wrongs of the past. So a lot of things that wouldn't have happened have white but, guilt. But if we if we are going to be a country where every time every time I turn around, some politician is saying we are the moral authority in the world, and right after that, a commercial will come off of Girls Gone Wild. If we're going to be a moral authority, if we're going to constantly talk about Jesus and how, constantly talk about elephant, like the country now, talking about change, we need to change, we need to change the two minutes, we are the we we've been waiting for, we, it's changing the tone of the mm -hmm. country, then you have to accept all, just like I told him, you have to accept all that comes along with, uh, mm -hmm. when, when Obama's, you have to accept the fact that this country is going to have to do some of the things it actually expires. So people really are, is. so, so then everyone is entitled. By just being an American, you're entitled to certain things, whether yep. you not, work for them yep. or not, whether you're, you're you lucky enough to have. I don't think you. I don't think you. Should, I don't think any human being. I think that we place such a value on. We we love money so much in this country. We put God on our money, <laughs> so we could have everything in the same space. Mm -hmm. But uh, to me, I just am a as a, from a human standpoint. I just don't believe that people. Your care should be better than some people because you can afford it. So, but, everybody but, but should. Everybody. Everybody. Nobody Anthony, everybody should, should eat. Right. Everybody is, should eat because if you don't eat, you'll be dead. Yeah. So or if everybody right. can't somebody. eat, somebody you you're just dead. Some motherfuckers just they don't have enough food to fucking eat. Why? What? Because they're lazy pieces of shit. No, I don't know. I'm asking you why. Because fucking that? look, man, motherfuckers. Why? Look, man. Some people can't look. When I grew up. We we was on on welfare, yeah. and but I'm gonna be quite honest. My mother was stealing. So was it. I? Listen to me. My mother was stealing it. So was mine. But okay, she wasn't stealing it, and I was walking around with the brand new Nike. She was stealing it, working and on welfare. Yep. Just to get a little bit more, just some food, some extra fucking food. Cause to eat right, a fucking fish, one fish, seventy five dollars a pound. <laughs> A whole pig, the fuck is a in the dime. Fridge? You know what I'm saying? Like you can eat a whole fucking pig for nothing and die, or you can try to eat right and lettuce is this expensive, or fish is that expensive, or fucking something that's not gonna give you a fucking heart attack mm -hmm. costs more money than the average that's thing. It's fucked up. It you can come out of your goddamn Shelby money. And fucking give me a, a piece of corn. Where does it fucking have to stop then? Do we all have to equal out? Uh, yeah, man, that's as communism, as man. Where, 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 yeah, thank you. That. Thanks for saying it but then, You know Patrice? what's funny to me? When Thanks I, for saying when it. When I grew up, my, my, I remember being my, my mother having to, you because when you go on, uh, we used to get fruits, fruit, uh, 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 lunch tickets. Mm -hmm. And I remember watching my father. My mother made him fill out the thing so she, get, she can get a little extra. And I watched my father cry. And I said, and and uh, I never understood, but he hated the fact that he had to subjugate himself to get a little mm -hmm. extra. That taught me something. I'm 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 always going to. I believe that I'm going to be as human as possible. Of course, if you work hard, there's some lazy motherfuckers out there that don't deserve, you know, to live in a great Nothing house. Right. I'm not saying that you shouldn't die. Like it, like the the mortgage crisis. Here's the thing we do. Who thought it was a good idea to give a motherfucker making three thirty five an hour a million dollar home? <laughs> exactly. Like, who thought that? But who's but, who's who's the dumb motherfucker that looks at his budget and and decides okay, he's going to get then, that house? Then then we do then we do this. That's fine. I get that. We'll bail out the bank that made the predatory Ooh. loans, but not the people that took them. We'll bail out railroads that are shitty business model, but not the people that ride them. We'll bail out the airline industry. Like after 9-11, we gave them billions mm -hmm. of dollars, and they're a shitty business model. And now seven of those people are going, we'll give corporations chances that we never give human beings. 
That's my problem. If you go, you you take welfare away from poor people, and you say you ain't fucking working. The, the, but you give those, you give those same tax breaks to Exxon and Mobile, who who don't even need it, and you don't blink an eye at it. I so, I agree with that to a point. But the the reason the the airlines. Uh, got bailed out and and the railroads and stuff is because we need fucking planes. Okay, trains. we might need planes. You know this poor motherfucker that went broke. We don't need. We don't need. It's seven. You know why airlines go broke? That's why they're going broke. Yeah, because they're shitty business models. Because mm -hmm. they they're late. They pay too much money. And you know what happens to a shitty business model? It goes away. It, we don't need nineteen thousand airlines. We just need good ones mm -hmm. and efficient ones. You know the only airline that didn't have to lay off anybody or take any money from the government was Southwest. Now everybody laughs at them and talks about them. They are great business models. They yeah, it's get, they, they weren't fucking paying the mechanics <laughs> to fix the plane. Right. Yeah, motherfuckers <laughs> are flying. Well, no, buses. Americans did yeah. the same thing. <laughs> America, yeah. but, but but the thing about it is, we will we will we look at corporations differently than we do look at people. Now I understand we need corporations, but you would never. You'll tell me how you shouldn't bail out the people that made a predatory loan. Banks were ripping those people off left and right. And what they figured would happen, they wouldn't be able to make the loan that pay me. And mm -hmm. we'll get the house back and can sell it again. They didn't know they was going to all of a sudden yeah. have a whole soap of houses they couldn't sell. I know, but the, it, that, that just, uh, people sometimes are fucking stupid. Do you think you're getting $10 million from Nigeria in your email? You don't, the bank stupid, you don't give a fuck, Anthony. Was the bank stupid? The bank was stupid. No, apparently the bank is pretty fucking Anthony, smart. There, no. Are there, gonna any, on are house. there any? But now people, the banks are in trouble because now they they're stupid. Are there <laughs> any people in need? <laughs> so, so let's say it was two stupid people. Mm -hmm. We just told, chose the richer stupid person. That's what happened. We Anthony, bailed out Anthony, those banks. Are there when, any people in need that you give a fuck about that you go, man? These people need help. And I, I, I would like to help. Them. It's the people on commercials that I never fucking see. And you know who it is? It's these. Fucking father, mother, and two kids in a homeless shelter that just ain't ever in a fucking homeless shelter. <laughs> they fell through the cracks of society. <laughs> the husband lost his job. This could happen to any man. No, it's a lunatic in a snorkel jacket on a hundred degree day fucking going, can I get some money? That's the fucking shit. That's, that's the needy that I don't give a fuck about. Can you about. do the black snorkel homeless man again? <laughs> Can I have some money? <laughs> <laughs> you know him, huh? Oh fuck! I, I, I know have, him a I lot. Have, I, I have, I have, like, I, there, there are people I don't have tolerance. I don't have tolerance for bullshit. Yeah, I, I don't you, either. I, I'm tired of people, you know, doing whatever the fuck they do. But I'm and I also, chase mullet-headed white fucking junkies away too. <laughs> I tell them, go fuck yourself. You ain't getting a quarter from I'm me. I'm also tired of people. Like, I just think three. If the government did three, four things, I'd be fine. I think if they gave everybody a decent quality education. I think if they protect, gave you some level... Gabe, isn't that in place? Hold on. Isn't that in place? If someone does well in school... How can you do... I let, don't let, understand. Let me give you an example uh, okay, from my okay. life. My kids went to school in inner city in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. In 1996, I moved to the Valley, which is the same school district, but it's the Valley, Los Angeles School District. My kids were three years... And they were doing well at their school. Three years behind those people. Three years. They were doing shit at that school <laughs> that we had never even seen. Why? So I had to... Well, I don't know why. You tell I, that's I just it. Why? I can't tell you why. Like I don't have the I don't have the why. And plus that ain't a good joke. Why? I don't know what the fuck that is. You fucking up my human interest. Story. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but but so I had to pay to this day. To this day, I had to pay tutors to catch my children up. And unfortunately, I was able to do it. My mm -hmm. daughter goes to Smith. Uh, uh, uh you know, uh, uh, private college. I'm very proud of her. My son is in college. My daughter. I'm, she gonna be my daughter. That's the fuck she gonna be for the rest of her life. But <laughs> she ain't the brightest motherfucker. No matter how much I pay into it. But uh, but the idea that they go to the same school district that they worked hard that I thought I was doing everything I needed to do and they were still three years behind. And you ask me why, and I tell you I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you why because now it's richer out there. So I, I think that there's more, and certainly there's more involvement. It used to be a PT. You know, parents were. There, there's, there's. It, I don't think it's a hundred percent of one thing. I think it's one percent of a hundred things. I think the parents need to be more involved in their children's lives. Absolutely. I think that we need to place a higher premium on on education. But all of us do. Like I was reading, uh, we don't. Uh, no, none of us. We have to give hundreds of thousands of work visas away because we're not educated enough to do the the ma job that involves mathematics. We have to hire. Well, you from know Pakistan this child, this India. child thing has nothing to do mm -hmm. with Anthony. No, you know something. Let's move along from I children. Pay, I pay motherfucking <laughs> school taxes up the ass. Why? Where I am? Because I, I don't have any kids, but I got to pay for the fucking schools I didn't in my neighborhood. Talk about well, that. Uh, in my neighborhood, I got to pay for the fucking schools. 
have them because take they off don't want money. they don't want the kids fucking winging rocks through my windows. So even people without kids got to pay through the fucking ass for the school tax. Well, fuck, I don't give a fuck about that. Fuck the kids. Yeah. <laughs> fuck the kids. The children should be homeless. <laughs> yeah, fuck the children. A I was very, a very you know special what? episode of Opie yeah. and Ass. Uh, you joke fuck around. You joke around. <laughs> But they do use their fucking, like, five- and six-year-old age status to fucking get away with shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. This motherfucker here. Uh, uh, and, I, I, and that's what I have to say about that. So <laughs> thank you for yeah, listening to me. Yeah, I can't wait to see Richard Huff's oh, yeah. article tomorrow. I can't wait to see Richard Huff's article right. tomorrow. Uh, Opie straightens everyone out on yes. race. <laughs> Opie's race discussion groundbreaking. Right. <laughs> I'm going to be on the piss, top right? of... Uh, yeah, I do. I'm going to be on the top of the, the Drudge Report <laughs> later today. <laughs> Opie's solve all race problems Can in America. Can we all agree no, on that was, thing? What? Yes. We have to take a leak? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Dale Hughley at Caroline's. Uh, that was really interesting. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. He's there tonight through Sunday, and of course Patrice is at Comics uh, on Fourteenth Street uh, tonight and tomorrow only. And Black Panther headquarters. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wherever that is these days. I know. Hold on. <laughs> what? What is it? Nineteen sixty seven. I know. Was that? Oh. Exactly. <laughs> we. Uh, <laughs> Black Panther. Then he's going Elders. to the Cotton Club <laughs> and the Black Panthers house. <laughs> <laughs> We're all doing the pee-pee dance. we got to take a break. Uh, you yeah. guys having fun or what? Yeah. I, all right, we'll continue in just uh, a bit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to take a break now. At Opie and Anthony and them Norton, that's our comic. He's going to keep you smiling. And we want you to be right there when we come back. So don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh my That's god. That's his legacy. It never That's ended. his getting shot in the head. Oh my god. He's the black president. I need a nap. That's... Oh and my god. I, I, I agree with Patrice, Patrice on with that. You. All right. I agree with Patrice on that. I'm what a... we talked about during break. <laughs> hey, uh, that we're, never happens. We're back with the live studio audience. I, I, I want to uh, do something really quick. I need another threesome. Let's uh, let's get <laughs> <laughs> let's get people. Uh, I want to know how many people out there. We have a very white audience looking at us right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and uh, I want to know how many of these guys and gals are voting for McCain. Raise your hand. Of course. Why yeah, would you even ask? Oh, that's not... Th Look, it's not even... Of course. Shut up. It's <laughs> yeah. Keep your hands up. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at how four, four five, other six, hands seven. went up. <laughs> and hold on, hold on. Do you see, you fucking liars? <laughs> they... Shut up. I'm well, trying to do that. You're a cow here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it looks like, right? Now, how many of you traitors... <laughs> so we got eight for McCain. How many for Obama? There's a lot. There's Three. Oh, well, that's <laughs> oh, two. If that's the ratio, it's over now. <laughs> Wait, out of eleven. Hold on, hold on, man, bro. What? That's that's over twenty-five percent, though. I mean, when you look at it like that, three and eight. Is uh that out of eleven people that is over twenty five? Yeah, but there's more than eleven. So what's going on with the other guys? You're just that's not what I'm voting. saying. Maybe they're wings. Uh, some of them kept their hand down and then left. The, it's oh. it's a dangerous thing. Mike? What? What happened? Oh, Who's? They're on. Everybody's oh. on. Oh, what phones? happened? Oh. Yeah. No, I have fun. So what did that guy? He jumped up. What? Oh, I'm I'm definitely not voting for John McCain. No way. It's ludicrous. We've already lost four thousand men in this war. Uh, we definitely need a change in America, this and I think Obama's pretty optimistic. I certainly think he's qualified. Since uh, DL mentioned before, about where somebody him. had some thoughts while that discussion, <laughs> 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 the hand went up. When the yes. hand goes up, it's gonna be a fucking. Dude, dude. You know what, dude? Everybody's gotta just be themselves. You know what, dude? Black or white? <laughs> dude, I'm Fat Bob Kelly. Uh, uh, what an you ass. Point about Obama not being uh, being there for votes and voting present as opposed to voting yes or no a friend of mine made a point about that a lot of times things go through and you don't want to go against the party but you don't want to support it either and that's one of the reasons obama did have that voting record at least the guy was there <laughs> most of these motherfuckers aren't even there but but that's my uh, here's my thing what? i think politics do what they do to get it's like i uh, like i said earlier Everybody's filling out. This is the biggest job application. <laughs> I don't know one motherfucker that tells the truth on a job application. <laughs> I don't know one. So I don't look at politicians. I, I judge them and I kind of go, they serve a purpose. They good. But I don't look at them as being agents of change or goodness. or what. All they care about is what gets them elected. That's just it. And gets them so to the next gig. Right? I agree with all. that shit. So I, I agree, I agree Obama's a, doing I that the same way as everybody else. I don't else, have man. a high 
sense of self-esteem, uh, uh, of esteem for them. If they're good at their job, but people can say whatever they want about George Bush, and this is the one good thing I'll say about him. I don't even know what I can say. But uh, <laughs> is that he didn't use slick talk and, and great rhetoric and lilting rhetoric to get shit done. He bullied people, and he was politically effective. Like, he did, he got shit done. It was all the wrong shit, but he, he wasn't in there talking nice to those people. He's, a, he's like, motherfucker, you do it, or I'm going to make it politically hot for you. He got a lot of Democrats. They, they lost their job. So I think that he was a political, he was politically effective, just all the wrong shit. So I don't think you have to be nice. I think that the people place are putting politicians in places I don't think they belong. I think they're just, you know, they're not civil rights workers. They're not humanitarians. These motherfuckers are trying to get a library. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, and, and that's why I keep them. I, I mean, he, he might be a great dude. He can speak great. I, I'm going to vote for him. But don't don't expect me to, to suck his dick. I just think he I just I think he's. I hope he's good at his game. Ask them, Obi, ask if anybody's voting that knows nothing about politics. Uh, what he said. I don't think anyone's going to fess up to knowing nothing <laughs> about politics. That's what I'm politics. saying. Yeah. It's, 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 there's, a, there's a bunch. You don't think you think there's a couple of guys over here that's just voting because oh, they know. just vote because that's who they're going to vote for? There's at least for. two or three dummies over and there. And I think that that's more <laughs> yeah, people than you <laughs> fucking realize, man. Let's go to Stalker Patty. Who are you voting for in oh, the uh, upcoming election? I think Obama's the only candidate out of the three who were out there three? that's capable the of doing three? the job. Who's the well, three? The Hillary the, and she, she dropped uh, out. McCain. Hillary's out. Yeah. You know, McCain's <laughs> Hillary's <laughs> out. She just she's said, fuck that. She's I'm going to go on my rant. Oh, she'll just keep talking. She's <laughs> saying people I, that aren't running. I think that Hillary. I think Gary I, Hart's in trouble. <laughs> I think they're going for Obama. <laughs> I'm going to say that shit. I, <laughs> and she's still talking. <laughs> Patty. I was interjecting Patty, humor. Sorry. Do you know that Hillary's out of it? Yes, I know that. Uh, so so why did you say, say the three, three candidates? Well, I've been with Obama all along because he's strong enough to handle <laughs> No, you weren't. You used to, you bad him because you were for Hillary. No, I wasn't. I remember that. You were like, Obama, I wouldn't vote for him. He's too racially motivated. You said all that. Did I? No. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I, oh, told, you had a doubt I totally made that up. You Jedi she, mind tricked her. But, but that exactly is who's voting. <laughs> she had no idea. Thank you, Jim. That's her Perfect voting. example. I'm Perfect example, you. Patrice. Can you vote? You, you're allowed to vote, Patty? Yeah. Exactly. Why not? That's what the fuck. That's who's voting. Yeah. Excuse me. That's you're who's allowed to vote. vote. Well, yeah. Yeah. All I, 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 I'm glad Hillary he got out because yeah. the race was taking us. She started to look like she started to look like Willie Nelson, didn't she? <laughs> what like the model for the nickel for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Uh, Goodness yeah. gracious. She looked like Willie Nelson, but less fuckable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, baby, go down, and take a nap. I wanted to marry her so I could cheat on her. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I, I didn't. I, She's I, not happy with a man unless his dick smells like someone else. <laughs> I smell like Mentos. I'll stay with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh well. Any other political commentary? We haven't really gone to the, the crowd. Well, ask the big dude right there. The big oh yeah, Bob Kelly, dude. This, this Bob dude right Kelly, <laughs> ask this dude. Right <laughs> I gotta see what this dude say. What's, what's what, the what do you got, buddy? <laughs> Who are you voting for? Uh, McCain. Okay, what do you like about McCain? Uh, Other than his wife, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Patrice. Oh. Patrice has done nothing but for the past two hours and talk about how he's only voting for but a I'm black saying, man because he's black. No, 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 right? that, and then I'm he goes, not, no, I'm not I'm voting mad for McCain. I'm and saying, then he just goes, he's white because he's white. This is what I mean. White people, can they're not allowed mm -hmm. to just be honest. They have to figure out a way. Well, give so us I'm, permission, I'm please. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm vote for the, I vote for dude because he's black. But white people have to go, well, his stance on... No, that's not true. Ask Look at this motherfucker trying to make up some shit. I'm trying to, get, I'm trying to give you an answer here. Uh, don't like the uh, liberals, so uh, I try to go... That's, that's fair. Wow. Republican. By liberals, fair he enough. means the black people. Of yeah. course. <laughs> you know what I... The, what, but I'm, I don't give a fuck, because I... Let me tell you something. Even if he came up with some magical shit, I still believe... In what I believe, so mm -hmm. it's nothing. I'm prejudging him, and he's not going to say anything that makes me go. Fair enough, you made a, you made such a fair point against Obama and for McCain, and I'm I'm open minded like that. But no, I, you're not. I am. I'm, very, <laughs> I'm, I'm open minded in terms of a motherfucker best logical. You know, if it makes sense, I'm gonna go with it, dude. He, I believe that he's not voting for Obama because he's black, but he has to figure out some shit that he hasn't even figured out. Okay, let out. me ask you something. Honestly, what if, like, I hate conservatives? Okay. I do. 
Armstrong, I, you gave me an example of Armstrong Williams, okay. or, or I, I don't like them. I think that they, no offense, I like you, but you know, okay. some of my best friends are conservative. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> but, but how come I, I would never extend somebody uh, or, or deny somebody a right I feel like I have? That's what that whole Don Imus thing was about. Yes, to me. there I don't, you go. If I'm allowed to do it, somebody else should be allowed. And yes. the liberals were the ones who attacked him. The only cons- right. the conservatives defended him. Like I, especially, the especially I speech. Like I think black people, black comedians should have been the first people defending mm-hmm. anything that had to do with language. Right. So I don't like conservatives. I don't care if they were black, they were a woman, they were the first midget. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck what they were the first of. I don't like them. Why am I allowed to say I would never vote for them because they're conservative and he's not allowed to say he never voted for them? I'm going to tell you why. It is what it fucking is. Right. But wait, you know, it's not magic. Well, it's double standard. I agree with you. And I'm not saying that, what that he, I give a fuck that he can't. It's just white pe- white guilt. See, black people have a little to do with what the fuck y'all do to yourselves. It's it's some really some Likewise. civil war happening with white people where you make each other feel com- uncomfortable. We don't even have a, a say in it. White guilt is the thing that makes him not be able to go. I don't. I just don't want to blow for a black guy. That's we didn't well, do that no, shit. No, that's not, did you see? I was. This is so. I feel so stupid. I, I was in the same four seasons we were at when we were doing the uh, in the, Washington. I was John Zogby was there from the Zogby Reuters poll, and he, I had lunch with him. It was the day after the Pennsylvania Pennsylvania primary. Twenty one percent, and he was talking about the exit poll. Twenty one percent of the voters there said the race was a problem that they would rather stay home. Then vote for uh, 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 Obama. Seventeen percent of Catholic voters, and it was Catholic voters, said that they would uh, they would vote for they would rather they stay home. So that's thirty eight percent of that vote. Those are people who said out loud, "I ain't vote for this nigga." They, they said didn't it. say that out loud. Oh, they said it. No, they said it behind something. Whatever they said it. But they, but I'm they saying were open about it. It's, it's, they said it. I can say I'm a vote for Obama or whatever. But when I go, only if they have cameras. Pointing right at you when you pu- when you push these buttons and you go oh yeah it's Obama and you go whoops <laughs> not that nigga it's, well, and, they can say what they want to say but outwardly white people aren't gonna go I'm not voting for him because he's black you'll never well, find I think it. That's the parts of the country look the West they voted for him in big numbers. White in people the East. according to white people there's there's no racism more well, in the West and the East. <laughs> don't exist but not but not in the middle of the country you go to it's Pittsburgh. there but. I, I've never met a racist. I've never Jeez. met one. Let's ask uh, Roland. Roland, who are you voting for? M. M. Night Shalaman. Shalaman Lama Ding. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, Bill Richardson because he's you know he's Mexican. Yeah. Bruce Bro- Springsteen's <laughs> voting for him. What's that? Bruce Springsteen supporting Obama. Oh, that's cool. And that's, oh, that's why. No, that's really why he's Great. voting. Well, that, hey, Roland's man. a huge Springsteen fan, hey, so Oprah whatever. Made Bruce a lot of says, people vote for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but, least, but there's honesty, Patrice. That's the reason why Roland's uh, voting for Obama. Still didn't say race, though. We're talking about the honesty of race, though. Uh, there's other things that play into this, too. I hate not the, white, I, though. But Patrice is right again. I'll give it to you. I hate the whole white guilt, the guilt thing and, and that uh, white people can't just say... The, the, white, the white guilt Slater. vote's going to be big. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, yeah it might right. be. A lot yeah. of white people just feel guilty and paternalistic. Like, and they hope like to like God this will end racism. Please let yeah, this yeah, end they my, really do. In this inner horror that I have. <laughs> yeah. Please. One way or another. Either with peace and love or through a race war. More, <laughs> one moral, I'm at moral, uh, uh, a moral uh, impasse. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> but you know what's so funny? Everybody acts like this is a, uh, this is the first time in history this has happened. Like this is the most significant moment in modern history. Like, and it, it's pretty significant for this it country. Is. But in South Africa, I think it was pretty significant. That was a majority. That the Mandela difference majority. was a prisoner mm-hmm. and became Was it the same the democratic process though? No, they voted. They voted. Well, yes. you know what the big thing was? So, so Anything was white people. A whole burned. lot of Africans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. a whole lot of dead white people. <laughs> I yeah. guess. Yeah. I was going with an option. So I think, I think that you got to, like, you got to put this. Uh, I am very, like, uh. part of me is, like, I'm very <laughs> proud to see something. I'm very, I always wait for the shit in the game to see what's going on. I'm very proud uh, to see a black man. Um, um, uh, ascending something I never thought, Barry, I never th- even thought possible. Even when I did my HBO special, I couldn't think that this was, I couldn't wrap my mind around it. But I'm also a realist that I don't believe, and this is just, it's a, I don't, I think most politicians aren't shit, and I think, but that's, I hold them I, a little stuff. Business as usual. I absolutely, kind of all I absolutely usual. agree. All business I don't usual. think this motherfucker, <laughs> I so think I he's a goddamn politician. Right. 
That's what I think yeah, he is. So anybody who wants to be the president is a fucking sickening, crazy right. motherfucker mm -hmm. anyway. But fuck it. But don't tell me but how they you want the black. Man. Right. Don't tell me how they're gonna change the oh the world will be warmer and nicer. Uh, your job is to do what the American people want you to do. That's your gig. You Before know, Doug Williams, it. all I wanted was Doug Williams. Now I want fucking who's you gonna know, make my team win you know what i but think before that, Obama will I, do? Just, I want doug williams man too so I would need you take doug it. williams over tom brady fucks no okay <laughs> not now <laughs> then i would have i would have been that like fuck that i want to see this happen you know I what would've. i think obama's not, gonna do not now foreign policy i think he's gonna do much better because Hell i think yeah, other other people, people in other countries yes. are gonna remember when jesse went over to free that in, in libya yes right. he got the little yes. uh, hostages free just so the libyans could go Go fuck yourself. Right. We're giving him to Jesse. Right. Yes. I, I think he's going to do better in foreign policy. Absolutely. Because I think the foreign uh, dignitaries are going to know that like people are going to be like, motherfucker. They're going to give him some extra oil <laughs> right. take home in his pocket. Just because he's black. Right. Take that with you. <laughs> take a couple of barrels just for the rest you. Of the country. And you know what? The, the people, the economy is really all about, uh, like the global econ mm -hmm. economy is really all about emotion. Like people hate us right now. Yeah. And they yeah, want to, like that ill will is in the zeitgeist. People want us fucked over and broke. That's the yeah, same yeah. reason that the Iranian hostages were released. It was it was a right. slap at Carter for taking the Shah. Right. right. And when uh, right. when right. protecting right. the Shah of Iran after the Islamic the Revolution, second Reagan got in, the hostages were right. they were set free. Out. It was yeah. all a slap yeah. in the face of Jimmy Carter. But I, mm -hmm. but I think that I think that I, I just I just have a problem with people acting like this is Jesus. Like it's <laughs> like, I'm like man, he's, you've never met one great human being. Was a politician? Can you mm -hmm. name, One, yeah. name something bigger in your lifetime than, than the possibilities of no, this? No, I'm not, I'm not the gay. I'm, I'm, no, the possibility that a black dude gets a great job <laughs> is what we're talking about. That a black man gets a great job. It's bigger <laughs> than the that, Greatest though, thing man. in my life. There's yeah. going to be some inner... The same reason when you first saw Roots, right? You remember how you felt yeah, when but you that first was a, saw Yeah, but that was a But when, man, when this motherfucker gets up on there, up on this goddamn podium, and he says, white babies are now legal to eat. When he gets up there and uh, you see him getting ready to man, say, you I, am the pre I am your president, you can't help, and you can't help but something take I'm over, proud man. You're, of you're, him you're, for doing it. But this is a black dude who's got a job who hopefully will do a great job. It's gonna be bigger than that. I, I hope he make I, it just so I remember this conversation, I man. You gonna it's I, gonna be bigger than that, deal. I think that that <laughs> I'll be proud. It is. You guys are gonna be. Unless, da, 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 right. da, the puffing cigars. No, See, I, told I told you. I think there's going to be a whole lot of. Patrice O'Neill, I'm the head of Exxon. Hello, it's, how it's, are you? It's going to be a whole lot of quiet and a whole lot of crying when that motherfucker is Yeah, but, is but what, hmm. what does that do? Yeah. It's for you. Motherfuckers going to stop shooting each other? Maybe. Mm. Just fucking. Maybe. Here's what, I mean, I just, I just want to. It's just something that you just go fuck, man. <laughs> this month, he is the boss. Even though it's not going to change shit, I'm not going to be able to walk down and say, "Hey, white woman, take your clothes you off," because it's the black president. Patrice needs so much. You need something to no, hope for. It's not for. external hope. You it's need hope. Not, right I ain't gonna let you. That's a white. That's a white trick. I'm not going to let you do it. <laughs> Patrice, just I don't believe, I, honestly, I believe I be, I'll be proud of him because he's a black man who's been able to accomplish. I was proud of Condoleezza you know Rice. What? But let me say it. But let fuck me say him, it. Let me say it. Fuck him. I don't give a fuck about <laughs> him. Every black man that does something great, I he can be proud of. Everyone that does He don't care who's Nipsey fucking Russell. Fuck that's that's him. Saying. Geraldine was the first right. lady. <laughs> I, I don't go. I don't DL, go, I'm, 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 I'm go, with I'm you a hundred percent on what you're saying, except for this one block between what you're saying. What I'm saying is that I want uh, the symbol part means something to me, man. Because mm -hmm. it's going to mean something to the country. It's going to make white people feel a certain way no matter. Just because I'm black, I'm going to feel this certain kind of thing. And just because white people are white and they have this funky fear of, oh, shit, here it comes, white slaves. <laughs> white slaves. It's going to fucking make me feel good You're gonna to like that. see okay. the fucking All right, listen. The, the fictional change. All right. That doesn't make me feel like I just... It make it does. It just wants like spite and and it's not more fucking vind spite. Vindictive no, and, and, it's not fifty spite. points. I don't go. Wow, black man did it so by virtue I did it. Mm -hmm. I go. Well, that's a cool well, thing. Well, you would have did it in nineteen oh one 
if Kobe I was the only I nigga playing. I would have done this. I, I'm very, like, I can I can make it. They compartmentalize for me. I'm very proud that a black man is is has the possibility yeah. of ascending to a place where I'm I had you. no uh, concept that it could possibly. I'm he was you. the most shocked when he won Iowa. He was the most shocked motherfucker on stage. I, I was. <laughs> so. Everybody was. I was about to go home and make my vice presidential bumper sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pr- I, but I'm proud of that. But I also believe. But the other part of my mind goes. But this is just a dude who who it's who, frankly it, made everybody else believe he, he is he's very it's anybody. very much that's all like the OJ verdict that's what it is right, right. you're gonna it's have what it is it's 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 not that we gave a fuck I put it in, I'll speak for me it's not that I gave a fuck whether OJ did it or not he beat the game that was made up by the people that made up the game and he and he fucking got off. When that's what was happening all these years. That's how slow it was for right. me. But I the felt president, like he did it. He's about to he be the fucking president. He's about to be the president with the fucking game that you created. When, and when I say you, I, huh? um, I don't know. you know, probably not doing a show. You, oh, man. <laughs> I meant to say, I meant to say you people. He's playing the game that was, he's supposed to play. Yeah, but I respect, and I just want to see I it happen. It. I, I, I like that he. I like that he beat the game. And they him. hate this motherfucker. I, I like that he did. But they if been they giving Hillary, him enough, they was giving Hillary shit. But this if, crazy but, nigga preacher, but, 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 but she's too dumb. But Trey hates Obama. He gets great cut. People love Barack. They hate Hillary. Yeah. They love Barack. The right. media Obama. was feeding. Oh no, you can't say that. You can't say that. No, not at all. Are you serious? Sound like that? They just help her out. They no sound like that. Hillary, the nigga can't bowl now. They just like both of them beating banging heads together. No matter what you think, they could resist. No matter what you think, this is the truth. If enough white people don't vote for him, mm-hmm. he ain't gonna be president. So if if there is that that's animus, what I'm saying. if that if that animus, <laughs> so they got to buy into what you're saying. I don't care if it's white so guilt. I don't care if it's people so believing. We got to start not, killing they, white they folk. They have to. <laughs> <laughs> he won Iowa. He won Vermont. Right. These are not hot They of have to give him. <laughs> they have to say we believe, and <sighs> for whatever reason you have to do it. I think for me, I'm going to be proud. Of a black man, like I said, doing something like that, but I just don't have, and I can't do it. Anything that no. white people do when it comes to Obama, whether it's vote for him or vote against him, I'm questioning it. Yeah. Until he's president and it's all over, and I can go, he, there was I one, think, and now I can listen to a white person that goes, I'm going to vote for him because I think he's the best. And then I'll just go, God, fuck you, you white guilt <laughs> motherfucker. I have no regard for what white people say I think in terms Bush, of the president right Bush now. Bush fucked the black up president. so bad yeah. that that's the reason so many white people will vote for Obama. It's because Shit. Bush fucked up so bad I believe, that's right. that they, they, they right. turn their back on the party, on anyone that looks like Bush, anyone that acts like Bush. That, yeah, 25%, but you're 25 I'm talking to 25 percent right now. He is big enough to be 25 <laughs> percent, and I'm talking to a quarter of motherfuckers. All of that shit you talking? You think that he he's he's thinking? No, all there that are shit? some staunch party liners that ain't gonna fucking vote sure. anything close to a liberal. I wouldn't vote anything close to a liberal. I, I fucking like my guns. Am I a liberal? Love my guns. No, I don't. You're you're more independent than anybody. Uh... So I can have a gun and a hooker and weed. Right. Then I'll right. vote for that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, can have, I, I, I just love... What? If you have a gun, you don't need a hooker. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, swim walk. Swim walk. Come on. Oh, God, I want to go back to Stalker Patty because she's going to vote for Obama. I want to know, Stalker Patty, what does Obama believe in? You're, you, you're actually voting. What do you like about Obama? Yeah, what's his platform that you... Uh, yeah. That he wears platform. <laughs> that he wears platform. That's what we're going to say. Like, <laughs> he wears dressed for the inauguration like fucking Huggy Bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's platform. He wears platform. What is it about? Because you've said many times that you like, you have a lot of racial animosity against black people. Yeah. What is it about? <laughs> it's okay. You've said that many times. What is it about Obama that you like politically? Yeah. Politically? Mm-hmm. Well, he seems like he's more flexible. I think he's going to be able to do the job. 
That was very, very specific. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Flexible. That's, that's good. Uh, yes. That's pretty yes. He practices yoga. <laughs> yeah, but stuff like if that. you ask the uh, average American why they're voting for somebody, you would get answers just yes. like that. Patrice I, is right. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what Patrice says. But also black people, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone yeah. who's voting, this is the type yes. of answer. Well, you know, she doesn't no know. one really knows what right. these people Thank God for the stand fucking... for. That's why I say what I say. They yeah, fucking know. They lie. They bullshit to get a job. That's why I can't be bothered. I don't give a shit. He's looking at her way. She said, and stuff like that. Never the sign of a fucking... Smart. Yeah, thank yes. thank God for the electoral college. <laughs> That's why, because the motherfuckers like her, they no, they didn't trust so motherfuckers well, like her. Well, Patty, I, didn't, I don't want to. You're not going to vote for Obama. Strong enough. No. What's that? Not, no. You're going to vote McCain. Yeah. Like he could handle the wow. press. And McCain I, is not strong. I don't want. I don't want, want to. to. Camp, but I'd rather, wait, 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 I'd rather so lean right than left. That, there's a great discussion going on both Patty places. Patty is saying that she thinks that you think McCain is not as strong as Obama. No. What did you say, Patty? Because we were talking over you. Seriously, back up. You think he can handle the pressure? Yeah, I think he can. And Jimmy goes, and McCain can after what he's been <laughs> yeah, through. He's upside down by his shoulders for five years by <laughs> men with tiny genitals. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's also yeah. over. He's like seventy-two years old and yeah. has all these health issues and everything. He might stop in the middle of the four years and uh, have the vice president yeah. take over. Well, I don't know. Well, if he's would be, be a horrible enough. thing. That but you anytime your if your birthday got nineteen oh anything that you should be a president. <laughs> 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 so you're not, shit, I'm you're not going to vote for you would never Oof. vote for Obama. No. And and you know Oof. something? And I'd be honest, <laughs> like Patrice doesn't think I'd be. Oof. I don't like his politics. I don't like that he's too he's too fucking liberal for me. And I don't see and I don't like I don't like McCain. But yeah. I, don't, I don't like McCain either. He's too he's a little too. But I would far never vote right for somebody I didn't like. So who's left? That's what I'm saying. You, 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 you take it. Oh, when I see left. the point he's getting ready to make, you're taking the you gonna, you gonna vote just because you have to vote for that for the dude. Part, I would never, if, 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 if I don't like politicians, but I, I like enough of what Obama says that I can vote for him, I would never vote for somebody I didn't like. He's, well, that's but he's it. making sure that I wouldn't do it. Obama is the more of two evils for Anthony. He's right. making sure. By his no, vote going he against like Obama, Obama. Taking the lesser he of just, the two he evils. just makes sure that he's gonna he's gonna help Obama not be president right. as opposed to helping McCain be the president. Yeah, he's but, just but, but he's I just would, trying to make sure Obama. He's saying he he the same thing you're saying though. Right. Basically, you exactly. saying you voting the the black. I'm just voting for the white guy. I'm just voting for the white guy. Hold on, I'm mad at if I didn't believe enough in him. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. More importantly, I gotta ask, how nervous are you getting, Anthony? Because DL is getting closer and closer to you. Oh, I'm moving over this way. DL Hughley. Oh, well, you know for a bubble, motherfucker. That's right. <laughs> Just like your neighborhood in January, yeah. February. <laughs> <laughs> it's a visual, but oh, D.L. Hughley shit. started his appearance <laughs> way the fuck uh, over here. Creeping <laughs> over. <laughs> and you know, and we, oh, that's that's behind funny. The equipment and we believe point. almost the same thing. Like yeah. you, you, but you, you, uh, you <laughs> believe, I mean, literally, you believe, I believe a man should have a right to carry guns. I, I, I believe that he should, the woman should have an, have the right to have an abortion. Yeah. I don't believe that ma the government is, I believe government's too big. I don't believe that they should be the end all. I, I think that they should be less out of, they should be out of business as business and, and less in our business. I think that, uh, 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 I just, we're so more we, libertarian. We're, we're more libertarian than either right, Democrat so, but, but or Republican. But I would never vote for a dude like Patrice was saying. I couldn't if I didn't like Obama enough. I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I think he's a politician. I think they're all full of shit. I don't put him up on a shelf yeah. and go, "Ooh, I'm gonna worship." And a glow comes. By. I don't do all this. And I go, "He's a he's a tool. He's a functional dude who's supposed to do a job." If I vote for him because I think he's capable of doing the job. Yeah. yeah. I, you are saying you're voting the party line. Uh, no, I'm bo I'm voting for McCain because uh, his, more of his ideas uh, that he has are, are more. Okay, that's he fair. has more than Obama has. Yeah. I have more in common with what he believes in than Obama believes. You have in. more in common with Obama. No, than him. no, because I have literally nothing in common. with I mean, Obama. ideology as far as the his politics goes, which is probably a bunch of bullshit anyway. They just say the shit to get into office. Well, but I have a black wife and three black kids, so well, he has two. 
for that. <laughs> yeah, so I was that's not, about what been in common you have. I've never been tortured, <laughs> so I, re- I guess I don't have much. Not even stuff. today, huh? Sure, you have. You were married yeah. for nine years. But, okay, that's true. <laughs> hey, some good instant feedback coming in. Blue Healer from Kentucky writes, I oh, thought today was Friday the 13th, not Black Friday. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I told you. I told you. <laughs> and then Rich B. from Iowa, he goes, Opie, you saved a man's life yesterday. You had time to run down to Iowa and save 40 Boy Scouts' uh, lives by performing first aid. Then still had time to come back and solve race relations and set the Obama uh, presidency. Does Anthony and Jimmy do anything? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I, I'm booked for uh, Henning and Combs after my uh, my my viewpoints uh, from today. So. Oh, really? Yes, I got that going for me. All right. Well, have fun on that. <laughs> talk to Combs. Good old Combs. <laughs> does he talk? Does he get to say two fucking no, words on that really. show? Yeah, really. he, pick, and I like Combs, but he—that's he, the weirdest. Oh. Is he a burn victim or something? I don't know what the fuck's going on? What the fuck happened to him? I'm like, it looks How like a he? muppet. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody got their hand. Like, he like, <laughs> you, if you're like, and I like him. He looks like, like a burn Billie Jean King. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, the poor oh, guy. Shit. And he's a nice guy, but you go, yeah. are you uh, animated? <laughs> <laughs> not like, really that Gary, like that Gary Bauer, that conservative dude, that motherfucker yeah. looked like he just broke off Lord of the Rings. <laughs> don't he? I'm like, God. That's, and he can't even tall enough to ride another Six Flags, so he can't be my leader. That is Hannity's show all the way. Yeah. Uh, it's just yeah. like, he just needs a whipping boy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> in other news, we got a space shuttle in trouble. Something what bumped, happened? Something bumped it in space, and they're trying to figure bumped out. Bumped it in space. Space. It's a piece of the brake rudder. Fell off? That's, that's, we, yeah, they're speculating. It's a piece of, 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 the, of one of the brake riders. I kind of predicted that would happen. <laughs> that's a space up. shuttle need brakes. Well, <laughs> when they're coming in, they have to probably slow down. And typically, NASA will get their brake riders cheap because they try to save money. So they got it. Minus. That one? All right. <laughs> that's what <laughs> NASA will always do that. You, you know what's funny? The money. space shuttles are from the 1980s. Yeah. They, they're from mm-hmm. the 1980s. So they just refurbish them and put them back out. You wouldn't drive a fucking car from the 1980s <laughs> to New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> I won't even fly Air Tran because they're old value jet Right, planes. right, yeah. right. Yeah. So why, why do you think... Yeah, and, these guys are going up into space in those the ancient, ancient machines. Yeah, fuck them. It's fucking... Uh, fuck <laughs> the brakes fell off. I thought it was funny that the toilet broke. How great is that fucking... You're trying, oh. to, you're trying to colonize the universe and there's logs floating all over the fucking <laughs> control room. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the movies, is it? Looks like you died and went to Snicker Bar Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's what a shock and shit old. joke. Okay. We've been a lot of stuff since that space I gotta show. Go, I, gotta, first I got a plane to catch. What, yeah, Jimmy? You, you what continue. happened? I got to catch a oh, flight. Wait, what? On Friday the 13th. Who, what? Uh, 2 o'clock. Oh, you're, be, you're being way back. Bonnaroo. Hey, you Kenny. know what's funny about yeah. the space show? Kenny. It's like, mm. they're, um... um like, astronauts used to go to space and do cool shit. They used to say cool, one giant step for man, one small mm-hmm. step for mankind, all that type of shit. Now they just go, ooh, I hope I don't blow up. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready to have an elementary school named <laughs> after me. <laughs> hey, man, good stuff. Man. Jimmy, Kenny, Jimmy Norton, have guys. fun. Hold on, right. why is Kenny, what are you doing, Kenny, taking Jimmy away from us this I early? Didn't. Jimmy has business to attend to. Wow, that, that, that Jersey that thing. <laughs> what thing? Yeah. Kenny? Yeah, he's got a piece of work to do. Yes, and Kenny's going you know, to explain why he's dressed like one of the fucking teenagers from The Wanderers. <laughs> 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 fucking awful t-shirt underneath the sky blue. <laughs> These are my flying clothes. <laughs> it's his casual wear. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess I'll go now, even it no, out. No, you guys get time. Yeah. Appreciate even it out. Yourself. No, we're wrapping up anyway, I guess. Yeah. It's a Friday. Get want to get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. Uh, it, I think we made a lot of headway here today. Sure. Thanks a lot, I agree with Patrice more than a lot of people uh, think. I do. We have the what? same, we have the same what, fucking what, what, ideas. What do you agree on? That it's sunny today? Yeah. Th- there's just one <laughs> small thing. The color thing. It's, <laughs> right. We're on exact the exact opposite ends of the that. spectrum. We agree how fucked up people are, but... Right. It just happens to be that you're a white guy and I'm a black guy, and that's what all it all comes it's down just to. That that's what it boils down. But, but society agree. puts that on us, Patrice. I don't see you like that. When you come in here, I see Patrice O'Neill come in here, a friend that I know I could have uh, in-depth with discussions Absolutely. with and shit. Yeah. I don't, you know, it's not like, oh boy, here comes one of those, those people. But you can have, because you can have the yeah. kind of conversation that a white guy would just want to have yeah. without me. I'm just one of those motherfuckers that. 
like like we we went through it. I just believe in what I believe in, mm-hmm. and you know, like I'm not super black on some things, and then I'm so like this like the Obama situation. I think I don't even know what people stands up. I think he should tell his wife to shut the fuck up. Like yeah. the way <laughs> yeah. I feel, it's like she's a loose it's like, man, Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! You bad? Don't talk <laughs> when I'm when motherfuckers is interviewing me. She <laughs> runs the house. Go in the back oh, and man. cook. You can you can tell, cook. Do Dude, some shit. Yeah. But you can tell she For runs real. she runs the house when he's not doing his political. Man, thing, fuck man. that! You can't be the president. And it looks like your wife is running. He shit. does look like one of those little skinny guys though. That the the wife really fucking puts in in his place when. Yeah. Even out. though, even though, again, like I said, I have a degree in white people. Yeah, you do. White people love honey child black bitches. They love <laughs> a ch- black woman that's like, well, let me tell you, I run the country, <laughs> y'all. They were like, yay. Oh, we like they in want, the movie when it's played their, by Queen Latifah. They want their <laughs> black man. He might, this might be a fucking smart ploy by him because they want their black men very soft. And they're black women very hard. Mm-hmm. So you think he's very soft? Mm-hmm. It, it's when she, when she's around. Well, I'm shit. I ain't gonna lie. He Only does. I'm talking because my wife ain't. He, ch- he changes. I know it. Patrice is gonna he change. changes when she's when around. she's around. When she's around. Oh, yeah. He. Yeah, he kind of. Shit. I don't. He gets a little body nervous. language yeah, man, changes. He gets nervous when she's around. I, I'm not. I'm, I can relate. My wife got an argument with me the other day because we changed our life insurance policy, and I got a big one on me and nothing on her. She said, well, uh, "What'll happen to you guys if something happened to me? We'll be sad, but that's pretty much it." <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's oh, it. Damn. I'm ain't the important to start videos around here because you ain't here. <laughs> I'd wait the mandatory three months and then to be new young bitch in this motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> who signed the prenuptial and hopes she fits her clothes. The that's three month, the three month. I gotta, I gotta right. be sad that this bitch is right. dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, I mean, really, I mean, and, and so, but I, but if I said that, like, she gets mad because the bank calls me when she writes a check. Mm-hmm. I'm like, right. Because <laughs> if, if we if we break up, I'm gonna still be doing business with them. That's that's the yeah. fucking deal. The trickle down theory. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like if something happened to me, you guys would move to Section Eight housing. I am more. <laughs> I am more important than you. They don't right, get it. Right. Yeah. That's it. I'm that's running it. for the president. What are you said, running for? I, I couldn't. I could see how it feels because I could. It, somebody's gonna tell her I said that. And in about watch, we, we put oh, my shit. phone right here. And in about ten minutes. She, what was you know? I'm not important to me, but not to the bank. <laughs> but I love you. But watching the music and really not and, yeah. and really not that important to me. That's what you really want to say. <laughs> no, I don't want to say that. <laughs> not on the air anyway. I'm not on the air. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck you, Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> I love my baby. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fuck you! Holy I, shit! You think oh, Michelle Obama's a motherfucker? Wait till you see my wife. Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> I'm, <not sure. laughs> I'm, a, I'm a writer, but I don't. Ooh. You've been with her since twenty five BT years. days, right? Wow, yeah, before that, twenty five years. Wow. 20, and I actually love her. And I'm acting now. My mistress don't. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, man. I don't even know. I don't. I, we've never had really like. DL it's a very know, personal question I'm right, about to ask you. Sure. Have y'all ever bust out a, a three? Not, not with her. No. I mean, with her. No, like, no, no, because there's certain shit you can't do with me and then cook my kids oatmeal. Like, this <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give mama a kiss. You should wait, son. <laughs> <laughs> no menage. That's not never oatmeal, did, pal. Never, never <laughs> menage. No, never no, menage with 25. With have you ever had a crisis, though, in a marriage in terms of, <laughs> of, 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 of your budding oh, fucking, yeah, absolutely. you know, oh, king absolutely. of comedy-ness? I've had a bitch is calling the house. Yeah, all that shit. Oh, yeah, I've oh, had that. Fair enough. But, but my thing is this. A successful relationship is based on a woman's ability to tolerate bullshit. <laughs> like, uh, uh, like uh, every woman who's with, in a relationship for a long time has had to put up with a certain level of bullshit. That's but see, the deal. bullshit is this. The, now you say, I, I, now you had you've had <laughs> you've had you got the thing with the kids. Yeah. Like where you go, hey, she's not gonna. But but let's be honest, right? You could do a three with her, and she could still make. No, oatmeal. no, I, I just that, that's when the, here's the thing. I, I've never, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's certain shit that I want my wife to do. And it's certain shit that I, I do with other people to take pressure <clears throat> off her. Cause she's not double jointed and she can't keep a secret. So those things. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just it's just me. I just I, I just would rather have my mistress do a th- threesome than 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 my. Why am I? Is this my own? It really? No, no. I, I just I just I just you know like I like this shit. You know, my wife is my wife, and she's a wonderful woman, and I dig her. This I'm motherfucker attracted to her, but I just he's uh, cheating right now. Not like now. in the room. Like this, I love her. I've never even heard no shit like that. I do. I, I tickle her and I blow those right. those noisy stomach bubbles. Right. <laughs> Will you but stop the hell? My up? thing is that I just if, if if like I could come out and say like if like I just like other women. I just do. So it's an understanding. No, it ain't not. No, the motherfucker the understanding is that she can't catch me. That's the fucking understanding. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, got the, I got the same understanding you got, motherfucker. That's the one. <laughs> well, the understanding. I've, I've, I've do been, you think that? <laughs> I've been lucky enough. My my girl's been good enough to me to we we do that. You can let me tell you something, man. Viagra is not for your girlfriend. It's for your wife. That's what Viagra for. You know, you the little the little blue. But pill. that's what what she <laughs> not for the bitch. Nah, but listen, hey, DL, DL, when I when we do that, I love her more. That she let me do that without having to do anything sneaky. She, she we do a threesome, and she, and I that's Viagra. I love her for being such a soldier. I don't want. Because you only want to fuck another bitch once in a while. You don't no, want to fuck a bitch all the time. I do. If I'm telling you. <laughs> that's so fucked up. Tell you, this, if, this you fuck, a- if you do a threesome with your wife, you will see that it will change how you think. It certainly a- does. <laughs> my wife went right out the fucking right, door. Right, right. <laughs> this is how much I love my wife. This is what happened. About, about 12, about 14 years, about 17 years ago, I had another baby on the side. Okay. And it was real. And... and I got caught and told her about it and everything. You know what my wife said to me? Why wouldn't you tell me and we would have dealt with it together? And when she said that, I went, hey, man, how could that, that her first concern was why didn't you tell me and I would have dealt with it with you? So we saw the bride who I had the baby with in the airport and she thought she was going to be able to come up to my wife and she said, I already, and the baby, you know, got passed on and all that. My wife said to the woman, I already know what happened. Because uh, the girl was walking up like she's going to tell all my business. My wife said to her, I already know what happened. I feel your pain and I love my husband. And it left. She's I went, a soldier. Your wife's a soldier. Oh, well, fuck all that. I got to stay with you. Yes, yeah, she's a soldier. I, that may, I mean, I can't. You're, she, you're loyal. But see, we no, got, not, we're I not talking. Her. You lo- I'm not loyal. D- no, you're loyal. If I was loyal, I would be fucking around. Love. <laughs> love her. Wow. Lo- you're you're loyal. Love Wait, your love, you're loyal to her love. You might not be. We, we, it's, it's semantics. But you're loyal to... How you feeling that she's in your life and she's she got your back? No, but, but you to her. I'm a gr- I, I, I am in love with and my he, wife. He, my yeah. dick just needs company. <laughs> That's really all. It is. I don't. I like. I, I don't just know what this motherfucker is saying did, right now. Like, I, are you saying I don't? I love my wife. You get I side like pussy, no problem. Way. Right. I mean, it's, it's a fair problem. Enough. It's fucking it's a, fair enough. Is this, how far does this motherfucker yeah, go? It's like a walkie-talkie. Just all over the country. It's nothing. <laughs> Doesn't even reach the end of the I block. I respect that. I respect that. Yeah, but just, why, that's, why because you, that's like hold a threesome hold on, hold on. without why, the three. Why, right. why are you admitting that, though? Why am I admitting? Because it's what I... I mean, this is but honest. Does she, she know that? Me. Of course. She knows who I am. Okay. Now, I would never... No, here's the thing. I would we never, say the same thing. I wasn't sure what he was saying. But I would never say to her... It's his happiness. I would never say to her... Like, I would never leave for another woman. I would never hang mm-hmm. out. I would never. Like, it's, that's never going to happen. I just dig broads. And I, I dig them. Like, like not even. I, 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 they're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> they are, man. And, they and, say this and let me tell you what happened. There was, a, there was a crisis where this conversation happened. And she, there was a choice. She leave or she figure out a way. To make this work and stay, mm-hmm. and that's why she's a trooper. She figured out a way to make this happen. It's just like the threesome. Some motherfuckers are like, "I ah, fuck that. How you do that?" I did the three. He made the same kind of thing happen. Where it's like, "Look, this kind of gotta happen." And she said, right. <laughs> "It's like a trip slip. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, but I don't. I hate that about myself. I, I wish that I could just. Will you shut the fuck up, Dio? I really do. Will you just stop? But I do hate that about myself. I don't go. This is. A I don't believe thing. you. This is just like you, white people vote for Obama now. You just think I know? I'm a. I, I don't want to be fucked up like that. But that, but you, 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 you hate the. In the instincts of a man. That's what you well, hate. I do hate the instincts. I of wish, man. I wish to God that I didn't look at other girls. I wish I could just See? go. I love my girl, and that means that I don't look at no more right. ass and nothing else. Right. Le- I wish that that was the case. Right. 
which is the case for them. I mean, I would never fuck me if I was my girl. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> God so you bless wouldn't, you. You 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 wouldn't you you like I don't I just believe monogamy is just a concept like uh no, I don't understand. Oh, this nigga, he just Joe Osteen is why he's magical on this one. I, don't I respect what this is. You're not sharing your theories. You're just saying what's going on. I don't but understand. But you convinced but, but DL, why is she okay with it? She, no, I mean, I, I like Cause he's thing. DL. I'm Say it again. Hey DL. I'm talking and a Ed lot Hewley. of shit. Hey DL I'm Hewley. Why is she comfortable with this? I'm talking a lot of shit. But is that it, or is there something else? That's I'm talking a lot of that, shit. That, that seems like the obvious answer, but maybe there is something else. I'm talking else here. a lot of shit. I would never, and I, I don't walk around. I'm fucking bras. I don't everywhere I go. I'm, some of this is I'm putting on. I'm just telling my most. Like, and she knows I'm going to say the most humans. I always try to mm, tell right. the truth. As, as to, you were, to in, in all the and people understand in all this, what you're saying, what he's saying is he will not disrespect his right, wife. Right, right, right. No right. matter what's going on, right, she right. wins. Right, right. Why try to tell my girl? Right, right. You right. you the general. The general comes with. You are a two star general. I run the whole yeah, but you, military we, force. Right. But you are high level. We, we, These bitches can't win. Patrice, we uh, we've had your girl on the show. Like uh, I think it was with the Russian uh, playboy. She was on girl. the phone. She was on the phone. And you you talk a cocky game, but man, you 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 back down when your your girl was on the phone. And that I day. wouldn't be doing man, that too. You, crazy. You, you were though. Please find that tape. I didn't back down at all. Because there's no back down. Matter of fact, that would be. I'm to find the tape for the that next was time. That was <laughs> Because if you ask her. If you if she calls, she definitely it, has a bit more power in the relationship I, than you give her I, credit for. We, our relationship was on the way out that day. Whoa! Because she commented on shit that was going on in my in this world. Well, I didn't like the way you yeah, said. Yeah, my wife does that, and I'm like, this is this is more important than you. <laughs> like this is how oh, I fuck it. I'm dead ass. What this <clears throat> is more important? I just bought her. 10 pair of shoes because of comments about Dr. Motherfucking What's her name? <laughs> yeah. So shut the fuck up. Don't. That was the day because I could deal with a lot of arguments. I try to walk her through shit where she gets womany, where they have to be walked through. But she fucking was saying, I didn't like what you said that day on the radio. And I said, This is where it, it can go bad for us because I can't have you, I can't have me have any editing system. In here, yeah, thinking true. that right. it's gonna fuck with your head. Right. right. You have can't to be better it. than that. If you can't be better than that, then I have to go. I have to be by myself. That like, was that have day. A if you have a filter, like my wife, that's that's the thing. I got to be able to get on stage and say I, I feel like uh, the shit that happens. She'll say, "Please don't talk about this." And I go, "You know, I'll, here's what <laughs> maybe I'll I make won't. You. I'll, I'll make <laughs> you a promise that I won't be glib when I do it. Like I'm, I'm not gonna <laughs> just be. I'm not, it ain't gonna just be fucked up. And I'm just gonna. But you, it's a shared experience. I had it. You had it. So we're gonna talk about it. But to me. The whole thing about this is, like, I, people only dig me because of what I do for a living. I get it. But these are bitches I would have never got the fuck. So, <laughs> I'm like, my mother always says, share your toys. Uh, so, <laughs> if, I understand. Oh, he pulled this one off. I pulled <laughs> off threesomes, and this nigga pulled off, actually, I have other women. <laughs> no. Which is what I want to pull off, uh, but I want to pull off a family. <laughs> I want to I wanna do it Utah style. That's my shit. I want a house full of bitches just walking around. <laughs> Oh, and I'm daddy. Hey, we didn't even get to talk to Red today, man. He's one of yeah. my faves right Red. there. He is. Red, he you, knows. Red, you enjoying the show today or what? Thumbs up. You got anything to say? Red or was an, to a, this? an original Ultimate War. I'm a, a gladiator. Uh, gladiator. Yeah, gladiator. An original. Oh, yeah. We make him wear his uniform sometimes. Red, you got a uniform on there? Red, get in here for a second. Saber. What? Get in here, remember, Saber. Remember, and, remember, and I want remember, some respect for Red. He's one of the original American gladiators right there. One of the original right dudes, man. Yes, sir. Saber. And now... Was he Saber? He's Saber. You were Saber? Yes, sir. Saber. 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 We're in the house. Look at it. Look and you know they have, and they have repeats of that on uh, Classic. Yes, too, sir. Though. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Why aren't you in the house? Don't I try to be a good dude? Am I a good dude? He is a uh, trip. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what Club Soda Kenny would look like if he was black. We got uh, the black Club Soda Kenny now. <laughs> I, I had something to say earlier oh, when, uh, when, uh, when, uh, mm -hmm. when uh, he was talking about Jackie Robinson being the first and vote for the black dude just because he's the black dude. The reason why he was the first and he wasn't the best is because they had to have the guy with the right temperament. Or at least they felt he had to have the right temperament. Right. But what you mm -hmm. were saying was vote for him just because he's black, which means yeah. that Satchel Paige or Josh or anybody could have been the first. 
No, I was I, waiting for the I, best I, one. To I be didn't the finish first one. that that whole thing because it was like heated at the moment. But I'm saying that. But we on to bitches now. This yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, well, the bitches, well, the bitches, I don't have drama like both of y'all, so I'm gonna bow out on the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> can I? Can can I, I, I want to I I jump in because I learned something today about the whole Jackie Robinson thing. Yes, sir. I think if Jackie Robinson was like Flavor Flav, oh boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh boy, yeah, yeah. man. So it had happened. to be the right black guy. And that's what I'm totally saying. That's what that. I'm saying about Obama. I just think he's the guy. Even if he's not the right guy, he's the guy that can't do it. But you said you vote for Armstrong Williams on the job. You said I have hope. I'm. It's making me believe. Oh no, I'm not back to I just politics. have hope. We yeah. almost got out. Oh right. no, we we back. We back to pussy. I can switch right, right back up. Back but, to the but it's the same pussy. thing. I, Somebody get fucking me the cake. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure Red was having a good time today. <laughs> the question is, would you fuck? You would you right. fuck Michelle Obama or McCain? Now that gets fired, won't it? Like I mean, you can't, you can't, can't say that. I don't no, think it's a hypothetical it. situation. Yeah, right. yeah, well, Who's you know, hotter? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Okay, fuck well, you, D. L. Hughley. Right. Come on, Thomas Charlie. Okay. Thank you, D. L. Right. Yeah. But, but you, you feel the difference between that and other. Okay, things. say, would you fuck a girl that looked exactly like Michelle Obama or exactly like McCain's wife? Uh, there, that gets us out of it. I have to say, <laughs> exactly like McCain's wife. Really? Yes. Really? On this one. Mm -hmm. Michelle Obama looks like one of those um, those people from the circus, the, the um, still people from the circus. <laughs> oh, wow. She has no torso and all legs up to her neck. I, I think she looks like me. Uh, she looks like Earl in drag. <laughs> she definitely looks like Earl from I'm Ron dead ass, man. show. I, I'm sorry. I would, I would love to just take that. I don't but like I just... either one of the bras. I don't. I mean, nah. either one of them. Not, neither one of them are cute to me. Like whose wife I. I, I wouldn't know. I want to get into that. <laughs> Fuck the wife uh, thing. Just them, yeah, period. What they look like? DL wants I to talk about uh, the daughters of uh, yeah. <laughs> the president. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty uh, nice. And right DL, there. and, 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 and your, what's your weakness, man? What, what Physically, what's your woman what's my weakness? Affinity? Yes. <laughs> what I really what, love? What can't you fight? What? <laughs> if your wife was standing the word, there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That's, that's my weakness. You will. Uh, What's your? What is the one? What is the one you can't? You can't. What, what, who you can't? Like if 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 remember that twenty two year old Brazilian heaven, uh -huh. twenty two year old clean Brazilian girl that pulled yeah. her little drawers down. Yep. It would be very difficult for me to say no. It would be very difficult mm -hmm. for me to go. I can't. No. I wouldn't. I. She was just. That's your. Uh, it's just, she was twenty two. She just looked. Brand fucking new, like the now, silicone pack was still I in the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> right out of the box. I you know, right I, new, right I, out of the box. I got a daughter twenty two, so I never. Every time I see, you got like, a daughter twenty two. She's twenty one, so I can't do it. How old I can't are do you, it. man? Wow. Huh? So I can, I'm forty four. You don't look so. 40, I can't man. do it. But I tell you, the, the my idea of heaven. If if you if you created heaven for me. It would be two Puerto Rican women and all the weed I could smoke. That would be my, that, like, that's heaven to me. Because I, I, I think that I went to uh, Puerto Rico for the first time in my life. Everybody there I wanted to fuck. Every single woman. <laughs> I, I wanted anybody to, the any, to anybody in Hollywood that you can name that you go, oh, my God. It, like, you'd get, you'd get next to her. Like, have you ever had a moment with any silly woman that you was like, oh. Dakota Fanning. <laughs> you motherfucker! I mean, a real uh, like a like a bride who I, I kind of like that. Where I go, I would I would try to fuck her in front of my family. Like just she was like, oh shit, and and y'all was and she's like, oh you oh I'm a big fan. Like you was like, cause I I still but get a little starstruck when somebody know me. Like that's I just happened. not to move on from women, but I, I know most deaf saw me in the in the airport. He was like, yo P. I said, excuse me? What? what? <laughs> and he was like, yo, what's happening? Patrice, he talking to me. And I'm just sitting there going, and he called me P. And I'm like, Am, what do I call this? Mo like, Mr. <laughs> Most? M hey, D hey, MD. Like, does this motherfucker know me like that? Yeah. So it was weird. Like, so has anybody, like, girl that goes, oh, my dear, I just want to. And you, and she's I'll not only happened, pretty, this, but she's a celebrity. And you're like, Tuesday, God damn. And I'm not going to say who it was, but I was doing press on Tuesday. And I go, and it was a show in L.A., and it's national. And I go in, and she goes, I love you, and I think you're so handsome. I said, you do? <laughs> and then she said, and I've always Like a starstruck you do? Like a amazed you do? she was just amazed. Remember, remember I read? You know what I'm talking about? The girl was gorgeous. The one when I did press, she was gorgeous. And I was like, wow. She's like, and, and I'd just like to say hi to you. We could talk. And what, what level of celebrity? 
I ain't gonna say, but what I don't know. What level? Come on, man. Is she, is she A? Is she B? If you saw her, you go, what? Is she A or B? <laughs> I'm not saying it could be. Does no, she ever? No, no, no. Is, yeah, is she? Getting nervous. I'm not like is it. it Kelly Washington? Is it a black girl that guest stars in white people movies? She's or is it the star of black people movies? a black girl movies? that you would go, wow. And mm. I went, wow, that's pretty nice that you would do. Mm. No, I'm not telling you, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm A or B, Look, man. I was pretty, I was pretty honest all day. It, I, I just, it's it's obvious. Of, it's Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, 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 I think I, I think <laughs> for the nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. I pro, I, for the nostalgia. If if Oprah was like, come on, baby, you know, just just lick it or something, I, I don't know if I could. I'd be like, I might starstruck eat Oprah's pussy. <laughs> starstruck eat her pussy. I think I might. I, I think I might fucking just, Ruby eat Oprah's pussy. Just for the story. Yeah, I think yeah. I just yeah. might. Right. And look at him say, he said, pump some life into it. Wow. <laughs> nice. Wow. I, I got starstruck with the traffic girl. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, I'm sure my phone. Look at Red. My phone is ringing, so I'm pretty is sure I'm be moving to New York. No oh, shit. But, uh, <laughs> Red, is his phone ringing? It's, it's ringing, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. That was oh, a real yes. Yeah, 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 it's radio. To, he came up, radio, yeah. baby. It's radio. Yeah, I'm just just radio. Radio's a strange thing, man. It really fucks you up, man. Because right. it's just like I say a lot of things <laughs> that I go, it's, I should apologize to my girl for even saying that, but mm -hmm. it just has to come out like that. Yeah. You go, right. it's radio. What, Lucky? Like, you got to well, apologize for how I fucking feel. <laughs> I can't. Some, well, well, I can't right? do it in front of you guys. Because believe me, when I'm in the elevator, it's going to be some apologies. Fuck <laughs> you, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. What you think? Oh, shit. Gonna, yeah. Yeah, let me text an apology right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Well, you know, she's Let me like, start with the text apology. Right? See what that I'm does. not bullshit. What's your wife? What's your wife? Look, she's, she's, she's beautiful. No, not look like, but she she all black. All, she's all black. She's all black. Oh, yeah, mix, yeah. no mix. Neck and mouth and everything. <laughs> Neck and mouth. She's black. She's black. black. <laughs> like, this is a true story. We were. I was hosting the Critics' Choice Awards, right? So in front of the camera, I was talking, and I go, I go. She, my wife started talking. And I'm like, ain't nobody talking. You be quiet. But I was fucking around, and she went, "Don't tell me to shut up." And I went, so now we Bobby and Whitney right here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's my. But she's a love. She's a great woman. But she does know when to shut. She would now if he was running for president, would she be oh, Michelle Obama? She, she no. She, she would shut the fuck up, right? Yeah, that's the shut. thing. If your girl respects you, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, Michelle uh, speaks a bit. Oh, she just talks too goddamn much. Excuse me, y'all. Oh, <laughs> I got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> See, the phone is ringing. We're looking for some apartments. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's give DL the big uh, the big out here. DL Hughley is at uh, Caroline's tonight. We love when he stops yeah, by. Yeah, check him out. Absolutely. Very funny. Uh... 212-757-4100 oh, and the BET Awards June 28th at 8 p.m. Right? Caroline's all Absolutely. weekend long. I'm going to need all that for legal fees. Look at him. Look at him. He's texting. And he's oh, fuck. Look at these. I won't see y'all later. <laughs> D.L. Hughley. Thank you. Right right. Thank you. God damn. I want to thank DL and Patrice for doing the Opie and Anthony show today. Yeah, that's I mean, great. Doing show. the Opie and Anthony show today. I chimed in a couple of times. It was some, it was some white it? help. It no, absolutely was. Some, yes, sir. They needed Whitey in there. Yeah, we needed white people. <laughs> whitey needed, in there. It was a nice. It was right in there. It was a delicious turkey sandwich <laughs> today. It really was. With rye bread and a little <laughs> yeah. slice, you know, smoked turkey here. It was delicious. <laughs> hey, the dude with the. Uh, when are you, when you going to give us our gifts? Jesus, we've been waiting for two hours. You want me to bring them over? Yeah, sure. Remember, remember, this is how it all started two hours ago. Oh God, gift. This is Slaughterhouse oh, guy from the animation festival. What are you going to give us an XM radio? <laughs> oh, that looks oh. Like it was. oh shit! Real gifts. Mm -hmm. Is it good wine? Whoa, well, let me see. Well, that's, that's a nice is it from the uh, dandy bottle? The Nicolini Vineyards. It's from the North Fork of Long Island. <laughs> It's a uh, Merlot good? from uh, Long Island. Long Island makes oh, some good you, wine. Sir. Yes. A couple books, Catch-22. Indeed. Ah, oh, very nice. And a thank Chianti. You. Rufino. Very good. I get knowledge and it mm. gets more alcoholism. This is for... <laughs> <laughs> is there any way I can leave See for here. Jimmy? For Jimmy? Yeah, well, for me and Jilly. Yes, yes. <laughs> we'll make sure Jimmy gets that. What's your name, sir? Chuck, you got a plug Thank today? You, Chuck. Chuck came in second place in the animation festival for that Slaughterhouse I'm video, which was really, prizes. really good. If anybody has a really good animation, I can't believe Wesley oh, Snipes didn't come in. 
Guys, the building's blown. <laughs> just thinking about Wesley Snipes, man. That's all, all right, hold on. What, you, what were you one. saying? If anybody has a really good animation job that pays a lot. How do they find you? Um, well, my email is at the uh, end of the animation, or my website, charlesdeidel.com. How do you spell it? S-T-E-I-D-L-E. <laughs> all right, very good, I'm man. sorry. I'm going to know. <laughs> Not only where do they find you, where do they find your self-esteem? How do they... Does it have... A, <laughs> Does your self-esteem have a website? Give it, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, just say you want to. We're gonna have to animate a self-esteem. <laughs> animate a self-esteem. <laughs> Come on, motherfuckers! He made. It. All right, very. Thank you, bro. Thank you. And uh, it was an I'm amazing with you, animation. Gorgeous. You can find it up on YouTube and other joints. <laughs> uh, you want to do some runner-up lines of the day? Brought to you by CardScan. Get all your contacts organized in just a few seconds. Check out the device that nobody should be without at CardScan.com slash Radio Uno, also known as Radio One. Here's a runner-up line of the day. I don't care where you're going to go. All right, where I'm going to go is your friends are not in L.A. I didn't have friends here. Gullip wasn't in L.A. I can't Ew, Gullip? What's that? What? what? What's that? that? My friend like, I don't even. You're naming guys who was in the first comedy strike. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice is going to be a comic. Is anyone going to see uh, Patrice this weekend? Well, just raise your hand for the fucking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy shit. I'm not going to count you. Don't you guys know how to play? Comics here in New York tonight and tomorrow, right, Patrice? Yes, thank you, sir. C O M I X N Y dot com for uh, tickets. What's the number? I don't have it in front of me, actually. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn. Oh, Another runner-up line of the day. I basically said it's about time someone uh, understands what's going on around here. How come Richard didn't mention how many people you've driven to that point? <laughs> 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 yeah, the, the boys came up with some great productions. Like, do we have that time to play this again? We're running out of time? Okay, yeah. that's fine. Uh, the next runner-up line of the day. Do we have time to say hi to Fezzi at least? Fezzi, come on in here. Uh, the next runner-up line of the day. It's fucking food, you goddamn gruesome motherfucker. You just help <laughs> some guy no one gives a fuck about not kill himself? Uh, can a nigga get a sandwich? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill. Fezzy! Hello, everyone. Oh. Hey. All right, this is a true story. Yes. I got off the elevator. D.L. Hughley was going in. Yeah. And I, as I pass him, I hear him say... I'm not voting for anyone just because they're black, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still on his mind. <laughs> Fezzi, uh, Ron and Fez, oh, noon to... Noon to three. Okay, don't, don't want to get you in trouble. Face! Oh, that's a face. That's a face. face. <laughs> that's the best you got. That's a face. It's our new thing. We like this one. We just came up with this on our own today. Guess face. what? Take it. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Comics, uh, Patrice, 212-524-2500. Thank you, Fezzi. Fezzi, everyone, yeah. Another one of the line of the day. Which is Obama. He's that nigga. He's my, he That's got a exactly white mom. what you said, Anthony. <laughs> meaning, meaning, <laughs> he does all the things. Eastside Dave, interrupting the line of the day uh, <laughs> all right. portion of the Opie and Anthony show. First of all, Ron Fez, noon to three. Second of all, no one faces Fez. Thirdly, Fez is mine. All mine. I invented face, and that's that. Can I tell you something? That didn't work at all. Face! <laughs> oh, face! That was humiliating. Face! Face! face. face. Number not, one dead. Not even a reaction. <laughs> face! <laughs> Another runner-up line of the day. A lot of people are now uh, calling me by my new name, Hero. Uh, hey, the Hero, Hero and Pee Whip Show. Hey. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Uncomfortable silence. What the hell happened? Uh, well, that was oh, funny. you can't hear it. That's why. Oh, all right. My heart stopped. I'm like, huh? These guys don't think it's funny whatsoever. They're just staring at us. How many more? One more runner-up line of the day. Oh, no, wait, wait. Before you finish, my brain is fried. Okay. So I wanted to say something real quick. Mm -hmm. Real quick you about... You never say anything real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how it was just like... And then you go... Y'all know what I mean. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, you sons of bitches. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Motherfucker. What? Can't believe it. I'm hurt. You took your shots today. I did. It hurt. What what hurt about it? Oh, it just hurt like I try not to talk and I just can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I 
<laughs> what like, are you trying just, not to talk? I just try. I'm trying. I, I try to edit myself, but it just, it just, I just can't. <laughs> look at me. I can't stop interrupting. I can't. I just, I step on. I hear it, you got but a, I can't help it. You got a lot on your mind. I just can't help it. And I, if I don't say it, I'll forget it. <laughs> and I just wanted to be out there in cyberspace, some kind of way. It just lives. If, if I speak, I live. You understand? Fair enough. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it's just mm -hmm. out there. Yeah, you're making everyone uncomfortable <laughs> Look 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 over there. They're, I don't want to look at them. They're, they're very uncomfortable. They need they need shiny objects every 15 seconds I just, <laughs> Can I say something serious for like a minute? It's a five and a half hour show. Can I just fucking last time we went down this road? There was some crying involved. I, that was uncomfortable, what oh? but but healthy what do man? You gave us one of the best moments ever when you like admit some deep shit. I didn't cry crying. though, but I was I was close but I didn't. Oh, that was sweat. It was. It yeah. was. I never said that before. Out in the open. And it was. Uh, it was uh, good for you. It was cleansing. It it lifted a little bit of something. You guys yeah. helped. I will say. You definitely have your moments of humanity. Well, yeah. Suicide in my story. Yeah. See. Definitely. That's it. I. Well, that helped. Oh, we only have three minutes left. So. Three minutes before what? They shut it off? Yeah. yeah. Break it back up. You could, okay. yeah. you could start admitting the most horrific thing ever. They're still going to turn us off in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that was it, man. That was never said it before. I won't say it again. But you felt like you got something off your chest. Fuck it was, yeah, it man. was like it, it was something that, that you were wondering if people knew, right? Or something like that? No, nah, I just. Uh, I knew people didn't know, but I just. I, I was happy I said it and, and I controlled saying it. Nice. With that, here's your line of the day. Here comes line of the day, line of the day, line of the day. Like, oh, here's what it is. <laughs> Anthony said, would you like to get another bottle of booze? She said, I'd love to. And he went, I love you too. Right. And she was too embarrassed for him to correct him. Whoops. M. Night Shalaman rant. That was, was that fucking was, unbelievably that funny. That was a lot of fun today. God damn it. What do you got, Travis? Just a timer for you. So you know how much time it Oh, left. no. I feel bad for the people that are catching this show in replay because Danny cut out at least a half hour today. Yeah. At least. Oh, wow. At least one minute and 20 seconds to Imagine go. Imagine if there was a walkover. So where are you guys going to be? This anything weekend? to plug? You guys got anything to plug? <laughs> no. Come on. Nothing. I was going to go for a cheap line. Oh, plug. <laughs> oh, F.H. Riley's, Riley's, 400 New York Avenue in the heart of Huntington. Mm -hmm. All the talking, all the ranting, all the screaming. The last one minute is over. It's like, ah, I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> the fuck I got to say? Anthony is trying to pretend like pal talk still means something to him. <laughs> I'm just chatting. Just tell him, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. With a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone have anything? We got 45 seconds around the room. Go ahead. Anybody got anything to plug? Plug your MySpace. I don't give a fuck. Do whatever. That guy's itching. He wants to do something. Oh, uh, this guy's got something. What do you got, sir? Your gold cards you were talking about. Oh, Patrice, see, you were the one who turned us on to the gold cards, and this guy got our own. Is he a cop? Yes. <laughs> thank you, sir. For Thank you, since nigga got a, his already. This is why. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look at Patrice. And I still want credit it. for this gold card. This is a special moment. He has had you it. Just do your thing, trooper. Fucking wow, McGillicuddy. Wow, sir. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. That is great. The gold mind. PBA card. Let me card. see. Let me see. No, Patrice. Let me look at this. It's the PBA? This is the. Or is it FOP? FOP. Fuck. <laughs> what do you got? The FOP? Well, I got a detective. What do you got? The Only and Anthony Show.